Yo, yo, yo. The stream is live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The stream is live. Now I do need to make sure the audio is correct. All right, it sounds like the audio is good. I think the music level is correct. All right. What is going on, everybody? What's up, Erica? How you doing? Mitchell hanging out for a little bit. Tired after a long trip to Rome. Oh, you're in Rome now? Nice, dude. That's insane. You're going to have such a great time, I bet. Well, thanks for stopping by, Mitchell. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm so jealous, man. You're actually in Rome right now. That's crazy. So today, 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 what is going to happen today? Well, so far, so far, two Shire houses have been built. A couple of miscellaneous things here and there in between. But audio is good. Music is also good. Nice. But I don't know what I want to do today. I guess the easiest thing would be to just build the third Shire house. Uh, but I could also build a lot of stuff in between, a lot of miscellaneous stuff in between. Nice levels? Okay, nice. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I think I'm going to add a bunch of little farms, like, all over the place in the green hills. So there's green hills, there's things growing, bushes, plants, flowers. So much to take in. I bet, dude. I bet. You got a whole week though. You're good. You're good. You got plenty of time. I do definitely want to fix up like the roads and stuff. They're kind of just quickly put in at the moment. Um, yeah. So I don't really know quite what I'm going to do yet. If you're interested in seeing uh, the inside of the two of these Shire houses, you can check out the end of the last live stream where I took a tour of everything that's been built so far. Um... But yeah, I guess it's really time to start the next building. The buildings and all? Yeah, dude, I bet you. I'd be freaking out about the architecture. I love architecture. I'd be taking all sorts of dumb pictures of, like, old buildings that most people would just walk right by. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. I'm thinking about actually doing a hobbit house over here. I wasn't thinking about this until about five minutes ago with the plan. Uh, initially, I planned to do five total hobbit houses i've got one here one here i was going to do one more right here and really just one more over here so i guess just four is what i was going to do but i think it'd be really cool to actually have one over here on this little area where there's going to be two bridges it'd be pretty sweet the only problem is is the sunlight it is definitely not going to be in the sunlight and Everything in this project is kind of meant to be full sunlight kind of going all this way So you can just kind of walk through it all and enjoy it in the full light um, So I don't really know uh, I don't really know what to do here. I do think it'd be really cool to like Come down the road a little bit. Let me slow this fly speed down a little bit. Oh, that's way too slow. I think it would be cool to kind of come down this road, have a house on your left, have a house on the right, and then curve this way and have another house right here. I do think that would be cool, but it's definitely going to be in the dark. So... I might just do it anyway, though. I mean, who cares? I think it'll look really cool. Let me see if I actually... I could actually change the time of day to 0 0.42, and that would be a little bit there kind of not really actually <laughs> finally friendly vibes what's going on shadow how you doing there's a bridge and the shire with a water wheel in the movies maybe that's something you want to do uh jonathan thank you for the insight let me show you really quick so at the end of this project 
when I'm done with the final Shire house, which is going to go over here, you can see right here I have this iron pole. That is the house with the water wheel. The bridge is going to be right here and the green dragon inn. I have a full schematic of the green dragon inn and that's going to go over here across the water. Uh, it's going to be super sweet. What's great about this too is this is so long that if you check the instances, I don't even have to deal with like the first couple of houses loading in. So I can go all out on the bridge and the green dragon inn once I get to this part of the project. It's going to be super sweet. <clears throat> Thank you, though, Jonathan. Thank you. That is a wonderful idea. That's probably the only, like, actual picture I'm going to take from the movie set is uh, that water wheel bridge and green dragon inn type of area. Everything else is going to be kind of more like, you know, what you can do in Valheim. Kind of my interpretation of the Shire, I guess you could say in a way. Um, yeah, let's do a house here. It's not going to be in full sunlight, but I think it'd be really fun. Let me see what these look like in 0.4 time of day. Not the greatest. Not the greatest. Could be worse, though. Yeah, let's do it. I, I don't know. I just have a good feeling about this. I have a good feeling about a Shire house over here. Now, I do need to get rid of some of these trees. Uh, probably this guy. Alright, thank you, cheat sword. Thank you, commands. Area is clear. This will be an interesting area to work with, though. It is, this is risky, though, I will say, because working with a hill like this, you know, I have to cut into this hill in a minute to actually place the house. So at some point, the hill is going to get too tall where I can't actually cut low enough. Um, so this is a bit risky, but I think I'll be able to make it work. <clears throat> Looking forward to that. Me too, Jonathan. Me too. Internet, Internet University. Nice. That's awesome. Um, I'm thinking... I think this could work, but I also need to figure out how to do the bridges, what elevation those bridges are going to end up being at. Um, how far back is this going to go to? That's a good question. I would assume, let me try something really quick. So I am using mods. Um, terrain, lower, actually I better make sure I'm in the right spot before I do this. Probably about right here-ish. Okay. Uh, terrain, circle equals eight, lower equals eight. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so the good thing is I am actually allowed to lower here, so this might work. Get rid of all these trees. All right. Yeah, congrats for sure. Congrats for sure. Um, that hole is way off, but it's not bad though. I think that, uh, I think this is actually doable in this spot. It's interesting. You can see though the ground, it's probably not going to go any lower than this. Oh, it will. Or will it? Nope. I just got rid of the grass. Yeah. So we are going to have some limitations working in this spot, but I think it'll be really cool. The problem is I need to scoot it over, so I'm going to do hammer undo. And then we're going to just do that again slightly to the left and see if this is kind of a better position. Uh, That's a little better, but it really needs to be over even more. All right, what about this? Yes, that's like perfectly centered. Well, no, it's not. Now it's a little left, but I think I like that, though. Can't really go. I'd like to go a little bit further back, but I can't really do that is the problem. 
use a vertical pole with cross beams to judge heights yeah that's a wonderful way to judge heights friend the gamer can you do a series building the village of burke from how to train your dragon that is not a bad idea that little village looks awesome they did a great job with those movies and like the animation and everything that's not a bad idea at all i could look into that for sure <clears throat> I wonder if there would be enough images online of it to really get a full picture of it. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is a nice angle from inside of it. But from outside, is that the right spot? Let's see. When you're coming down the road, there's a Shire house there. It actually could be back towards the, the right a little bit where I had it. And I wanted to move it left. <laughs> let's do it again just slightly to the right. Yeah, I could work with... Actually, you know what? Let's go even... Let's go a lot to the right. I want to try something out. Let's see. Okay. Maybe we should kind of... Yeah, maybe go for like a little bit of asymmetry. Go for a little bit off, away from the bridges a little bit. That could be cool. I really wish I could go back a little more, but... Let's try it. Let's just try it. see how that works it's not bad the water level here is a bit of a problem <laughs> obviously but um i think i can make it work i think something like right there i think would be really cool And make a dragon yeah that'd be awesome the main dragon uh i can't remember Mid midnight or something he calls him like midnight or something like that i don't remember that might be right but i don't know um is that the right spot it's definitely off to the side Uh, needs to be further back than that okay that is the spot i'm gonna go with so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and raise up the ground to at least where it's above the water because i definitely can't have water in the hobbit hole all right let's get all that fixed I have noticed sometimes with this mod, you end up with these kind of holes in the map, which you can actually almost kind of go through. It's really weird. But uh, <laughs> I can get it filled in later if I need to. Um, okay. So let's flatten this out. Actually, I need to really flatten it at this height, preferably. Let's raise it all to the height that is... Um, that won't the spot of the ground that won't go any lower so that i know from the beginning what i have to work with i mean it's possible this spot doesn't even work you can see i don't really have a lot of room to work with here uh when it comes to like how i add the stones but we're gonna try we're gonna try for sure Fill this, all these little cracks in. Okay, flatten it out one more time. Okay, you've got a nice little hobbit hole to work with. Looks good to you? Alright, I'm leaving it. <laughs> I'm leaving it. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and bring in a few rocks. Let me get rid of all this junk out of my inventory. Oh, it is thundering outside. Oh my gosh. That is so weird. There's like full sunlight coming through my window, but it's thundering. That is strange. Um, 
All right, so I'm gonna go grab the rock that I usually use. This is, if anybody wants to know, Rock 4 Forest. So if you're looking through the directory and you're looking for large rocks, this is the one I prefer to use for underground houses. It's got a nice little bit of green to kind of blend in with the grass, but there are a few other options. There's a coastal rock, there's a copper vein you could use. Really just depends on your preference. Uh, I think I want to use that probably. You can see there's like a couple of little flat sides which you can kind of use, take advantage of. Maybe this flat side I could use. Mm, ooh, what about that? Yeah, let me use this this time. Okay, and then basically what I'm going to do, actually before I do that, I do need to make sure that there's a way to get inside where the rocks are. Alright, that should be good enough. That's not a bad idea though, making the How to Train Your Dragon Village, it's really not a bad idea at all. I might have to look into that one. Okay, and then really, I'd like to just do a third. If I could get away with just doing three rocks on this project, on this little Shire house, that would be amazing. The problem is it's not very deep. The other houses are much deeper than this one. I could also lower the ground a little bit in front. Yeah, so this should this should actually work. Right here. Maybe moved back a little bit though, actually. I don't know, let's see. When you're walking down the road, let's check the view from the road. You're passing other Shire houses. Yeah, it does look like it needs to go back a little bit further. Yeah, it definitely needs to move back a little bit. There's too much of it exposed. That is fine though, that's a quick fix. Whoops, lost my rock. Fly back over here. I knew that was going to be a useful spot. I shoved one of those over there at the very beginning of the project. It kind of worked out. Uh, which side was I using? This side. Move it a little further back this time. Okay, that's, that's a little better. That is like a good four or five meters back. So I think, I think that'll work. Man, I could even go back further, but I don't, I think that's fine. Yeah, let's go with this. All right. So the Hobbit house is in. <laughs> so I am going to definitely end up changing the ground around it a little bit. Um, but we'll probably do this more in a little bit. Just want to do like a quick... Extra little bit of ground. Okay. And now we got to start making cuts. I, this is usually when I make a backup. I really need to make a backup of the world really quick. But I could do the safe cuts first. Oh, that's so scary though. Give me a good cut. Give me a good cut, Valheim. I can work with that. I can absolutely work with that. All right, we are in. Oh, that went up. That's okay, though. This is a bit of a risky cut, but I don't think... Yeah, it's fine. Nice, looking good. And I got a hole. That's okay. At the moment, 
I needed a spot for a chimney anyway. So I can just use that. Couple of holes in the back now. <laughs> I should probably redo it, but... To be honest, this part of the project will never be seen. Um, I really don't have to make this perfect. Uh, the way the inside, the way the hobbit holes work is they're actually a, a wooden frame like house inside of this too, so you can't see the top of the cave. Uh, so really, all that matters is that the front of the rock looks good for where the door goes in. So let's see. If I make this cut and it messes up, then I need to redo the rock. No, I mean I could use that. Yeah. We do still have like a hole into the abyss over here because of the mod, but that's okay. It'll be covered up. For those of you who are new in chat, yeah, come check out the Discord if you guys want. If you play Valheim, if you're just a gamer, anybody that uh, just wants a nice place to hang, we're building up the Discord, getting a few people in there. It's getting active now, so come and hang out. I do have a Discord server, yes. It's in, uh, if you want to find the link, you can just go to my, my homepage on my YouTube channel. And on the banner, you'll be able to see uh, all my social medias on the bottom right of the banner, and the top right of the screen. Uh, you'll see Discord there. <clears throat> nice, nice, nice. We have a Hobbit house going. Now, uh, I might redo this rock, I'll be honest. But I really don't need to, though. I could definitely get away with this already, with this space. Normally, I'd keep it a little prettier, but like I said, you know, the back of this rock is sticking out the back of the project. So it's really not a problem if there's holes in this one. Uh, this is the only one that I could do that with. You can see, like, these, it would be really ugly if there were just giant holes on them. <clears throat> um, Let's see raise up the ground a little bit there raise up the ground a little bit there do you need to break this really quick probably this too um yeah i could probably work with this now actually this will be the fastest start to a shire house yet for sure just going with the first try this is nice I really want to break that, but that is going to cause a massive hole in the top of this. Although I still, as long as it's over this little crease, I don't think you'll be able to see it. I just don't know if it will be. Hmm. Let's see. Speaking of underground houses, when are you planning on building an underground dwarf city? I remember you talking about that. Yeah, I really want to do that. Um, I've got some ideas using this exact method here to create an absolutely massive underground city. The only problem is, is finding an area that is like all the same elevation. Uh, because in Valheim, you can only dig down so much and only raise ground so much. So if I want to make like a massive underground city... I need like a massive flat space so I can actually make that underground, if that makes any sense. So it's like, I've got to find that spot first and everything, and I've also got to finish this project. <laughs> and I've got another project I'm working on for the next build tour video too, so. Um, it's coming at some point, it's just a little tricky. Might be, a, might be a nice couple videos, yeah. that I could stream that one too, that'd be a fun one to stream. Uh, let me get rid of this over here. I am gonna need some kind of build to stream after the Shire build, so that could be uh, that could be good for that. Um, normally, I go really carefully with these type of things, um, but like I said, you know, we're just doing quick cuts today because this rock is going to be completely hidden, so it does not matter. Problem is, is I really need, yeah okay I gotta take this out deal with the consequences let's see yeah cool that's exactly what I needed okay this should be just high enough to actually make this happen in here so let's get to work let's get to work let's see so both houses have had 
somewhat of a staircase as you come in there's a little area and then you have somewhat of a staircase which goes down into the house for this house it was a spiral staircase and for this house it was a cool like hobbit staircase i kind of want to do this one again because this one felt like more like a hobbit house to me um Man, I love how this one came out. So good. This actually feels like I'm in a hobbit hole. The cool ceilings. I'm, I think I'm going to bring these ceilings over to this one and do those again. They're a bit of a hassle getting them all lined up and getting the walls lined up with them and everything. But I think uh, I think that it's worth it. I think it, it gives, a, gives it a really good like cozy Shire vibe. A bedroom right here. In fact, I'll probably be coming to this house for reference a lot because I really like how that one turned out. Latest one's definitely the best. Yeah, 100% agreed, Mitchell. Latest one is definitely the best. First one's nice, but uh, second one had a lot more room to uh, kind of work with and just feels right. You don't feel like you're going to hit your head on the ceiling all the time. <laughs> I drink some water really quick. All right. What next? So really, I need to get started with the front entrance. Which is going to be more at like this ish height, kind of somewhere in here, maybe a little bit lower than that. And then the door should be fine. I do need to check some measurements. So I did about one, two, three, four. About six meters tall at the doorway. All right. So definitely want to be a little bit back in the stone, but not too much. Three, four, five, six. So that brings us above the stone, which over here, we're actually quite in line with the stone. So I think I'm actually going to drop the ground a little bit here. Because I want to get the scale really similar to how that last one came out. I really just want to keep the scale similar on all the hobbit holes. So that, it, uh, you know, just the whole project kind of flows really nicely. right about where I need it but it is technically yeah I'm gonna go with it I'm gonna go with it so with the rock I could actually angle this either way too I could angle the entrance either way with how that rock works um, but I think the best way to angle it would be to be kind of facing this road because this is the main road that you're gonna see it when you come in on. Gotta go grab a little drink while enjoying the sunset in Rome. That's awesome. All right, dude, we'll have a great trip. And uh, if you're back here in the stream, that'd be awesome. If you're not, have a freaking wonderful time, man. Can't believe you're in Rome right now. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm jealous. Drink one for me, friend. Drink one for me. <laughs> so I'm thinking Let's do maybe this angle, but a little bit further back. Something like this right here. We go up and up. Yeah, I think this would be really nice. Awesome. Yeah, no, let's go with that. Actually, I like that right, right there. Let me trim this back a little bit. And now we got to do the doorway, which I got to remember how I did. <laughs> so the doorway is this kind of weird circle type of thing. So we've got doorways at two meters right there. 
Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, how wide is the doorway? How wide is the doorway? Okay, so... It's gonna be roughly like there. Alright, let's bring this back a little bit. Actually, let's just line it up right here. Is that the actual middle? It kinda is. So the doorway is built, I believe, like so. Hmm, no, that's all right, let's see. So you got one meter pieces which go down, 26s or 45s? Oh, we've got 45s which go down even further, okay. I almost downloaded a mod just to make these like circular doors, but I mean, I think they look good. Let's see. Now let me do it there. I need to do it one lower. Make me go all the way down here into a hole. There we go. All right. So I believe this is going to give us the shape of the door. Oh, that's totally not right. <laughs> that's not right at all. Let's see. So how did I do this? These are connected. Oh, it's a meter. It's three meters wide, isn't it? Now I remember how I did it. It's three meters wide. Whoops. All right. So should I go left or right? Nice. Okay. No, not quite that far back. Might actually change the direction too. No, I'll leave that and then All right, I've got my guide right here. I need three meters across. So really I need to just estimate really quickly kind of right here ish. Start picturing where that would be. <clears throat> Let's see. Charge this up. Probably scoot that over. Actually, that would kind of work right there. It just needs to be maybe just slightly back. Let's see if that's too far back. No, oh, I kind of like that. The rock almost comes a little bit over the, the front entrance, which is, I think, right around what I did with the other two. Yeah, so... I think I'm going to go with this. I do think I want to scoot over just slightly to the left, though. Right. 
Oh, it's gonna make me dig the hole again, isn't it? Actually, there's totally a way to get this to... There's always a way. There's always a way. Maybe that helped. <laughs> I don't know. That was a lot, but it worked. Okay, cool. All right. We got this going here. And this going here. That is the correct size door. Okay, nice, nice, nice. We can work with this. We can work with this. So there's actually also like a, a piece that goes kind of flat here. I don't like that. And then I can take a staircase essentially and put it in the, like right there on that. Um, I need some more light. Get out of here, tree. All right. So we have a doorway. It's a little bit. It almost could go back a little bit, but that's fine. Because we're going to build the structure of the house anyway. So no worries. So I believe we're going to go out about this much on both sides, which means this needs to be trimmed back. Nice. This looks about perfect. Okay. And like I said, I do want to keep the scale the same. So I'd like to come see what exactly I did. Oh, that's not even a meter. Or not even two meters. <laughs> I could probably do a full two meters from there, though. Oh, I do need to center a door with it. Okay, so. See if I can get to this side and center up a door that will go right here. Get rid of these now. Whoops, not that. Okay. And then we'll actually follow that line, that door line, out. Because you want, or at least I want, this to be um, kind of sticking out from the actual wall. So something like this and like this oh see that's that is in the rock it's almost like if i changed the other direction it might be better but it's it's facing away from the road a little bit like that and i can't move any further well i can move a little further back i can move a tiny bit further back All right, hold up, hold up. Let's take this and angle it. This is actually kind of tricky here. Should I change the angle to match the rock? But there isn't really an angle that perfectly matches it. Or should I change the depth that the wall is placed at? Currently, actually, I mean, I might be able to get away with it. All right, I'm going to go with it for a little bit, see what happens. That's the problem, though, is that's like majorly in that rock. Hmm, I don't know if I like that. I was also able to conceal all the cuts in the rock on the last two builds. I wonder if I'm going to be able to do the same thing with this. Let's see. Yeah. I, it should work. It should work. Let's see. 
Let's do a little bit of testing. Oh, fun. <laughs> okay. Now this is exactly six meters wide, so I should be able to go backwards to get this one. Except that is way too tall. So let's take it back a notch. We're gonna go 26 degrees. I was kind of just hoping that the other ones would work. Oh wow, that is in that rock. Okay, so this is a bit of a problem. Looking pretty good so far. Thank you, Mallory. Thank you, Mallory. Hello, Tazarello Gaming. How you doing, Tazarello? Good to see you, Mallory. Good to see you. What's up, Binary Pagan? Welcome back to another stream. Um, I think I'm going to have to pull this out a little bit. It's not quite far enough out for me to work with or I could lower the whole thing also that would work too if I lowered it all it'd be further away from the rock but I would have to lower it probably that much yeah I'm gonna do that actually let's try lowering this The beginnings of these are always really tricky. You're good, how am I? I am wonderful, thank you for asking. Tazarello Gaming, you make videos or you're just thinking about it or what's going on with that? It looks all official. Good to see you back, Binary. I think I already said that, just making sure. Yeah, I think that level would be good. Alright. I'd love to use the hoe on this, but I've already used it so many times, I don't think the hoe will work in this area. Uh, at least not lowering this much, anyway. Um, nice, looking good. Okay, so I'm thinking if I could lower it by a full two meters, this would be the perfect site to work with. Also, if I lower it two meters, I'll be even with the inside. So this will be the first Hobbit house that I actually don't have to have like stairs down into it. So this will actually be better than the other ones in a way. You're on Twitch mostly. I see you try. I see. I feel you. <laughs> Have you had any of our lovely friends from Bitcoin? No, no, we haven't had any Bitcoin scams yet today, luckily. But now that I've said it out loud. <laughs> yeah, what kind of games do you normally play, Tazarello? Tazarello, I like that name. Let's see, we're going to take this out. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. This needs to be back just a tiny bit more right here. Oh, I really don't want to cut the ground here, but whatever. I can put it back. Okay, there we go. So that will be the new setup for the height. I think that'll be good. Let me see. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. Possibly even too, too much. How's that? No, that's even with the inside. Let's try it. That'd be so nice if it was actually even with the inside.
you've been watching my how to build videos it's helped you out a lot that's awesome yeah the village build series uh is, is really nice for that too because i actually did step by step for all those builds but cool i'm glad you're enjoying it i play valheim mostly it's nice same PUBG mobile now too okay but now it's just valheim i see i see okay okay yeah valheim's where it's at that's what i'm saying that is what i'm saying it's fun. To, I like streaming Valheim too. There's so much you can do. I mean, you know, like I'm not even playing survival, but if you're streaming survival, you got like a million things you could do on that stream. Um, let's see. Oh, that did come out to just slightly. I'm going to do it right here. At this height. Pretty much just try to line this up perfectly here. See how well that actually worked out. That's actually pretty spot on. I think I could leave that and that'd be okay. All right, time to move the entire thing down. Okay. So the tricky thing is that this is based on three pieces. So I've got to set up and it's also at this height. wall set up again oh that's still a problem i just pull it out just slightly just a little bit yeah i'll do that yeah valheim community is awesome i agree i absolutely agree i love survival games i did a little bit of minecrafting back in the day but the community is a lot different there I just love the Valheim community. And the game's got so much potential too. Still in early access. I mean... There's going to be so much more coming. Oh nice, here we go. Okay, this is what I need. I need something that's like, I can actually work with. See what I'm saying? Like, I can actually work with that. It is going to be a little tricky with this corner. Actually, no, it's not. I'm just going to raise the ground, to be honest. Boom. Done. All right. Uh, kind of same for over... Although, I could leave these open and actually use the little side windows this time, since the whole thing is the same level. Speaking of survival, I started building a castle on the edge of the plains, meadows, and black forest and survival. That's awesome. Plains, meadows, black forest. That's you. You put yourself in a good spot. Nice. In survival, nice. Pick a good scale, man. That's my advice. Pick a good scale. Because especially in survival, if you plan too big, then you end up tiring yourself out, just getting resources and stuff. But uh, if you, you pick the right scale, something that's like reasonable, then you'll be able to complete it and everything. Then again, go big or go home, right? So, <laughs> you know, there's also that to think about. So my idea would be to just once again use the slant method, but I think there's something else we could do for this one to make it a little more fun. Which hill... I could also put a little bit of it in the hill. Problem is the roof. What if I did like...
some kind of secondary roof would be really cool right here. And then I could keep this roof going this way, maybe. And basically, this would just be a room, too. Um, why am I so slow? Oh, that's probably why. The 400 stone in my inventory, that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was going to say it tend to go bigger than needed. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've got a project I'm working on for the next tour video, and I definitely went way too big on the scale. It ended up, it's going to be insanely huge, but I don't know. There's a point where, like, that's good. You know what I mean? Like, if you mess up and go too big, it's good to a certain extent. If you go just way too big, then you'll never finish it. But if you go, t the bigger you go in any building game, the more, you, the more size you have to work with, the more details you can add in because you have a larger space to add those details. The more depth you can add, especially the smaller the build, the less depth you're able to add. So in a way, it's kind of a good thing, but let's see. So what have I done? So this for this Hobbit house, I did just kind of like angle on both sides and I'm trying not to just copy that again. I love the look of this one, um, but I think... I want to do like a unique look to all of them for this one i just had like kind of one angle it actually angled away in this one um and then i had like a little outdoor feature on the side so for this one i think this would be cool kind of like a multi-featured the question really is though where should this peak connect because I think this coming out to here would be really, really cool, no matter what. Uh, the bridge might have to shift over a little bit, but that's okay. And then I continue it down this way. That'd be nice for the flow of the build. But where does the peak over here start? I could connect it, or I could actually just not connect it. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't think about that. I'm gonna say it's gonna be bigger. It took a while to find a good seed. Yeah, it took me a while to find this seed for the Shire. I took me, uh, I probably went through 30 or 40, 50 seeds trying to, uh, on the seed generator on Google. Scale? Question mark. It's 100 meter in diameter. Um, yeah, 100 meters is pretty big. You know, that's getting to the point where you're gonna be working a lot. But um, it also depends, you know, on what kind of diameter we're talking. Are you talking about a circle? So it's 100 meters all the way. Are you talking about it's 100 meters one way, like width, and then, you know, 20 meters length. So then it's not that bad. You know, it just depends. But um, for me, I just like to keep it at a reasonable scale. Like this project right here, for example, I've got two. I've got a hobbit house over here, a hobbit house over here. Each of these take about like maybe eight hours to build. So I'm just trying to kind of like... Like this project, I know the scale is too big to complete in a reasonable amount of, amount of time. That's why I'm streaming it in different sessions. So I can just keep adding things. But otherwise, I have to think, okay, how long will it take me to finish this? Uh, what kind of scale should I go for so that I can get this video out this weekend? That's the way I think about it, I guess. But obviously, I'm kind of biased. Um, but yeah, if, I think for a normal person, it'd be like, what's the scale that won't annoy me <laughs> you know what i mean like what's the scale where i'm not going to get to a point where i don't want to keep going to get stone it's a circle nice yeah 100 meters that's pretty decent that's pretty big so i mean you know that's a nice size project and you got to think with a castle it's not usually just at that you got castle walls you know you got to come up with the design for those you're adding crenellations so you're doing like you know castle courtyard castles are fun though um i might just go with this this format right here i don't know it's actually coming together pretty nice i can change this left side if i need to change it too but i think for the most part i'm happy with it um i do need to get the door placed right away though yeah because the door is gonna be so let's go ahead and do We're gonna go ahead and do these for now but it doesn't mean that that is what i am keeping here 
Just gonna do these to make making the door a little bit easier. Man, I wish they had a door that didn't have like a thing on the side that there was this height. So more door options would be spectacular. I like the ones they have, but more door options would be really awesome. I hope they do that soon. Okay, so we've got a really ugly front face of a hobbit house. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a second layer to it. And you definitely want that second layer to be all lined up. So I'm going to bring it across and then I'm going to get rid of it. Um, and then we can go ahead and ground it if it'll let me. Actually, I probably need to just raise the ground just slightly. And we're going to go ahead and then just kind of like right here, bring it down. Maybe right here-ish. Yeah, there we go. Just raise it up just a little bit. Nice. So it's just going to cover that bottom layer. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, this is actually going to just be about one meter. No, I better do it from the center. I better do it from the center. Sounds like the perfect spot. You have to use the seed generator. Yeah, I highly recommend if you've got a big thing in mind to use the seed generator. Otherwise, you know, you can do whatever. Are you going to do the coffered ceiling in this one too? Absolutely. Coffered ceiling. That is what it is called. Yes, I am absolutely going to do that in this one. Let's see. Okay, so now what we're going to do is bring the extra layer around down low. Okay, and then I really want to just get something kind of centered. Let me just have these here for a moment as kind of reference. Oh, also, I need to be at... If I remember correctly, the bottom of those. Yes. Okay. So this is here. I always, I, I always end up finding different ways to measure stuff. I don't know what it is, but... I actually need to be right at that height. <laughs> I need to be like in between these two. It's not quite centered. Just about, but not quite. Just trying to get right there on that center line. And also in the center of the door. Okay. And then I'm going to grab these and make a nice little curve. If it'll let me. <laughs> yeah, definitely going to do those coffered ceiling designs. I wish you could have a half meter. Yeah, I know, right? A half meter piece for all the meter pieces or half meter snapping points or something would be so sick. Come on.
Oh, don't make me dig the hole. It's gonna make me dig the hole. It's gonna make me dig the hole. You made me do it. <laughs> Dang it, Valheim. Alright, so we have a door. The beginnings of a door. Of a hobbit house door. Okay. It's just slightly too tall. I'm gonna have to re-level the ground again. Just a little bit lower, preferably. Alright. It's so tricky getting these set up, but once you get like the general setup of these, it seems to be everything else kind of falls into place. You can have very close to half meter staffing points if you use the small door. Fair. Very fair. Yeah, this door right here will provide you with a lot of snapping points. For example, one, two, three, four. There's four there without even doing anything weird. It's weird. I don't know what. I don't know if they intended to do that, but this is actually extremely useful for snapping points. Like to have. Like I, I don't know if they intended to do that, but I love it. All right, so let's add some. Oh wow, I could actually just do it like that. That's interesting. I'm gonna add some roof trim. Start getting a little bit of character here onto this kind of funky looking build okay gonna add some of these going this way and then we got to come back into here here okay we have a wall which i'm actually gonna do with these so that it has the same design <clears throat> three snapping points on the door itself yeah i know I, that's what i was trying to show you is like normally there's three right i couldn't i guess my example was just crappy but normally there's three yeah one two three uh, so I guess wood was a better example there. But it's just, it's so... I Like, I wonder if they intended that. I do wonder that. It's pretty sweet, though. Like, I wonder if it was, like, a cool thing that, like, just happened and then they left it in. Or if they, uh, it was, like, part of the design. Like, to have one, one piece that, um, could be used as a tool also. Okay, we gotta bring this wall back and this wall back. Man, I love this soundtrack. I haven't listened, I haven't streamed in like a week or so, and I kind of missed the soundtrack. Add some of these, get to here, and then add one of these. Oh, yeah, it's coming together now. It's probably the fastest one yet. I guess it is the, th the third time I've done a Shire House now, but... This is sweet. Wow, this actually, this infinite glitch into reality here because of my world edit thing command that I use to dig this hole is actually super useful right now. Oh! Oh, apparently I can use that to just go right through there. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like a portal to another dimension right there um i actually don't know also like unfortunately i will have to raise the ground up to fill this hole so i don't know what this is gonna look like probably something just like that actually maybe be able to fill this crack with like some wood easily The easiest thing would just be to put kind of a, a stop like a blocker there just to fill in basically the view of, but you know like so you can't see air and then you won't even be able to notice and what i'll do is is i'll come in with um infinity the infinity hammer mod 
and I'll just bring in some vines in, like I'm gonna do anyway and a hole like this you can just easily cover up with some vines boom nature beautiful just cover it with a vine yeah you're already there my bad Mauer. you were already you already on it nice I use it all the time because I'm terrible at free placing yeah it's nice to have those three snapping points okay so we've got the general shape going I do need to work a little bit on the shape of this one. I wonder if I could actually just use this line right here. Nope. That's not going to cut it. I do want to double this though. That'll be okay. Stick in there. I'm not really sure if this is just... This could be an outdoor feature or I think it'd be cooler if I could somehow connect this up to the house. Maybe I should raise it to kind of this level. Would that make more sense? No, that's too tall. Hobbit holes are small. That wouldn't make sense. Maybe just bring it further back. Oh, it's connected into the main wall. I had it like that so it'd be easier to if i am going to connect this to the house this becomes a hallway you know so i got to get rid of all this let's actually let's experiment with this this would be cool this would be the only hobbit house so far that has like a hallway that's actually accessible in the front it may or may not be impossible to do this but <laughs> there's only one way to find out and i can put i can raise all this ground back in just a moment so maybe it could be like a garage oh for their cart oh man i wish i had thought of that before i destroyed all this <laughs> uh that is a great idea if this doesn't work that's what i'm gonna do i've never thought about that before because the other house i had a log pile on the side in a little covered area and i didn't want to copy that but i did want something kind of like under a little thing um so if this idea doesn't work i will do that let's see so how would this work so this would actually mean that that would be the doorway because aesthetically i think you would need this line here going left or it wouldn't it would just feel really awkward in that space so then this would be not really doors and hobbit holes as far as I've seen except for the front door so let me just open this up to be a doorway and then what kind of like an arch I'm not even sure here let's see yeah you know what let's just go for it I can add all this land back if I need to in a little bit you can see my free placing is slightly off. <laughs> Shout out to Binary. Apparently we're all bad at free placing. It's not just you. I thought I nailed that, but obviously I didn't. <laughs> um, let's see. Alright, so that could be really cool. Just like this. And basically, essentially, this would be the doorway into... Oh, that was not supposed to be a raised ground. This would be the doorway into here. And this would be like a little sitting room, I would guess. Or maybe even this could be like a cute little dining room or something like that. I think this could be really cool. Um, I gotta see actually how I did... So the door frames over here came out really nicely. Like we've got a couple different like really like things that really feel like you're in a hobbit home that i want to copy and i think that door frame needs to be one of them um how did i do this so this is just a single piece right here oh these are just wall pieces look at that okay and they're double layered got it actually i'll leave that door open i'm gonna be coming over to that place a lot today Okay, so, fortunately, we got to do the, re the full plan 
if I'm going to commit to this. So, let's see what it would look like with one of those doorways in. I want to finish up the front kind of facade, but before I do anything, I got to make sure this is going to work. So, ideally, you know, the doorway is kind of like this, right? But ideally, you're going to have... You know, that'd be really cool for a doorway and all, but you can't really walk through this, right? I mean, you could jump through it, but... So we need, like, a little bit of a space. I wonder if I could scoot left into that. That'd probably be a bad idea. I could go a little further right into the ground. Not much, but a little bit. Okay... So what I need is really like that. So you just have like one little space. Get rid of that. Okay, so essentially this would be the door. And you can actually walk through that as long as, I mean, the ground might not, yeah, okay. The ground has a little hole there. I didn't know if that's going to let me, but let's see. Now, how would this work? The only thing I don't like about this idea is that this won't be, like, I do have to roof this. Little covered spots for the car. Yeah, you do. See, that's a good idea. I've never seen anybody do that. That's a really good idea. That is a great idea, Mallory. I did not think of that. Oh, this is going to be tricky too, roofing this, because it's going to want to go straight through that wall, but... The good thing is, is if you really, like, kind of analyze this space, we're going to have a front entrance coming through here, an exit out here, but really this could be dead space. I could cover up this entire, like, space here with just, like, a pillar or something, you know? And so only a tiny bit of that will be sticking through. I'm not really worried about that. But let's see. I'm just worried that this isn't going to feel like it fits because it is a roofed part of a Hobbit home, which I guess a Hobbit home is roofed, of course, but it's, you know, with earth, right? I guess, kind of. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. So what would be the best way to... So what would be actually more... These go less far. So maybe actually a corner piece here. Oh, it's going to make me free place it. That makes sense, actually, that it's making me do that there. But will that actually save me... It will. No way. There's no hole there. Wow, that's so lucky. Okay, that's going to save me so much hassle. Cool. And just roof this side right into the mound, basically. And then I'll bring this all the way back. And then add this here. Nice. Okay, so let's see how this kind of flows. It's a little bit ugly with when it comes to the doorway. That's going to take some tweaking. I can cover... I can cover that up. Ooh. I don't know... Check out my little village. Yeah, I, I meant to tell you that the other day, Mallory. I was going to say, I got to come check out your builds and stuff at some point. See what, see what you've been doing. I got to ch I, I check out some of Cherry's, too. She was saying she had a few extra done. Um, I guess I could take out the second layer on this wall. Although, I could leave this a layered wall. I'll just leave that for now. Okay, so now I am going to do the two-layered kind of roof trim so that it does match the house. 
Definitely gonna bring that into the ground because it feels natural. Can't bring that through the wall, unfortunately. Is this gonna look cool? I, ha I haven't decided if this is gonna be cool yet or if this is really just like a waste of time. <laughs> um, okay, so it should be that angle. So you see, I've got two snapping points here. I've got, I should have one out here and then there should be, yep, one back in there. I believe the one back in there is the correct line. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. Um, okay, and then bring in some of these guys. Oh, this is a funny camera angle. Okay. Nice. Okay. And then we bring in the wall. And now with the wall, we'll actually be able to see kind of the vibes. There's going to be a window there for sure. Is that Hobbit housey? Does that feel like a Hobbit house? It kind of does. It kind of doesn't though, in a way. You can make it a window instead of a door. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a window, but I don't know... Ooh, those are sticking out a lot, but I guess that's okay. I wonder if I could even... Hold up, hold up. So many ideas. Okay, so for now, I'm just going to leave these as 45s. Not the 45 with the wall. And then what if I actually took the roof? Kind of broad. I think I'd have to go 45 to make that work. It'd be something like that. No, that's too funky. Although that could be really cool. What's going on, Ken Shu? How you doing? Looks good to you, Binary? Okay, okay, okay. I, I don't... There's definitely some potential here. I know there's going to be a window somewhere around here-ish um I don't I mean this could actually be really cool but I don't know just return to the office and you're playing Valheim <laughs> oh thanks Kenshu much appreciated much appreciated. We're going to be chilling and playing for a while today. We are going to be hanging out. Hopefully I can get a whole other Shire house done. That's the plan. Let's see. Something like this, you know? Kind of like a crazy little like... How cool would it be too if this had like a little, like a little window here? All right, I'm going off on another tangent, another random idea that may or may not be really dumb, but I kind of want to try it out, see what happens. Oh, if this is going to be a window, I actually think I need to leave that open, right? And then just fill in the layer below. Which is going to be really hard to fill in. I know. I see. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. Okay. So then the grate would be... I 
like right there and the wall would be here would that be weird that would be a crazy looking hobbit house tfg streams are always a good time thanks exclamation point lurk <laughs> Um, this could be cool, but I think this is just a little too much. It's an interesting idea, though, like adding another peak there. I just think that's a little grand for a hobbit house. Yeah, I'm going to take it out before I get too into the idea, and then I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> it's an interesting idea, but I don't think it's going to work. So this this right here feels pretty cozy to me. Um, I think I like the shape of this a lot. The problem is, is figuring out how to seal all of this off. That is the problem. I mean, I could always go to the trusty vines, you know, just cover up this crack in the rock, <laughs> you know, and basically just have like a wall here. Let's see. Wow, the front of this one ended up taking a while compared to the other Shire houses. This is, a uh, front's usually the easy part. <laughs> See, it's almost like I need a, a roof peak over here. I guess that's why I did that initially. Because it does feel like you kind of need it. What is that? Oh, yeah, I filled that space with that. Um... I, could, I wonder if I could just get away with like doing a, a nice easy slope. Uh, it doesn't really quite go into the wall. That was a little lower. I could pull that off. Like if it was like right here. So let's get rid of this. Okay. That helps a lot. Yeah, and then I could just basically have... The ground raised over here. have it kind of going into the ground I don't know skylight with some crystals yeah hobbit sunroof maybe it's the hobbit's mayor's house I could maybe bring in something though but let me see What if I made it seem like the building went like the other way? Like what if I made it, what if I set up like a... Nah. I might just have to not go with this idea. Hobbit House number three, TFG did 
There were two of the last. Yes, this is the third uh, Shire build stream. You can check out the other two if you are interested. And that is where I built. Um, this is the second one I built in Hobbit stream number two. And the inside is absolutely insane on this one. Uh, I think it came out really good. It actually kind of feels like a Hobbit house. First one's really good too. But uh, the first one um, is just... A little bit smaller a little more cramped and i didn't do as much like woodworking which the hobbit houses have a lot of um but yeah you can check out those streams if you'd like let's get back to work the shape of this one is definitely going to be tricky all right so i'm actually gonna hear me out hear me out i'm actually gonna take this out I just don't think that this space is set up well for this. But there's something else I do want to try here. That I think is going to look really awesome. The problem is, unfortunately, see, I need the ground here. You cover this hole in the rock. But, I want to try something that I thought of the other day. That I think would be really cool if I can make it happen. So, Hobbit houses, sometimes they have like little windows that are just like peering through the hill. And you can't really see like any part of the structure all you see is the window that's like peering through the hill so i kind of wanted to try to do one of those myself let me make this a nice looking hill first <laughs> so i definitely just added all this really quickly just kind of smooth all this out Okay. So I'm wondering, maybe I can put like a little window, which feels like it's like in the wall. It's gonna have to be angled kind of with the dirt, I think. Yeah, see how this is like kind of in the wall a little bit? Maybe something like that, but a little bit lower even. Yeah, maybe a little lower. Some kind of like little window here would be really cool. Could even do like a curved window. Let's see how it comes out. Don't know how this is gonna work, so I'm just creating a basic shape really quick. Is that too close to the house? I don't think it's too close to the house or anything. I do need to add some more details also to the house itself. Oh, I hate this length. Sticks right through. I wonder if I could actually just free place like that free place like that not bad okay I'm gonna have to remove this to do that one Oh, these are at different heights, though, because of that. 
So let's redo these. And I need a place to I get rid of that for a second. I think that would be dang that is spot on but you know what I think I messed up the uh... oh no that's perfect oh man there's no way I'm gonna be able to match that on this side <laughs> that worked out perfectly okay let's try that again and then place this into this Kind of like that, maybe? Yeah, I need to remember that. Hopefully I remember this for the next uh, house, because this is a tricky little area to work in. There we go, cool. Those are all the same height. We're going to also bring in probably some kind of lines up here, which I might need. There we go. Gotta destroy those and then put them back. Okay. Probably some lines right here. Oh, that's too many lines. What did I do over here? Oh, I see. I love the ground solution to building underground. Yeah, we definitely love experimenting here on this channel. We've tried all different types of little builds and things, and I'm trying out some mods now so I can do builds like these. Cool window would be awesome. Yeah, I think a window would be really nice here. I just have to uh, figure out how this is all going to work together. Why does, why does the roof seem so... The roof seems like it's higher on this one. Oh. That one should be... Seems pretty much the same. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, so we're gonna triple layer the roof trim. Nice. Okay, so that sticks out a little bit above everything. And then that's more inside. Yeah, that makes sense. We got some vines, which are going to go here and there. Patch up the hole real quick. Nobody has to know. <laughs> All right, got a window which is going to go over here. Probably just keep it a little small window. I could go. Oh, no, that's just going to complicate things. Let's just keep this little guy like he is. I could maybe do something for like a windowsill though. You have about 60 hours into this, into game playing split on three different playthroughs. You don't have a pickaxe yet? How do we get the pickaxe? I have level three crafting gear. Uh, that's a good question. I think the pickaxe comes from uh, your second boss fight, first boss fight. It's been a while since I've played survival. You get the swamp key, you get a pickaxe from either the first or the second boss fight i think i'm not really sure anybody that plays a bunch of survival can you help us out in the chat 
I really don't know. I've been playing creative for six months now, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, you should have it by... There should be a way to get it by now for you, for sure, if you're already at, like, level three crafting gear. wonder if there's, like, a little kind of arch I could add. like a little small kind of window peak right there just like a little custom thing yeah you get it after you beat the first boss yeah so you might if you haven't done any of the bosses yet uh if you do that you should get it why is this this still looks it's like this roof i put like literally one meter higher and i love how it looked though so i might have to do that on the other roof Oh, or I could steal this line, which looks really nice. Yeah, let me do that. What did I... Oh, wait, I know. I can do... I'm going to do some green banners here. Yeah, I might have to raise the roof by like one meter. This is really small. Actually, I just realized this is smaller than the other two Hobbit houses for sure. Do want to have some like green banners in or something like that. Um. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Get rid of these for a minute. Okay. And then I'm just going to raise the roof up by one meter. I'm hoping... That's going to look really nice. Get rid of all these. You love the creative streams? Nice. Okay, cool. I'm glad. I was a little worried that uh, that they wouldn't be like appealing to people who play survival, but um, that's good to hear. That is very good to hear. I need to get another survival playthrough going. Let me tell you, it has been too long. I've been thinking about doing something, like a little video. For the channel. I was thinking about even doing like one of those hundred days things, but I don't know. And then I saw a couple other people do it and I was like, eh. It's been done. Maybe I could do something else though. Alright, now I can make this window a little bit nicer. I think I want to actually do like a reverse windowsill on this one. Let me see if I can actually do it though. Yeah, just something like that. So it's got some kind of like top to it. Wonder if you actually don't need those. And if I could just make that the top. Yeah, something like that I think would be a nice little detail. Because there's not really enough to put like a, a peak here. 
Like, I'd love to just put, like, a little peek over the window, but, you know, something like that. But it just doesn't fit in this little space. Add these back. Get rid of this one. Okay. Now it's time to find out if raising this was a mistake. <laughs> I hope not. The line went right above the door every time, right? Yeah, it did. So what I'm hoping here is by raising this up, it basically makes kind of the rest a little bit less congested. But let's see if that actually worked. It's not bad. Let's see what design. I could actually change the design now, though. Bring it up a little bit. Because this. It's going to come out. Ooh, that is ugly. Maybe just come out on the top there. Yeah, I only did two, so. I don't like something about this. I don't like, I mean, do need to get rid of that, but. <laughs> nice placement on the window. Okay, okay. Your Steam is getting true as well, so it's your Xbox Game Pass. 100 days stream videos are overdone. I think so, too. I think so, too. I think I, I could find a better way to do it. You know, like, I could do, like, like a modded playthrough. Um, I could do, like, a survived on one island playthrough or something or like you know I, I could find another way i think it'd be weird if i did this so that's definitely weird on the window but does that look weird if i was gonna do that i would then do something like that What's up, dude? <laughs> um, no, I'm not really feeling this. I do kind of feel like this could use a little bit of something, though. Maybe just something like that. And then this. I can now fill in. Back to the original thing that it was. Nice. I am going to have to overlap these here, I guess. That is really ugly, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get away from doing that. Need my mod update so I can send links. Oh! You are now a mod. My bad. I told you I was going to forget that when the stream started. You were going to have to remind me. I did I did tell you that. <laughs> yeah, lots of fun going on in the Discord. So if you guys want to hop in there, if you guys like Valheim, and you want to get in some Valheim discussions, the Discord is growing rapidly at the moment. So definitely hop in there and kind of join the combo or... Or just lurk if you want to just lurk that's fine too 
totally fine. Let's see, let me close this and also have a Reddit, a TikTok, a Twitter, and an Instagram too, if you want to check those out. Don't forget to check those out. YouTube and Reddit are the main two things, but working on all the others as well. Let's see. Okay, this is starting to come together now. I do need to figure out how I'm going to add the kind of supports that I like to do for these Shire houses. Maybe like right there. And then like right here. And right here question mark. Yeah, there we go. Do another one over there. here I really want to do it right where that pole is okay let me do that and then bring the pole back is that gonna look weird nah kind of actually it does kind of look weird hold up let me do actually a few like three right here maybe Oh, they're not meeting. That's unfortunate because this front line is slightly higher. Can I change that? I can absolutely change that. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Nice. Okay. So I believe. Oh, now they're sticking out over the top. Sometimes I wish there was like a button you could press that like whatever thing you're aiming at, like whatever you're holding, like auto lines up with it. You know what I mean? Like there was a way to like, like I know this is a snap system. So it's like that already is a thing, but like situations like this, like there's no snap there. But if there was like an auto lineup like next to it or something, that'd be so useful. That is sticking slightly above again, but it shouldn't be enough to make it a problem what's going on chris tofer no problem mallory no problem welcome back to another stream my friend chris how you doing man how you doing yeah this is much better right here all right and then i can do one right here 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 Maybe another one down low. Oh, I might have to dig a hole to get the right angle on this one. Dang it. Yeah, I gotta dig a hole. You know, sometimes in life you just gotta dig a hole, right? And it's still not working. Nice. Wonder why it won't work right here. Let's get rid of that for a second. Yeah, it was that. Cool. Coolio schmoolio. And we've got that back where it goes. Oh my gosh, I forgot to fix the ground. All right. It's coming together. It's looking cute. Looks good. Appreciate it, Chris. Appreciate it. Good to see you, man. They need an alignment snap for sure. That's what I'm saying. Like a like a second type of snap. Exactly. There's like a, a snap. Like to get it to snap into the regular game. And then like another thing. Like you could press like caps lock or something. And it would give you like a like a line up next to or something. It'll, it'll do its best to like line up the two pieces. That would be really cool. Repair my tools. Okay, back to work. Back to work. Drank a little water. Feeling refreshed. Let me go ahead and 
line this before I forget to. Okay. That should be... Yeah, that's fine. I was going to say, this might turn green because it's underwater, but it's not quite... It shouldn't quite be underwater yet. Okay, so the general facade is kind of done in a little... In a kind of a way. Uh, let's add this back. Uh, but I do need... Let's get this window done over here. So I don't want the window to impede on the overall picture. I actually think I'm going to bring it back a little bit or maybe just bring it left what if I just brought it a meter left I'm excited to see if this works too because if this works I can use this in all the rest of the Shire houses Oh, that was just a little bit too much. So the key here is going to be coming up with a nice design. Which feels like it kind of makes sense. And feels like it's actually part of the house. Might even angle it even more. Problem is, the more I angle it, the trickier it is going to be to roof it, but that's okay. Figure it out when we get there type of thing. Something like that. Is that too far away? Nah, I think that's good. Let's try it. Maybe just call it quits there though at this height. I don't want to go too tall. Do want to keep that same scale as the rest of the build? Something like that could be really nice though. And then I wonder when it comes to the roof. Do I want the roof sticking out? You joined the Discord. Awesome. That's awesome, Kenshu. Now we can all hang out. We're really, I've been really grabbing a bunch of people from the live streams too, which is great. So you'll see some familiar names in there. Like the green banners? Yeah, the green banners are definitely going to be here. I do think I'm going to adjust them a little bit now that I raised the front wall size. I think green fits really nicely with the Shire theme. And boom. There we go. I think that's going to be looking a lot better. Nice. Um, okay, so how exactly do I want to do this window? It's actually slightly too low now that I look at it. That's a quick, easy adjustment here at this stage, though. I really want it to be this height. Oof, okay. Interesting. Wonder if I could actually just use this line. Thank you. And I like that. Okay. Maybe just a little bit taller. Nah, I don't want it to be too tall. I do want some of these guys underneath. They're kind of like the bottom of the window. I really would like to leave. Yeah, I could do it with these maybe. Oh, what if I mixed? Yo, okay. Mix iron with the dark wood dividers. I really need some light here, unfortunately where the lighting is there we go <clears throat> you can do a 26 octagonal roof thing for the window maybe yeah it's definitely gonna be 26 because I don't want it to be too much I think that's exactly what it's gonna be actually um let's see I do want to do a nice little like maybe kind of detail line here on the top which we could easily just do with Something like that. 
And then I want to first test it and see how it looks if I just throw the roof right on. Oh, that's fine. I think that's absolutely fine. And then we could even do something fun with these. Kind of like... Oh, I can't see anything right now. Oh, that one's sticking through a little bit. Basically, just don't want them sticking through. There's some kind of like lines up there at the top. That's nice. I do think that's nice. Um, and the cool part about this is... Actually, I gotta make it look like there's something behind there. I gotta do something behind it. Right? I feel like I gotta do something behind it. This is gonna be kind of tricky though. I guess like I don't technically have to do anything behind it, but it would be cool. Try to make it feel legit. We'll add some some walls to it on the side. Ooh, it is raining. If my stream goes down, it was the rain. It wasn't me. <laughs> it's like a little bay window. Yeah. Maybe a wall with item frames and little mushrooms or something. Crystal or curtains. Ooh, like maybe do. Yeah, maybe some curtains. Yeah, okay. So let's see. Maybe I could do some curtains actually on the inside. Let's see what that looks like. Put them next to the dividers, essentially. How would that look? Ooh. Okay. We got layers on layers going on here. Now, my thing, my problem with this is the more we add, the more I feel like this roof should be... There needs to be a roof trim. And deciding what the best way, what would be the best way to do that is going to be a little bit tricky. What's cool about this is too is we could probably get away with not even using that middle one because these two will probably cover it up. And we could do something funky like this. Or is this too much? This might be too much though. I don't know if this is too much. I could even just try to like make it seem like it's part of it. Like connect it, but... Nah, maybe the frame's too much on the roof. Character movement is weird? Yeah, it is really weird. I have it way slowed down too. It's like super slowed down. I could slow it down a little bit more. Um, 
I don't know. I think the roof sticking out actually looks kind of silly in this scenario. I think I'm overthinking this. I think you could literally just... call it here and it would be a nice little window feature probably or I wonder if I could even black it out on the inside is there anything you could black it out with like and just be like it's just dark in there I don't think so. Oh, for sure, Brahmin, for sure. You already know. I'm gonna try like 40 different pieces before I come up with the right one. <laughs> I probably did, I probably learned that in Minecraft too, actually, to be honest. I wonder if this should be angled one more like that. That would actually match the... Oh, no. I'm going to have to redo it all. Are you kidding me? Yeah. There's something about this I don't like. I know I don't like that it doesn't show the wood right here. But it's like... I don't know. Should I... Maybe I should, uh, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, see the angle doesn't match the angle over here, but it doesn't really need to, does it? Something's off though about this that I can't figure out. Maybe I need to just keep tweaking the design. I'm just not really a fan of this yet. Gotta go have a good one. All right, my friend. Have a wonderful evening. My soul, why'd you say that? <laughs> Loving the build though, nice, nice. I don't know what to do with this. Man, I really wish I could easily just pick this up and angle it and see what it would look like at the same angle as the right side. Like mirrored over here. Hmm. Um... You think it's the angle? I think it's the angle. I'm gonna... It'll take me like 30 seconds to redo this whole thing, so... I think it's a good idea. I just have to figure out the right angle. Yeah, I guess, you know, just the right angle. That is the technically correct angle. Which means I really need to kind of bring it back a little bit. Okay, and then angle. Let's see, maybe I just bring it back and start it here. Right, see that seems way better to me. That feels like it makes way more sense to me. Like back in there a little bit. And maybe even scoot it over to the right a little bit. Yeah, this is this is what I'm saying. Okay, this is more like part of the build. Okay. 
Oh, it's three wide now. I could do a big window. That's fine. What if I did like wooden sides and then I'm getting distracted. I'm trying new things now. <laughs> Dang it. I was supposed to just be trying the new angle. Alright. New angle. Okay, and then I did these in the side. And then this in the middle. These on the back. Oh wait, I gotta wait until I do everything else for those. my soul to black it out i just got that wow that took me like five years chris <laughs> my bad your soul oh my gosh oops okay let's add these guys in This is, this is making way more sense. The placement of the other one just wasn't right. Yeah, this makes way more sense. And I'll even just bring this around to make this feel really cozy. Chop a little bit off of this. And then grass. Let's bring in some grass right around it. And that might make it feel really cozy. Alright. I kind of like this. The only problem is, is what's going to be back behind it. I, I never figured that out. Ah, chat's delayed on the tablet. You can always try, um... Uh, if I'm watching a YouTube live stream every once in a while, I'll just put fast forward on. Um, you, sh you can just put two times speed on, and it'll catch you up to the live stream. Usually that works. I don't know if that'll work on tablet, though. Uh, what could I... There's not really anything I could put it... I mean, it's really just there for show. Bring in the banners, though. I do want to do that again. Oh. And then maybe I could do the red banners behind this window, too, to kind of match. Something like there. Oh, I gotta turn the fly speed back up. Nice. Alright. I'm getting the Hobbit House vibes for sure. Oh yeah, you're not even gonna be able to see that very much. Because of the lighting, the way the lighting is. So, I do probably need to light it up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have like some permanent lighting over here by that. But that's okay. That's an easy fix. I 
could also try what am i on time of day 0 0.4 yeah what about 0 0.5 uh, it's back that way it just makes the whole thing dark <laughs> which means 0 0.6 would be even worse yeah all right um i'm liking this though this is a, a new design for sure it's kind of a mix of the first two hobbit houses first hobbit house angles backwards uh but it has like a little feature out front on the left so i guess i kind of stole a little feature on the left but i did something different and it angles out front this way and that's what the second one does. It angles out front. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm liking I'm liking the feel of that. So now Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to the intended spot for the bridge is now going to have to move, but that is okay. I might just do one bridge which goes across there. And I was thinking earlier I cut the road this way. And so really, I just need one bridge anyway, actually. I just get rid of those. Um, all right, let's raise some ground. So this part actually won't be accessible inside of the Hobbit house because the Hobbit house is all going to be back in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all doctored up. Looking nice. My shift, I was not pressing shift that and nor was I on the right thing e anyway, so or either way. I'm definitely going to have to open up this little creek a little bit at some point. Get all this like smoothed out correctly, but I can do that off camera really. What's up Zen? How you doing Zen? Welcome to the stream. How you been, Zen? <clears throat> How you been? So I am going to add some roof panels here, just in case you look at it from the side. And then some roof panels up here. We got the next Hobbit house on its way zen on its way good i am doing good as well good to hear it my friend good to hear it next hobbit house is coming in real nice you know i wonder if actually um thatch roofs would look better on these now that i think about it but too late can't really see the roofs anyway so Whatever, but I could do it over here. Let's try over here. Let's see if this looks better with a thatched roof. Maybe? I can't, I can't with this. Well, I could do them like this. Do something like that. You, I, I hate thatch roofs. I gotta be honest. I haven't used them in so long. They have some really good uses, though. Nah, I'm gonna go with the dark wood. Oh yeah, maybe I could just angle it. Um, one out. I've done that before. Let's see. So it just kind of like naturally flows into the hillside. Does that look weird? Oh, I actually kind of like that. Hold up. Hold the phone. I like that a lot. So the roof kind of sticks out on the sides a little bit. That looks really cool. It's a really interesting effect. I'll have to remember that when making like little curvy windowsill type of things. Building your first really big build in survival world and man farming having to yeah no I was just, we were just talking about that a minute ago yeah it's it, it you know we, we were talking about that a minute ago the, the best thing you can do for yourself is to choose a scale that you're comfortable with you know because if you go too big 
you know normally i'm like go big or go home but if you go too big then you'll just tire yourself out getting resources so it's like you gotta definitely choose that correct scale for you i'm thinking this is a nice front i'm gonna add some more uh vines here and there for sure i don't even have to cover up that hole anymore but i'll put a little vine there just just to do it Maybe something up in the corner right there. Something down here, maybe. Let's just get a bunch of vines up here. And I'll probably add some bushes right around there, too. Actually, I will. Where is... Bush. Couple of bushes. And I grabbed an entire rock. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. Okay, we're going to just place like one of these right here. Right there. Another bush. Okay, nice. I am going to have to make a bridge going across here at some point. I might do that now. I'm excited for this little bridge. It's an interesting little space. It's enough to make a nice sized bridge, but not too much. But just like I was saying a second ago with scale, this is a really nice scale for a bridge. Shouldn't take you too long. Yeah, I see what she said there, Zen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like this, though. I, th I think this is a cute little addition. This is going to be the third Hobbit house. We have plenty of room inside. Couple of holes in the ceiling, but that won't be a problem. Since we're going to be working with an entirely framed in house here on the inside. This is pretty sweet. I like this. I think I put too much up here though. I put a little too much up there. Um, that needs to go. Alright. I think this is coming in real nice. And then maybe... I want to try something, see if this trophy will fit. Oh, probably not. <laughs> By looking at the size of it right there when it spawned in, but... I love this trophy. I mean, that actually could fit there. But how many hobbits do you know have a dragon? above their door <laughs> like a stuffed dragon not a lot probably so what about i could just do old reliable a little deer statue there that makes sense will it be a covered bridge yes it will be a covered bridge is there a way to place lily pads in the water or like any part of it? So if you want to place lily pads, you can't really um place them. I can't even with my mod, I don't think I can even select a lily pad. Um, but what you can do is that the lily pads and the reeds, they will show up at around this depth. So you can see if I go to like uh see how you it, all of these are full of this, right? But if you go to the deeper spots, you don't see any. Uh, and that's you don't see any here and that's because uh, it's not the right height so just make it the only if you want to add lily pads you've got to change the level of the ground of the water raise it up right to the just close to the very at top of the water the deeper the water gets the less of these you're gonna have I wish you could place them though that'd be sweet dragon heads cool yeah they're part of the water texture so you just have to get the water to the right level yeah, I think it's a bit overkill. I agree. I think that's uh <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work there. But it was a cool idea, I guess. Kind of. Okay. We've got the front. Let's do Yeah, let's do the whole outside before we go inside. So I'll have to do a little bit of road work. Might add like a lamp post in here or something. Maybe. And then this is gonna go around this way. Alright. This is pretty cool. The road's getting pretty long, actually, now. 
um i'll have to build i might build like a little mini retaining wall right here i think that would look really nice for this area kind of like a little yeah some kind of retaining wall to go along this oh you know what i could do it with stone Something like right around that height. And so this part of the road is actually like kind of lined with a little bit of a... Yo, that is... This could be really cool. I'll have to mess around with this, but that's like in general the idea. Uh, just like a little. Bring this out one more. And then basically trim this back. Oh, I messed that rock up. Whoops. And I also just hit the ground. <laughs> over there for no reason you love the little details lamp posts and retaining walls you've been doing thanks you didn't know that with the lily pads yeah it's really all about it it's all about depth with the lily pads just making sure to change the depth of your water and you can get more of these in there yeah it's the little things that really make the big projects come together you know like as you come into the village we did this at the end of the last stream you know you're coming out of the forest you got this cool little like the shire type of thing and then you're coming through like the forest you can see the first house you got a little bench here on the left bench here it's the little things you know the lamp post a little simple well design here another lamp post tree stumps here and there you know bushes i don't know little mayflower display well, i never did anything with this i need to do something with that actually but yeah i think it's the little things you know and i think this will fit really cool right here too because um like there'll be a, a bridge here so then the like structure here will kind of feel like it makes sense i guess um wonder if i could do like a like a free placed one here and just like step it down yeah just make like a nice little ease easy step up right there kind of I got distracted and started doing a retaining wall. Dang it. <laughs> I keep getting distracted today. I think I'm gonna have to dig this all down low. To actually be able to see where I need to see. So let's get one of these in there and then I can get this into the right place. Okay, now get rid of that. Okay, and now Definitely going to be going with a uh, kind of brick laying pattern here. Try to give them a little bit of, um, like kind of offset them so that you get that nice kind of brick wall type of vibe. I could just fit a little corner piece in there and that'd be fine. Let me see. Okay, raise that up, raise this all up. I love the lighting in this game too. What's going on, Snowleaf? How you doing? I am continuing Snowleaf. Yes. Part three with the Shire build series is here. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get a whole nother Shire build done today too. At a whole little Hobbit house. This is the today's Hobbit house. If you haven't seen it yet. This is what we've done so far. Nothing yet on the inside of it, but soon there will be stuff. We've got some stuff going on out here. Um, yeah, there's the other two, which I think you've seen, Snowleaf. Still can't comment with your other account. Bro, YouTube, like... <sighs> YouTube is quite frustrating sometimes. <laughs> Like, I just don't understand why stuff like this happens. Because when, when you come in and tell me that, 
like i'm glad we got it figured out for you but it's like how many other people has that happened to as well you know what i mean and i'm like um like what's going on with that i did see i my comments are checked to uh review for if they're strict so if it had like a cuss word in it maybe that's what happened and youtube got mad at you but like i don't know you know what's funny too is like usually youtube like puts you into a category if you do something like that and like you were never in any category you told me the name and i looked through everything and so it's like i don't know youtube like put you into like a thing where you cannot comment on my stuff i don't know so the treehouse it was amazing you like the treehouse awesome that is awesome yeah, I think it uh I think it came out really nice. I really wanted to keep going on it, but um I really wanted to get that video out Sunday morning, so at at some point I had to stop adding to it, but I think there was enough. It was entertaining. It was it was a nice little build. Ooh, I could put a lamp post on this too. Yeah, I can put a lamp post right here. lamp post let's go that's nice right at the end of the wall maybe i do another one over here at the end of the wall over here why did i stack two of these Cute little retaining wall there. Get the grass all back over here. All right. Feeling pretty good. I do need to fill in this. Well, that didn't work very well, but there we go. um fill in this cool all right time to build a bridge so let's see how this is gonna work now the only tricky thing here is that they're at different elevations the easiest thing would be to just raise the elevation to match this and i think that's what i want to do and I think I want to aim the bridge kind of more this way, actually. Although if I aim it this way, it might actually make it into the thumbnail for it. So let me aim it a little to the right. And then let me raise up this ground a fair amount. I must have taken out some trees here at some point. About 15 bucks. How much is this game on Steam? Yeah, I think it's about 15 bucks. Something something like that. It's still an early access. It's not like a $60 game or something like that. $19.50? Nice, nice, nice. How do I make it so items aren't dropped when I destroy build pieces? Um, that is a... Down the other day, it's a part of a mod, but I'll tell you what part of the mod it is. Um, oh man, where did I write that down? Oh, it's called disable loot. So basically, if you type in hammer config, which is part of the infinity hammer mod, and then you can type disable underscore loot if you spell loot right you see and then if i hit enter it's disabled because it was already enabled so i just put it back on with this mod um i use let's see i use destroy anything disable loot remove anything 
no stamina cost, and no durability lost. All all of those are things that you can turn on with hammer config with this mod, which make it uh, really, really nice for just creative building. Water stream, something like in real life. I could go crazy with water puddles and stream or any water body. I feel that. I absolutely feel that. The little streams, I think they did a wonderful job with the terrain gen generation in this game. I absolutely love all the terrain gener generation like how it all works it all it all seems very uh logical and it just looks good like the streams just look so good with all the little reeds and everything right here too this is at like the perfect height where this water is just full of these um so that's gonna be really nice for this little stream coming through here we're gonna be able to make a super cozy little stream the only thing is i do need to trim back the banks a little bit because they're a little steep. So I'm going to do that. Zoom out a little bit. Okay. What I typically like to do is keep the edges next to like the bank really shallow. And then fill those with lily pads and stuff. And then uh, take make the middle a little bit deeper where the lily pads can't grow but um it just feels a little more realistic with it deeper in the middle i guess but i guess it's really just personal preference something like that so i think i actually need to bring a stream curving a little bit away from the house because the land here is gonna be kind of it's kind of restricted here so creating a little curve might be really nice in fact that gives me an idea so i'm thinking actually a wall around this spot they could have like an access to the water here and actually this might just be like a little garden right there and then this will be the walkway coming into the house. Yeah. All right. This space is about to be really coming together then. It's going to be really nice. Water in Valheim looks absolutely amazing. 100% agreed. Absolutely nailed it. For a game early access too, like the water is just beautiful. The lighting is just spectacular. I'll say it again and again. The lighting in this game, they did such a good job with the lighting. Like, oh, love it. It's cool too, cause like when you're editing thumbnails for this game or you're like taking screenshots and you're trying to get like high definition screenshots for Instagram or something like that. Like you really don't have to do a lot to Valheim images. Um, I do play in 2K, so that does help obviously, but um, like Valheim's saturation and exposure and everything, it's just all on point. It did a really good job. I could use one of my, uh, I could use the world edit mod, by the way, to cut out this stream um, really quickly. But the problem is, is it's kind of ugly and it cuts. Uh, you kind of have to, it's, it's a little finicky to use it to like cut paths and things. Um, so I'd rather just do it by hand. It's been like 10 minutes. It shouldn't take long, you know. Actually, I'm pretty much done. That's pretty much what I wanted to do. It's just kind of widen it up and make it feel like more of like a river than a creek. Yeah, this is nice. All right, so bridge time. Now, I do not know what kind of theme I want to do for this bridge. I have zero plans on the theme for this bridge. So um, this is going to be actually a lot of fun to do this. Let's see. Let's try to get this ground to a point where it matches the other side. Which would be a little bit lower than that, actually. Oh, and that's too low. Nailed it. Okay. And I wonder if I could even do... I could even bring up the land a little bit right here, kind of in this corner. And I could leave a space here, which I could put a staircase. Have like a cozy little like curving staircase coming down this way, kind of. That could be really cool. In fact, I don't even need the land here. 
I really could leave this out. That's a nice idea to like enclose it and make it feel cozy. But if I, I really, I need to think about it from a picture standpoint. How could I see this staircase? So if I open this up, you'll be able to see it from across the river. And that'll be really cool. Yeah, see now I'm actually wishing this was a little bit higher. So I could do like a full curving staircase. Let's see, I still kind of could. I can bring that out. And then I can curve it like around it. We'll have to see how it all works out. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. Can Valheim run on, run on own server? Yeah, you can run your own server for sure. I can, This is a single player world, but I could just boot it up as a server and anybody can join while I'm playing it. Will you go with a stone or a wood bridge? That is a spectacular question. The only bridge I have to reference in Valheim it, or in the Shire is the one bridge which is going to be going all the way over here at some point. There's a famous image from the Shire movie set, which you can go visit that Shire movie set these days if you want. But uh, so it's, you know, it's not just a picture, but um, there is a famous picture though. And it's got like a little house with a water wheel, a stone bridge, and then the green dragon in. And that's going to be what I build at the end of the project. And that stone bridge, that's really the only bridge I've ever seen in the Shire that I have to reference. So I guess technically speaking, I should do a stone type of um, type of design. That would that would make sense. So I'll probably do a stone base and a wood top is what it's gonna be. Um, to be honest, it'll be it'll be a mix. So let's do it. Let's actually let's make a bridge. So I'm thinking too wide would be cool. It doesn't need to be too wide, but I think that would be really nice. Now if I'm gonna go that far back, I'm gonna bring the riverbank with it. Definitely want to open up this river as much as I can just to make this really feel cozy and picturesque. <clears throat> okay, lost a little bit of the curve there. Actually, don't want to do that. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe some corner pieces. Outside, see, stone does add a little bit of complication. Something like this, something. Like this. I think that would be really nice. Can I even build one of these? I can build one of them. I almost need to shorten this side. There's a lot on land on this side and a lot not on land on this side. <laughs> uh, I even feel a man recovering okay. Uh, it's it's back and forth. I have good days. I have bad days. Um, overall, though, I have definitely improved from uh, significantly from the last couple of months. So. Yeah, everything's going well. Just learning how to live the new lifestyle with the new diet and everything. And uh, should be alright in a few months. Finally done going to doctors though, for now at least. So that's really nice. Did a, did a two wide stone base for my covered bridge on my world with friends. Nice, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do is probably a two floor wide, uh, four meter wide bridge. Probably going to have wood floors. Let's see. Yeah, but overall, I'm doing much better. So thanks for asking, Jackson. Good to see you here. Good to see you here. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize that was you earlier that said... They asked about the item drops. What's up? Um, Elevated on a spot. Seating area, maybe? That could be cool. A little seating area. Yeah. That could absolutely be cool. 
appreciate it jackson appreciate it it has been very hard trying to get back to a full-time schedule but i'm hoping that this week is actually going to be my first week where i can work the whole week again so if that puts it in perspective i'm definitely doing a little better here now <clears throat> four meter or two wide works better yeah i agree really four or two is really nice but it just depends on the situation oh i need to bring a new line across which is gonna set up all my stone for me wow it is straight up thundering outside um i like actually where this ends but i don't like Let's see, hold up, hold up. Because these are going to be on the edge. So it'll actually be, technically be a six meter wide bridge. But I think it'd be really cool to have like a four meter wide bridge here for walking. We could do something fancy with the floor in a minute if we want to. But for now, I'm just going to get the general shape going. There's definitely enough room here with this bridge to do something fancy. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have an even number. So we could do three, three patterns, like a pattern and then a pattern and then a pattern. That could be cool. My only concern is, does this look right? I think the ground needs to go back a little bit more still over here and then it'll look, you know, then it'll seem legit. Glad to hear health is improving. Heard of the paleo diet years ago. Never tried it yet. Yeah, that's... I, yeah. I don't know if you uh, have been in the last streams when I was talking about it, but that's that's basically what I'm doing. It's like a really, really strict version of the paleo diet. Um, like an extremely strict version of it with a lot of other stuff cut out too. But I don't have to... I, I shouldn't have to do it forever though. That's the thing. Eventually, I'll, I should be able to eat normal things again. And <laughs> like all that type of stuff. But... Just for now. For now, sticking to the old fruit, vegetables, and meat diet. <clears throat> Added pics to the Valheim chat of my bridges if you want to take a look. Yes, I will absolutely check that out. Dang, I need to get a screen set up so that I can pull up the Discord on stream sometimes. Valheim... Yeah, it's gonna be similar width as yours. Definitely similar width. Just with like a stone bottom. And I'll probably stick with the dark wood roofs though, just because that's what I've been doing throughout. Well, that's what I do in every Valheim project, to be honest. <laughs> but um, but yeah. Let's see. Ooh, I think that's too much stone, actually. I don't want to do too tall with the stone. I really want to keep it chill with the stone. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to place these yet. Let's go ahead and support that go ahead and support that that's cool that you can actually see down a little bit on those and we're gonna see what we can get away with here with the stone without using iron first preferably we can get away with it without using iron but we will have to see Uh, chop this back just a little bit more. Yeah, I am going to have to definitely do some work on this riverbed. Get it looking right. How do you diet without getting gastritis? Yeah, I had chronic gastritis for five years and acid reflux and all that stuff. I feel you, my friend. Um, the problem is, it's like you really got to find the root cause, you know? Like for me... I went to for five years I went to doctors they didn't know I had an autoimmune disease but I had symptoms of an autoimmune disease like I had a uh, really bad acid reflux and and chronic gastritis like I was just getting like multiple endoscopies like they were getting down there with cameras and trying to figure out what's going on and um, basically for me like I followed all of those diets like the like you know acid reflux friendly diets but none of that stuff ever really worked for me like it was mainly just getting worse over five years slowly over time um so for me i just went full paleo now and that seems to have solved everything but i have an autoimmune disease 
so i'm different my advice to you would be to try to find out exactly what is the root cause of your gastritis um and then, and then you'll be able to treat it better it's quite tricky though finding it out these days i will say let's see if i did two that would be i would go to here there would be one left in the middle so i can't quite do enough let's see add one here add one here this <laughs> this endoscopy price you're like nah nah yeah the problem with an endoscopy is like i've gotten three or four of them now and basically every time they just unless unless you have like you know some of the big stuff um like cancer they can see that instantly and or if you have any like really like like severe damage then they'll see that but you would know trust me you would know you wouldn't be able to sleep if you have the d damage they're talking about that's the problem is like i've gone in multiple times and every time they're like oh, okay well you've got like this amount of reddening you know this amount of blah 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 and they're really just trying to check for like the worst of the worst um, and unfortunately, that's what a lot of that's kind of what ma modern medicine is in a lot of ways is it's it's, you know, a doctor is is there to fix your symptoms in, in a lot of the ways they're there to cure you if they can. But most of the time, they can really only just help you with your symptoms if they you know, if they don't know, um, you know, so endoscopies are weird. I don't know if your doctor says you need it, though, I would recommend listening to your doctor because <laughs> they definitely know best. But sometimes it just takes some of your own research on the side to figure out exactly what's going on and to figure out you know steps you can start taking like a doctor for example was never going to tell me i needed to go on the diet that i'm on now which has like saved my life so you know if, the, if that kind of explains it it's just you know you need i don't know you know it's it's really hard i don't know like, you want to listen to them, but you also want to do your own research. That's all I'm saying. Let's see. I'm wondering if I should do a second thing of stone. Like, in the middle or not? Yeah, it, you, you think endoscopies are expensive. They made me get a colonoscopy like a month or two ago. Man, that's expensive. Let me tell you. And that's not fun either. You got to take a bunch of laxatives the day before. Oh, it's awful. Worst medical test i've done yet by far by far like oof so i'm thinking this would be cool with round logs i don't know why i'm thinking core wood but i'm thinking core wood and then maybe like that's so tall though i wonder if i could get away with Um, I don't know. Now you got me thinking, Snow Leaf. Now you got me thinking. Is a stone arch bridge possible? You done one? Yeah, it's possible. I mean, but the problem with, you can see, like, we've got these arches here on the corners, but that's really it. It's not really a stone arch bridge. Um, if you want like i it's a thing i was actually thinking about the same thing the other day with the stone arches it's like you can make an arch and then you can make another arch but you get this weird like bumpy kind of arch and it really doesn't look good so this is another thing i was talking about earlier if you up the scale of this to like 10 times this then you can fit little details in and you can like add a stone as in like try to you know shove it into this stone and like make a nice angle you know and then maybe you can come up with a way to make a cool design that curves but it's it's really i think it's going to be about scale you know it's going to be about uh the bigger the scale you go the more you can do with rocks the more you can kind of shove things in in places i i hope that like properly explains that you can do it for sure you can do it it's just going to require a pretty large scale right now without the you know the 
all the pieces how you doing i am doing all right raging baby how you doing no you're fine snow leaf you're fine you're making me think about it i just hate i just hate like i don't want to give you the wrong advice you know what i mean and i just know for me like you know i'm, I'm still going to the doctor and like you know like i'll always go to the doctor i mean but a lot of what i learned in, in my situation now was not from the doctor and so it's like i don't want to recommend the wrong thing though but um you know i don't know it's difficult you know <laughs> Angry pig is angry. <laughs> I really want to use these core wood. Oh, he is. Look at that. Get out of here. I really want to use these core wood poles here, but I don't know if there's going to be a really nice way to do it. I could also line these stone poles. I could... If you want to see your tip at a large scale one in a build eventually yeah I'll, I'll have to do that at some point i don't know how to describe it any better than that it's really like you could build whatever you want in valheim i guarantee you there are plenty enough things whatever you can imagine you can build in valheim but the problem is is like you're going to get to a point on some things that are so detailed and intricate that you will have to kind of start merging pieces together and like you know free placing a lot of stuff so it's just like you know uh, how much how much work do you want to put into it essentially let's see so this is gonna be let's see what would it yeah these meet evenly like this so i'm thinking what if we did like actually two frames on this build and so it actually looks like it's being held up by the core wood but really, it's being held up by the regular wood. Because I need that base square kind of rectangle with the regular wood to work with for the roof. But I can still do some nice detailing on the outside and I can figure out a way to combine it with the roof. Speaking of, like I can do like something like that, which could end up looking really nice later on. Um... Just a little bit of extra detail kind of sticking out. Yeah, that is already looking kind of cool. Okay. And then even now that I see how that looks, we could even put them in the middle here. Do 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 do. Yeah, it's, it's looking kind of nice. This bridge, this roof is going to be massive though. Like I really should drop this to three meters tall instead of four meters tall, but. Actually, should I do that? Man, maybe I should. Like, see you say the stone arches and now I'm thinking about it. This is so plain underneath. It really makes me want to come in and add, you know, something else. Hmm, it's gonna be tricky to add though. Just put a stone down first and it'll touch that stone. Okay, and then now I can put the actual correct stone down. If it'll let me do a little trick here. Zoom in. I really need to get rid of... Oh, here we go. Put that up. Get rid of this. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Well, I'll do it the hard way some giant hobbits yeah this bridge is too big probably but whatever you are really gonna make i don't even think i can go any lower than this is the problem there we go i got it 
just gotta get it to the right height on the ground underneath so it'll auto place there we go see so at least there could be like a little bit more i could do does that even look good though because you can't see the other supports so they actually look kind of funny i could bring the land all the way back Make sure we can see all of the supporting poles. Okay, command to kill a mom in the planes. Oh yeah, and you killed everything. Yeah, that's that's the worst. You gotta be careful with debug mode. <laughs> Wood arches and the bridge work well, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I did that with uh my locks is back in the day. My planes farm. I was very sad. Let's raise this back up a little bit. See, uh, that is the only thing I actually don't like about the terrain. I wish there was a way to, I mean, it makes sense logically that the bottom would be wider, but I hate how when you do the top, like the bottom goes wider. And so sometimes it buries things, but that's okay. That is okay. I can also figure out how to work around that. Let's see. And then bring this back a little bit. Isn't there like a hole right here? Nice. Okay. Lots of terraforming on this riverbed. But hopefully this is going to look real nice in the end. Could have a single central stone pillar going through the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. My problem is like if I just up the scale a little bit, I could create a beautiful bridge right here, but... I really got to keep this scale like matching everything else in the Shire so far. Um, I do want to try this over here though real quick. Just see how it looks. See how low I need to go. I gotta do this fast. No, it's not gonna let me do it at all this time. Okay. How about now? All right. Get rid of those. Oh, that's weird. It's almost like the stability on this side is actually slightly different than the other side. All right. So how does that look? So at least it has like some supports in the middle. And now we could actually... The problem is like, you know what I mean? Like the, the stone arch is like, they... they this is what they they need to be used for. You know what I mean? It's a situation like this where you can do multiple. They're not good for doing uh, multiple. But hey, I'm just happy they put them in so we have some kind of stone arch option, you know? They, they chose a really good set of uh, blocks, I think, to put the game in early access with, I will say. Would it intersect with the pillars above too? Yeah. So we've got a nice little frame on the inside, which we're going to use. Probably going to use this frame also for, you know, like some other details. Probably similar to something like this. Okay.
<laughs> these X's. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, something like that I think would be really nice. And what's going to be really cool about this is we might even be able to create kind of a second line going around. Just depends on how I do the roof. So I believe the roof, I'll just kind of do... Actually, I do kind of want it coming out the front. So what we'll do is we'll make a little square here. And that's actually what we'll use for the roof frame. But much more expanded in a moment. Perfect play. Perfect place, few coin towers under the bridge corner, like someone hide there. <laughs> um, let's see. So we'll take, preferably, I won't need to go across. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, I just, nice. Got rid of the wrong one. Okay. And then we've got wide enough here to do a difference in roof if we really want to. Should we do a point or a curved top? Could do, actually, would this even, yeah, that'll fit. It could do like a point or. Have it just curved. Curved would be more natural. Yeah, definitely curved. Sometimes the other one is better, but usually I end up going with curved. I don't know about you guys, but a nice curved roof. And these fit together perfectly. Nice. Don't have to do any ugly overlapping roof panels. Cool, cool. Go ahead and make a nice trim here. Definitely going to put an X at the top. I have no idea where I just placed that roof corner. Or roof peak. Where did it go? Where are you? What are you doing down here, my dude? Just chilling, I guess. Alright. Now we've got a nice little bridge coming together. I've been doing this a lot lately with like, um, where I'll basically build like, I'm realizing, I don't know, it's just like lately I'm realizing, like, if I want to add a front, a fun facade onto something like with these poles here, you can do that very easily. Um, but sometimes it'll complicate like your roofs and everything like that. So what I do is lately I've just been building a frame on the inside of my builds which are like the nicest for roofs and for walls. Just a very basic frame, which comes out to be some type of rectangle or square. And then building my extra stuff all around the outside and kind of adding to it. And it's it's been really cool. I gotta add a few more details here and there though I think would be really nice. Possibly just a line going across it actually that isn't that bad I do think I want to go replace secondary roof line way lower so you get that like kind of double look Add the stairs there to make sure you can get on and off the bridge. Still got to do something to the floor. Early beta version of Alheim to test. Since for it dropped me on the land, Goblins. Goblins started to attack you like crazy? Shouldn't have been got. I hope not. If they dropped you in the plains, something is wrong. You can place the braziers under the roof of the bridge for lighting the hanging ones yeah i usually like to do that with the bridges to try to cut, find a way to get well, at least one like kind of in the center i'll probably do that in just a moment spectacular ideas in thank you thank you i gotta finish doing the trim let me just add this 
Okay, I like that spot, and I like that spot. Okay, and then I also need to add this, which I did on the other side. Like that. Yep, okay. Also, with this inside trim, we can even use that to create a really cool kind of almost like vaulted ceiling look. Okay, and then more over here. Yeah, and that just creates a nice little bit of detail when you look upwards. Um, I wonder what that would look like if I actually added that. Oh, there's too many snapping points here. That's a sign. Don't do it. Okay, got it. The universe was telling me not to. <laughs> um, I could add a little wall here, but I almost, I, I kind of like the stone wall. Maybe just add one right here in the middle and leave the rest of the bridge kind of doing its thing. That could be nice. Or vice versa. Let's try vice versa on the other side. What if I just left the centers open? Oh my gosh, I am misplacing many things. Oh, maybe that's better actually. How do we see this the best? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's better actually. Oh, and here comes the spam. Thank you, Mallory, for getting rid of those. <laughs> thank you Mallory you are on it much appreciated I think I'll actually do this design on the left all right got some really nice details in here now oh yeah that's looking really nice we do need some roof lines though, for sure. And I could just add actually um, X's going all the way across and that might look really nice in this design. Oops. Okay, let's see if it's gonna let me do it from out here. nice good look at bridge i mean simple i think this is the the scale of a bridge which is like it's big enough to where you can get a couple different layers going but it's not too big still kind of matches the scale of everything around here do want to add some lighting so let's see if we can get that hanging brazier in here There is a snapping point there, wonderful. Just adding that for aesthetics and boom. Is that too low? No, I kind of like that. I like that, I'm gonna leave it. It's a little low, but I do kind of like it. And then, yeah, that's nice. So floor, what about the floor design? First mod band, nice, congrats. Andy Marcy, Marchy, I'm not sure. Hopefully I got that kinda right. What's up, love your work mate. Greetings from Luxembourg, that's cool. What's up, how you doing Andy? Much appreciated. From Luxembourg, that is really cool. Man, now I kind of hate this little gap here that was created. Oh man, am I going to have to redo the entire retaining wall? Or I could put like a bush here. Oh, that's going to be unfortunate. Unfortunate. Welcome, Andy. 
What should I do next to this bridge? It's looking pretty nice. We've got multiple layers. There's a nice amount of depth. I like the roof. I like the stone arches. Um, I mean, really, we could call it quits here, but I think it might look cool with a few more little details. I did figure out something recently. I wonder if I could use it here. Probably not, but... Let me see if I could use some vines right here. Oh, nice. Look how cozy that feels. Fill all the corners with like some vines. Yo. So I realized, actually it was yesterday, I'm, I'm working on the next build for the next tour video off camera, and I realized like how much you can actually use these vines for, and it's incredible. Like, by just overlapping them a bunch and stuff, you can create some really cool little scene scenes. The, mo the mods are base game, so or the the vines are base game. But the problem is, is you can't use them like I'm using them unless you have Infinity Hammer and you have like extra hammers to work with, right, right here. Um, so I can use these extra hammers to like grab things and place them, like nature. That's definitely Infinity Hammer. But uh, if you get Infinity Hammer though, you can do this and you can create these cute little like, you know, these little scenes here where there's like grass and stuff and vines. Yeah, I think they fit really nicely right there. So I think that is going to be the last thing that I do on this bridge. Maybe just... A little bit of green there. A little bit of green here. And a little bit on the stone. Cool. Yeah, you should definitely get Infinity Hammer. Good point, though. I didn't think to point that out, that that is definitely a mod um, that's allowing me to do that. But super cool mod. Absolutely recommend uh, Infinity Hammer. You can also use the area pipette, which is really cool. Check this out. I can grab an entire area of forest and place it so i can basically create an entire forest um just really quickly with like these like little grabbed pieces it's pretty sweet super handy um okay so i think this is feeling really cozy i do think actually i need some kind of like bush right here because of this crack right here which i kind of want to raise just a little bit okay grab the bush again nice i almost need it like right there and then i can grab another i mean yeah infinity hammer is so nice <laughs> Cause you can make you can also like combine bushes and make little like displays curve the road a little bit this way man shire the shire is really coming together can you add fish to the river uh i think fish can spawn in rivers i i think i don't know how the fish spawning works because they'll swim around in like the oceans in the deeper spots i wonder if you had like a deeper river if they would actually be there i don't see any of it i made this little lake though you can see where i chopped down trees and stuff uh because i had to kind of modify this area to get it ready for the build but yeah there's a little fish right here 
Oh, he's just on land. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Fish is spawn if the water is deep enough. Yeah, I think it's I think it's usually a deep enough thing, right? But that fish over there is just like on something else. Um let me fix all this up. Alright, so this area is really cozy now. Really nice bridge. A little bigger than initially intended, but I think it looks nice. Uh, got a couple layers, like a lot of depth here, you know, with the stone on the outside, the core wood holding it up, what it looks like it is at least, and then the inner frame on the inside. So I'm really happy with that. And the vines really bring it together too. So let's see, I think it'd be cool if the ground was kind of raised on this side. Get rid of this a little bit. I wonder... Yeah, that's actually probably kind of good for now. Fix up all this ugly stuff. I gotta do more terraforming later on for this river, but I could do that off camera. <clears throat> How deep is the pond? Not very deep, uh, to be honest. None of the water uh, here is very deep in the area that I have designated for the Shire, but I'm glad that there is some water. I will say though, the spot over here where it really matters, where I'm trying to copy um, the picture from the Shire, which has like the house with the water wheel and then a big bridge, a big stone bridge, that's going to go right here where I do have a nice amount of water. Still not very deep, uh, but lots of room to work with here. And then the green dragon in, it's going to go right over there. It's going to be super sweet. I like this little stone retaining wall idea. It's very simple, but it really adds a lot to the road there. Um, I think I'm going to end up going back and adding some of those in over here, kind of here and there. You know, just something like, like a spot right here, it'd be kind of cool to have like... Ooh, man, that's got me thinking. Oh, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's go back. I'll do that later all right bridge is in the outside of the hobbit home is pretty well on i need to make a little farm here so that's what we're gonna do i need to make a little garden here I do want to do kind of a curved kind of thing and then maybe just a straight line That's kind of cool. That could be really cool. Man, I love this soundtrack. Chill music, chill vibes, playing some Valheim. Not even that deep. Yeah, not that deep at all. <laughs> Let's see, I'm thinking it'd be really cool to do the fence that I did the other day. Although it's going to take a lot of work. <laughs> and this is also a really curvy fence. Something like that, like a little, a small little fence right there on the side. Get some grass around it. Does need a way to get in and out. That would be useful. Okay, little gate there. 
change this into some cultivated land. Okay, it's all cultivated land. We can take everything out here back to grass. Ooh, a little bit too much. What playlist do I use? Love the music too. It's uh it's actually um like it's like a lo-fi playlist. Uh, but it's a guy that makes um, kind of like copyright free music for streamers and stuff. So you could probably find better lo-fi, to be honest, if you like the playlist. Like I'd recommend just looking up some lo-fi stuff. But if you want to listen to this stuff, you can look up. His name is Harris Heller. You, you can just type in Harris Heller stream beats. And he makes stream beats for like streamers and stuff. And you can use it in your videos. And uh, yeah. It's the lo-fi playlist. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Probably just grow some like flowers or something. I don't know. Or maybe I just grow some vegetables, but somebody was saying last week flowers do look kind of better in a situation like this. And I think I agree. One, two, three, four. All right, and through some magic, we now have flowers. Nice. All right, cool. Very cool shape going over here. Uh, I'm thinking, wait, so the staircase is gonna go, I do need to do the staircase too, actually. Okay. Small dock on the water to stand on. Not a bad idea at all. I do want to leave this like natural little slope here, which goes down in for like water access for the hobbit living here. But I did not think about a dock. I will have to open up the river a little bit to add a dock, but I could definitely do that. You've heard of Harris Heller? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Kenshu, that's what I'm saying. It's good stuff. Maybe some turnips. For the yellow flower. Oh, too late. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, what do I do next? Okay, let's do a staircase. Let's do a staircase. I'm thinking it'd be cool to have it kind of curving like this. Is that too much? That's too much. I do need to also get rid of that little bump. So this is probably one angle too much. I'm thinking like here. Hold up, hold up. Okay, let's go back all the way to like here. Something like that. See, I need, like, just a little more elevation to do, like, three levels of stairs here, and that'd be sick. He does a lot of acapella stuff. That's amazing. Really? I didn't know that, actually. That's cool. Maybe a curved staircase is a bad idea here. You could just do a straight staircase. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a fancy curved staircase. Um, should I cover this though? I wonder if I could cover this. Nah, it's fine. It doesn't need to be covered. Nah. Get some grass on the edges of it. And then possibly put like a stone pave here. Nah, I don't think I did stone pave in front of the other hobbit houses. Hold up. Oh, I did on this one, but I did not on this one. Why is there just like a random thistle here? 
<laughs> Is that did that really grow there? Okay. So I think yeah, dirt would be cool. I think dirt would be fine here. I don't know. Very cozy if there was a small table of chairs right after going through the bridge on the right, surrounded by a fence. I was thinking about adding a table and some chairs. But the problem is there's not much room to work with. Now that I have the garden over here. Um, I could take this window out. It's supposed to seem like a window. But I don't need that, technically speaking. I could put... Um, like an outdoor eating area there. But that's already what I did over here on this one. You can see I did a little like outdoor eating area in front of this one. Right here. So I don't know if I want to do that again. I kind of wanted to do something like unique each time basically. Like this guy got like a little log thing and a garden and a place to sit like two paths coming in and out of the front yard like wood over here extra like wood this guy gets a whole bridge though he's pretty lucky this guy got an entire bridge to himself <laughs> question is does he have to maintain the bridge or does the county maintain the bridge that's the real question <laughs> You love the window, don't destroy the window. Okay, so we're leaving the window. I can fit in like a little sitting. Oh, you know what? Okay, I got this. I got this, peeps. We got this. What are we thinking? Look, we come up with a dock design. And that'll fill this entire like curved space. We're good. Everything's fine. Oh, I need a nice curve that'll fit this though. And man, we are good. Go this way. Ooh, it's really close. Interesting. I wonder if I could actually like bring the land out a little bit. Either way, if I'm adding a dock, I'm gonna have to expand the size of the river. At least a little bit. So much river changing in this uh, this session. Lots of river terraforming. That's looking all right. And then I'm thinking, keep the window. Will do. Will do. Uh, I'm thinking something more like this. See how it just stuck it out just a little bit more, but now that will hold it. Something like that. And then maybe even out of here. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy looking dock, but place those, get rid of the temporary blocks, Looking for just like some kind of design I could add there. That would be okay. Actually, I wonder if that's these are going to be underwater. They're going to go green. No, I mean, this is fine. Just like a little dock design here, maybe. Kind of a funky one, but... It makes me kind of want to leave it, though. <laughs> like, that's kind of cool. I mean, that's kind of cool looking. 
very like a mini dock you know sitting spot on the lower platform wonderful idea very small spot but i still think that's a great idea oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah for sure Put it like that. Old reliable. You can never go wrong with a tankard. Okay. And now we got to add a little bit of structure to this. I think would be really nice. Do I want to use the same? Yeah, let me use the same... Gotta redo these real quick. It's the same little short fence as the garden. Then I can make it seem like it goes back a little bit. I hope this doesn't... Yeah, it's just not gonna run into the garden just like a barely little bit a barely little bit <laughs> words hard let's see this needs to be a little bit higher there we go i like that this is kind of cool i'm carrying too much thank you valheim oh there goes my cape Oh no. I got it. <laughs> Alright, get out of here, other items. You want to sit there so bad, look so cozy? It does look really cozy. This is coming together nice. It needs We need some lighting in here. I'm going to have to add some grass and stuff. Let's see if I can just barely touch that. See, right here, I don't want... That, so I'm going to bring in the path feature, which I need to do here anyway, because I accidentally cultivated and made all that land gross. Um, the question is, should I line the stairs? Because it's not going to match the dock below. Oh, actually, no, I like that a lot. And I could also just match it up with the dock. I just don't know if these are going to turn green after a little bit. I have no idea, but that's nice. That's a really nice little area right there. This is going to be a super unique Hobbit house compared to like the other ones um, because water has actually become like a kind of a pivotal part of it almost, you know? This is cool. Oh, Cherry is here. What's up, Cherry? How you doing? Good to see you, Cherry. It's Wednesday morning, 6 a.m. for you. That's so cool. It is Tuesday, 4.30 p.m. for me. Sorry about that button smashing. <laughs> Let's see. Possibly create like a little bit of a railing here. Don't know if you're even going to be able to see that. You can just barely see that, so I'll include it. Looks like this little spot right here would be a wonderful spot for a little bit of a retaining wall. Like a little mini retaining wall right here would be really sweet if I could get it right. Um, I wonder if I should do that in stone to match the stone retaining wall across and to match the bridge. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm going to go for it. Um... What would be the best way to do a retaining wall here? First of all, let's get this land back a little bit so I can see the space that I am working with. Okay, looks like there's just enough for like a curve. Yeah, but like that. I would think that would look good. Oh, I can't checker it because of the curved, but that's okay. Um, yeah. 
I think this will look good. I really wish I could checker it, but there's really way no way to not do a curve here. I definitely need to do a curve. Yeah, that, that looks official. That looks nice. Nice little wall there coming off the bridge. And then down the stairs. That's nice. Okay, get rid of this little tiny bit of grass here in the front. Let's just have grass on the sides. Let's go ahead and use some infinity hammer and actually grab... We need like a bush right there or a bench. Actually, a bench would be perfect right here. I still think a bush would be good there though. Uh, maybe one of these guys. Yeah, whatever. Let's do one of these guys. Maybe two of them. So right as you come off the bridge. No, nah, not two of them. That's too much. That's too much. I feel like I put this here. This is a bush in a weird spot, so <laughs> I'm going to get rid of that one. All right. Yeah, I like this. And honestly, what I love to do with spots like these, too... Maybe this is kind of weird, but I like to tuck a little ward, like... I just feel like they look cozy. They look, in, they look good in little spots like this. I do want to change the angle of the seat just slightly, though. Oh, that's kind of buried. Raise that up a little bit. Change that. Add the grass back on this side. Just a little bit of grass. Yeah, it's not bad. And it comes down into the yard, which I don't really know. Don't forget about the lighting and that big shadow of the bridge. Yeah, I do need some lighting around here for sure. That is for sure. What I'm going to do also is go ahead and cut this off. So I need this to look like the dock is on the edge of the water oh that's probably right i'm gonna leave that just like that bring out the path feature okay looking nice it doesn't quite go can i do this yeah that's fine This is super cozy, you know. Yeah, this whole thing went green. Everything on this went, went green. But it's kind of cool because everything down is green and everything up on top is not. And this is like the part by the water. I kind of like it. It makes me kind of want to add these now. I was worried they'd go green, but if everything is green... What ifs? Tuesday, 10.31 p.m. for you. Wow, okay. Doc is like, you read my mind. <laughs> I need a bit. All right, well, I'm going to uh, go ahead and block this person. Report. Thank you, Jerry. What are these people? Like, this is what happened in the last stream. One, like, love chat stream thing showed up, and then 50 more show up. Same thing with the Bitcoin people. <laughs> All right. Chat is cleared. So this little space is really, like, it's a nice amount of space. I've got to figure out what to do here. I wasn't going to bring the road, but I think the best move is actually going to be to bring the road texture to the door because that's going to really split up this yard this like yard here in the front that otherwise i don't really have anything in back up into the wall get some grass along the edge definitely want some grass over here on this one probably less than that but that's okay um I think it'd be cool to actually just I 
There we go. Just kind of act like that's all part of the same thing. It's almost like you need this to be grass. And then you need like a path here. And a path here. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh man, that's going to be so tricky with the grass though, because it's going to have this ugly pattern. I could try the path feature here, but it's not going to really. Let's see what happens if I redo some of that. That gets rid of the. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Some infinity hammer going. Uh, give me one of these. Yeah, nice little bush right there. Okay, okay. Got the garden. In fact, I might even do one of these kind of like right there. Nice. A radius mod for this yeah for sure i need to get that mod i do have like the length that i can do it turned up so i can like place things super far and like i can use the hoe from super far which is nice but man do i need that like custom size thing like mod or whatever it is oh hold up a little bush right here i didn't even mean to do that but that works out nice nice See if I can get a rock under here. Actually, I need you to move for a second, Bush. Sorry, Bush. Okay. Fix the grass again. Okay. Put the floor back. And add the bush. Why did my bridge just collapse? <laughs> Something over here collapsed too. Oh my gosh, why is everything collapsing? I hope this isn't happening in my entire save. That was very scary. That was very scary. For like one second, I thought everything was about to collapse. Did everything collapse? Hello? Anything... What's going on over here? How's the old Hobbit house? You looking good? Still looking good. Yeah, everything is the same here. Man, I love how this Hobbit house came out. I can't wait till we get to the inside in a little bit. That's when the real fun begins. Yeah, everything's good here. I don't know what in the world just happened, but a bunch of stuff just started collapsing. I don't know, Mallory. That was weird. I did too, Zen. I was like, what is happening? I was just like watching my world crumble. I almost logged out for a second. I was like, should I log out? Like, is something really bad happening? Uh, I don't know. But I think I can fix what, what was taken out. So, I guess it's okay. Hopefully, it was just this. Hopefully. Now, I do have iron bars right there, which I can link to on the bottom corner. So that should be nice and quick. Always got to make sure you ground your iron poles. See if I can do that really quick. That was so weird. Okay, we set those up and then set these up.
This is kind of better anyway, because I did forget to come back and dig out the rest of Under the Bridge, so it really looked really ugly if you looked at the water and everything down here. Okay. Ugh, I hate working in the water. It's so gross. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's not even going to work. Okay, fair enough. You want some mega supports. Got it. Okay. Diagonally from here. And we will make you some mega supports bridge. That is totally fine. I'm going to put them right inside of the stone poles. I removed too much of the ground that supported the bridge there yeah that's what i'm thinking too but it's like i was messing with like this part over here so i guess it like touched it like released one of these which was the pathway over to here to all this i don't know that was crazy but it was like at the, i think i don't know it might have been more than that though because at the same time the iron torches over here just like popped I don't know. I don't know if like a bunch of my terrain things all loaded at once or something. I don't know. Oh, now I got to do this again. There we go. I got one. Oh, I raised it too much. There we go. Okay. Should be good to go now. Like, this was touching the ground right here. You know, why did these break? You know what I mean? Like, something... Something really weird happened. Yeah, I'm assuming it probably has to do with the mods. Because I've never really used mods. Uh, and I've never seen that problem, but now that I'm using mods, I have noticed a few weird things going on before, so... I'm assuming it's just the mods or something, I don't know. But, problem solved! Bridge has been returned to its former glory. Probably a stone vein that got messed up and you hit it, something like that, you know? Alright, this is really cozy though, this little place over here has turned out really nice. Uh, I'm really hoping for, I need like a small, yes, a small rock will do. Or right here. Boom. I wanted something there. Okay. So we've got a nice little walkway up there. You can go to the garden. You can go to the dock. Let's just add some more seating up here because why not? Uh, this is a bit of an extra detail, but I do kind of want to add... Ooh, or I could just make this... A storage cart spot. Nice. I just need to fill it with things. <laughs> oh, I have item drops off. Dang it. I gotta turn item drops back on so I can fill up this, uh... This storage cart. Which one is disable loot? Hammer. And big. Disable. Loot. Alright. Let's do that again. Spawn in a bunch of stuff. Destroy it. Pick it all up. And put it in here. Oh, not my bow. That everything? That should be good. Yeah, that's nice right there. Okay. Yo, with the love chats. This is what I'm saying. Something nefarious is going on. I don't understand. This is what happened to my last stream. Um, once they started coming in, they didn't stop. So I apologize, guys. I know it's annoying. Um, 
but me and Mallory and Cherry are on it. We we know we've been dealing with it for multiple streams now, so we'll try to get that out of there as quick as we can. Thank you, Mallory. Thank you, Cherry, for being here once again. Oh, look at this. This actually might have been related to that problem because this hole was not here. Oh, that's going to change how it looks on this side, but I do kind of need to fill in that hole. Let's see if I could actually just smooth it out. Yeah, that's probably... Yeah, there we go. That was the solution there. Except now there's just a tiny bit, which if you try to walk up on, you can't. You have to go around it, but that's okay. That is okay. The little, the little vine planter type of things, man, I think they look so good in this bridge setting. This is sweet. Multiple times in the last hours. Yeah. Yeah, have you been missing out on all the fun, Cherry? <laughs> Alright, so I guess that's really the outside of this place. Kind of ready to go. So we might be moving to the interior at this point. Um, if you want to see, the interior is absolutely nothing at the moment. It's just a hole in the ground, which I carved out using mods. And then I spawned in this big rock. Which has a bunch of holes in it, but that's okay. Because it's over there in the forest where nobody will ever go. <laughs> you love the bridge? Nice. Me too. I think the bridge came out really cozy. Got a couple layers here and there. Kind of like different depth layers. You know, you got shadows. Nice mix of stone and wood. Good size too, not too big, not too small. We head this way. This almost needs like, oh man, if I do this right, it'd be freaking sweet. But if I mess it up, all right, let me at least get rid of the plant first. Nah, the problem is I can't. Hmm. I just have to redo the grass. And then bring in the road. That's how I do this one. It's always weird figuring out which order to do it in. Alright, which one? Should probably like right here. Bring that back a little bit. Bring that there. And then fix this. It should be good. Nice. Okay. I like this a little better. It has less stone under it, but it still has the stone texture under it, which is really ugly. But whatever. Ooh. All right. I think it is time to move to the inside. This has turned out super sweet, though. You know, we've got three completely different, um, well, not completely different, similar in style, but three different themed hobbit houses. There's the first one with like the little mini garden and also the outdoor eating area and a little like kind of retaining wall looking really nice. Over here, I went all out with the outside stuff. So it's like a uh, bunch of like a little log storage area and then there's extra logs here in the middle this guy has two pathways which come in and out of like a large front yard which is kind of cool little garden different style house but then you come over here and this is like the water house this is super sweet this one is like all about the water you got the bridge which is a completely new design element Oh yeah, um, the Discord link is in the chat. If anybody who's here right now wants to join the Discord and have some fun Valheim conversations or just life conversations or gaming conversations, definitely uh, check it out. Come hang out and, uh, you know, do some chats. Or just linger, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, I think this is it. Let's head to the inside. I have no plans for the inside at the moment. What's cool is this is going to be the first one where you come in and it's actually at the right level. So it's not going to come in and go directly down like the other two ended up doing. So that's really nice. Uh, it's going to give me a lot more freedom 
to kind of do whatever. In fact, I might just go ahead and just lay out kind of a basic floor. Let's see. So what do we think? First things first, you come in. I'm thinking like, maybe kind of like, oh, that's going to be it. Is that still there? That's the, you see this lighting glitch? That's the invisible hole that was there earlier from the world edit thing when I cut this hole. That's, I think that's sunlight coming in from it, but it's, uh, it's gone now on my screen. So <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Is that going to help at all? Ew, that is so ugly up top though. Ew, let's fix that. Okay, fixed. No, I saw it when I came. Look at this lighting glitch. This is crazy. If you look over here, it's like it's like sunlight in here. But if you look back, it's completely sealed off. Well, except for that little tiny hole up there. <clears throat> uh, Definitely rent one of these. I would too. You're telling me I freaking love this stuff. Can't wait for them to add the vines, right? They need they need some vines in vanilla. They need some vines in vanilla for sure. Alright, we're definitely gonna have a chimney somewhere. We're gonna have a living room, a bedroom, and a kitchen. And possibly a storage room as well. So I'm thinking with this space. Hopefully that lighting glitch fixes itself after a while, because that is gnarly. Imagine if every time you walk in the door, it does that. It just, like, shines bright. That's funny. Um, I don't know why, but I kind of want to do the... The hallway that I did on this one. I kind of want to do this again. I think this turned out really nice. It's kind of like a, a hobbit entrance. And I'm wondering how much I could do that. Um, what was the space? Oh, it was a full two meters across. I'm wondering if I can do that with a flat hallway, though. And not a... You see these on the outside? No, you cannot. I can leave them. Nice. So I'm going to have to free place all these, which is the tricky part, but I think I can set it up to where at least every couple of intervals, I'll have one that's like correctly set. Oh, and the love chat is back. Wow, man. Sorry for the people here right now. I wish there was something I could do, but... I've reported them every time they've done it. There's nothing else I can do. Thank you mods for removing that though. Oh man. The 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 bots are are back. And they are really going today. Let's see. A little bit of a hallway here would be super sweet. Can't see that either. I can do that. So you enter and you go right through like a hobbit hallway. That would be so cool. Um, now the problem is getting these all perfectly. They're definitely not perfect, that's for sure. Let's see how far off it is. Oh, it's actually pretty darn close. lower that one just a little bit it doesn't really look 
Oh, you can see how off it is on the bottom. Rotate the wall, probably the wrong server. When normal map flipped it. Yeah. Yeah, YouTube definitely, yeah. The bots are, wow. All right, add some of these. What's up, Mitchell? Can I help myself to go check out the process? You make a chat sub only. Oh, I could make the chat sub only. Except I don't know if I can do that in during the stream. Um, yeah, I'll have to figure that out. Good idea. I think I'll have to do that, set that up uh, previously in the dashboard before I start the stream, or I'm not sure. Um, I will have to look into that. Good idea. All right, so I mean, this is pretty much a Hobbit hallway. I could spend 50 years making all of these line up exactly perfectly. Or we could just keep moving. <laughs> and I could leave this as the entrance. And I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. So, let's see. Next thing I need to do is actually create the next hallway, which is going to be going this way. I probably cannot go any further to the right, so... Let's create this. I think I'm going to do all the doorways like this for this one. Um... They're kind of huge, so it's going to be a little difficult. It's going to use up a lot of space, but as long as I play my cards right, it'll be just fine. Okay. Probably go this way, too. Alright, we are getting a general outline of what this place is going to feel like. This is cool. Over here on this side? Oh, this is cool. It's not enough for a room? Yo. It's not enough for a room, but I bet you could do something sick with this space. Run it a bit of wood along the... Uh, oh, you guys have been chatting up a storm. Could not help us like a chat the post. I will make the chat sub only, for sure. Yeah, they're probably working on it, Cherry. You know, I'm sure they're working on the bot stuff. 3D model mesh model must have flipped. Something is rotating. Okay, I'll see if I can find out what's causing that light glitch then. Can I run wood along the bottom? Yeah, I was thinking that too when I saw um, how ugly you could tell it. Oh, there are a few that I can do. I wonder if there would be a way that I could like line it. Should be on Twitch, you can change these things during stream. Maybe then I can comment. Oh, that's useful, Zen. Dang. I don't know. I don't know what I'm still kind of new to streaming, let's be honest. I, I really have no idea how to do that. There, yeah, there are some ups and downs, but then again, subbing is free. It's not like um, it's not like Twitch or something where you have to pay. So, if, you know, if anybody really wants to chat, they can just sub chat and then unsub, I guess, right? I don't think sub only chat would hurt me too much. Maybe it would, though. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. Regardless, I have no idea how to do it live during a stream, so we're chilling for now. So what about that? Should that should I do that? Add like a little... 
a little line. Oh, it wouldn't match up over here, so I'd have to free place it over here too. And I don't have. Oh. Oh, I can't use the door, unfortunately, with this way. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Flip the door around for a second. And it'll let me do it. That's funny. Okay, that's probably way too tall. That is way too tall. I mean, that could work. I'm going to flip the doorway back around the other way. That could work. And that hides a lot of, like, the part. Like, that hides the main spot that shows that they aren't perfect. And it's really just, like, a track leading you in. Wait, since when am I stuck here? Hold up. When did this happen? Actually, I could just leave that out. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I like this. And then I could even do the same thing at the top. And just make it look like it's just part of the, the actual design. Like, this is not here at all because I'm hiding doing that quickly. <laughs> changes need to be done offline yeah I, I think so too kenshu that's what i was thinking is it has to be done uh, after the stream back to the music plant wall not a bad idea do it while with the stream with admin permission um cool don't want to bring down the ground spaceship no it's it's not okay. It's way less spaceshipy than the first Hobbit house. Okay, Mitchell, come on. Get, you got to give me that at least. <laughs> the first Hobbit house was definitely spaceshipy. Super spaceshipy. All right, so I'm thinking this wall becomes kind of like kind of like almost like a recessed wall and this becomes like a big storage thing here on the right. So you enter, you come through the wooden hallway. There's gonna be this big kind of reception room almost. And this is gonna lead you into living room, dining room, bedroom, and kitchen. And this will be storage on the right. How I'm gonna do any of that though, couldn't tell you. Basic plan is in. We are cooking with oil now. Is that what they say? That's a phrase, isn't it? We're cooking with oil cooking with heat i don't know there's some kind of heating things up i don't know you could use the hole in that spot as a window i'm definitely going to use some of these holes. one of these holes is going to be used as a chimney normally these holes i would redo the placement of the rock with the mod you know uh i would redo the placement at the very beginning but the way this shire house is the road comes through the shire passes the first house to the second house and keeps going this way so like there's no reason to be back behind there to see these holes, so I'm just leaving them. But normally I would I would not. Hopefully we can use one for a chimney though. All this will be sealed though. You can see like for example with this hallway, this entire place in here in the next few hours is going to be completely uh, sealed up. So, you know, you won't, uh, there won't be anything, um, you won't be able to see the holes. Speaking of getting this whole thing set up though i do need to start getting the ceiling made and boy let me tell you is the ceiling frustrating in this but it's so worth it though if i can make it work right it was a bit tricky in the last one but um it looked so good though this time what i'm gonna do though is i'm gonna do um oh i see what i did last time low key i just figured it out and like last time i could not figure it out what is that what i did oh no that's full height never mind i'm just making up stuff apparently no that's full height never mind so last time what i did is i kept the ceilings just a little bit lower than this to keep them cozy and it really brought in some nice Shire House vibes. But this time I want to go with the full two, uh, four meter height, I mean. Let's see what it feels like in here. 
So we're going to do, a, I think uh, Mallory said it's coffered ceiling, a coffered ceiling look. Uh, just to bring in more wood elements, since uh, Shire stuff has so many, so much wood. Basic idea, cooking with gas. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, cooking with gas. So, you know, I was, you know, I was, you know, I was close. Excuse me, Mallory. Do you have an idea how to fix the comment problem with my other channel? So I could watch with my PC? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, so I could watch. Fisherman Hobbit? <laughs> Alright, so... I'm gonna bring down the corners of the walls here too now. Which you could do from there too. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so the first little room here is framed out real nice. Might even do a little thing with the floor this time. Um, since last time I didn't get any details onto the floor. So, well, besides like rugs and stuff. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's come over into this room where there is going to be... Ooh, do I want to double layer my doorways? That did create some major complications. Look at this. This light... <laughs> this lighting glitch is crazy. What is this? It's only when you're like looking away from it and the camera seems to be clipping into the problem. Whatever the problem is. Like, like the camera. Like, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out at some point. But for now, I'm just going to keep on going. Do I want to double layer the doorways? They look so cool when you double layer them. Man, that is tempting. It's going to... Well, yeah, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. It creates a little bit of a problem, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Let me... Let me... Let me see what I can do. Let's see. That is slightly over to the right. Now, the tricky thing is getting this set up just right. That didn't help me at all. Getting rid of this. Let me get rid of this. Yes, that's what I need to see. Okay. So now I can line these up just right. Okay. All right. So we have one double layer doorway. Let's see if we can do the same thing over here. Let's get rid of this post so I can see. And then right around here. Nice. Okay. So what I had to do to make these double door frames, which I just think look much better than just a single door frame, is I have to then add a frame to the frame, kind of. Um, so essentially you can see like, now the frame has to have a frame. <laughs> um, but then the next rooms, if I do this correctly, which is, this is what I, I missed last time. That's really why I'm explaining it. So basically if I create a double frame here, now in the next room, I'm just building off the new frame and this room is off this frame see what i'm saying and so actually all the walls in this place are are double layered which is interesting because most of the time when you work with double layers in valheim it's really just exterior walls but um it's kind of cool to see it work with interior too not a problem Yeah, you could try it. You could try it on your phone and stuff. Um, can shoot looking good. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Let's keep going. So now I got to make the new frame for this room based off of the new frame. Okay. It's probably going to go back into the wall. Let's get a nice size room going here. Right? Yeah, I gotta get rid of all this. Goodbye. Uh, let's see. Here. 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 Alright, let's take this back wall back a little bit more. That piece of stone took 
longer than normal, did it not? That was weird. Um, okay. Got the next wall in place, or the next template in place. Let's bring this back a little bit further. Man, this is sweet. Third time around, I know what I'm doing now with these Shire houses, and I can just build the whole frame out right at the beginning. It's going to make this so much easier. Man. Wait, hold up. Oh, that's right. That's right. Ooh, I thought I did something wrong for a second. Why am I punching things? There we go. I think this is plenty enough room. I mean, this this could be like a whole living room. This is going to be like the main room, I think. Get the walls carved back just a little bit more. Get this stone out of the way. Back to an earlier discussion. To trigger first boss, I need two deer trophy, correct? I believe so. I think it might be more than I think it's like a it's like a bracket. It's like a like two to ten or something, and you have like more chance or something. I could just be making that up though. I haven't done survival in so long. That's the thing, right? <laughs> it's like the more you have, the more chance, I think. How's the fumes seeping into your room? I have similar issues as I live on a T junction. And everyone leaving my street has to wait for other traffic. Out of their smoky vest comes into my house. Horrible. Oh man, you need to get like an air purifier, Cherry. Double air. Yeah, exactly. You're, you, I'm basically running wiring and like HVAC for this for this house, like for all the AC and everything. Essentially, that's that's what you're doing when you're doing dealing with all this double stuff. But it's nice, you know. I, I always recommend it on exterior walls. Interior, though, this is cool. This is really cool. Okay, so you got the second room, generally speaking, framed out. The floor should still be... Yeah, the floor is now going to be matching up to here. Uh, why is that so off? Hold up. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, this is where I'm like, wait, am I doing something wrong? No, I'm doing everything right. How did that... Huh. I don't want to mess it up at the beginning. And then have to fix it later, but I think everything's fine. I think everything is on... Where it's supposed to be. Get out of here, dirt. Thank you. Thank you, dirt. Okay. So we've got two. We've got a hallway. Entering into, like, the entrance room. Which is going to be storage over here on the right. Then we've got some kind of room here. Maybe, like, a living room. I could probably close this off. Maybe like living room into kitchen over here. And then back here would be like bedroom. Um, oh, here comes the love chats again. <laughs> You're not seeing anyone's chats, Kenshu? Oh, you got it back. There you go. A water screen with a fan? That sounds fancy. Alright, so... We've got two frames going here for two different rooms. This is going to be some type of wall. We've got two walls, then an opening to over here, probably. Oh, yo! I just came up with an idea. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. So, this, this is going to be the dining room. And then I'm thinking 
we leave like an opening in the wall and have the kitchen on this side. And so like the kitchen can hand food over. That would be so cool. So let's see if I could do that. I do need to create second frame though. Right. I do need to create a second frame and I need to make sure it's like spot on. That actually worked out really nicely first try. So you can see like it's slightly higher. It's so tricky getting them exactly the same. That's going to be the only thing that messes me up with this method. Is if my... <clears throat> I knew my free placing is too far off. Okay, what if I lined up to that now? That would be slightly lower. But it would be lined up with this one. Oh no, so... It's almost like you're making like quadrants. And like each quadrant, you just have to make sure it lines up to the ones next to it, really. I'm going to make sure it lines up more to this one over here because that's where the doorway to the kitchen is going to be, I think. So I think that's more important. Or I could. No, yeah, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, get rid of that. Okay, let's trim back these walls. Alright, so over here, I'm going to reach a point where I can't lower the ground. Dang, Cherry, that sucks. Let me see, then this, then this. Okay. How big do I need for a kitchen? Do I need the full size? That would be kind of cool. gonna be a doorway right there all right I don't think I can lower the ground anymore the kitchen is gonna be partially with some dirt. <laughs> it's gonna be a dirty kitchen, but that is okay. Oops. Okay, so that would be the floor plan. Let's see how much of the dirt I can get out of here. So up to there I can get rid of the dirt and then right here it is as low as it will go All right trucking for the win <laughs> could you can you do a triangle with bottom wood beam with 45 degree angle beams with extra wood to close off the bottom angled framing. You mean like around the doorways? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do in a minute. This is These are going to be sealed in walls. This is just like the frame. I think that's what you mean. I'm not sure. But yeah, these, these aren't going to be open in a minute. These will be like the... Um, you know these guys 
think that's what you mean. to go in later depends on your comfortability let's see if I can get all these in This is going to be a wall like this. Okay, and we're going to flip it around on this side, get that two layered wall going. Make sure I still have everything placed. Okay. Extra beam there. All right. Now, can I get, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this piece of rock because this is in the back, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, and this is the kitchen, so I might end up building a fireplace in here and just doing a fireplace like that in the kitchen. I think that'd be cool. Oh, thank you, Mallory. You are on it today. More solutions, I'll tell you in the Discord. Yeah, on the inside between both 45 degree angles. On the inside, this is these are doorways. These are like Shire doorways, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know what you mean, man. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. You can send a picture to the Discord if you want to. Let's see. Let me just read it again. Let me just read it again. Raymond said, Can you do a triangle with bottom wood beam the 45 degree angle beams with the extra wood to close off the bottom angled framing i hope this is what you meant that maybe this is what you meant i'm not really sure maybe it is But yeah, that was the plan. I was just kind of leaving it all open at the beginning so we could all see. But you know, something like that is kind of the, 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 the plan. I did what he wanted. Okay, sweet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we got some walls to put in, which are going to need some mega details later on. But I just want to get the general shape of everything in at the moment. Get some of these ceilings in, which I like to use these little small guys for, so you don't end up with a big line right through them. I like to face them all the same direction to try to keep them looking nice. Oh, 
Okay, looking good. Let's do some more of these over here. Gonna be like one little corner of that rock sticking through right there, but that is totally fine. right there too but that's okay just a little bit of rock sticking through here and there and boom starting to get kind of cozy in here let's go ahead and do it on this side At some point in the stream, I would love to show you guys uh, the build I'm working on for the next tour video, too. If you guys are down, I will definitely show you guys that. Give you guys a little sneak peek of the next build that is coming to the channel for the build tour series. I think between the 45 degree angle and adding depth. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Coffered ceiling. Yeah, I know, right? It's so, it's so nice in this setting. Like, coffered ceilings sometimes just don't make sense. But, like, in this setting, this is, it's, it's super sweet. I think it's great. Okay, let's take this and fill in some floors. Cut some of this back. The general shape is coming in squad it's coming in we've pretty much got a second or a third hobbit home now this is crazy i knew this project was going to be a doozy i'm really glad i decided to live stream it this has been such a fun way to uh do all this work and kind of like share ideas and everything <clears throat> yeah if you yeah mallory if you guys want a little sneak peek at some point i can absolutely do that uh, it's a really interesting build. The setting is insane. I absolutely love the setting. It's so cool. Uh, I found like a perfect little spot. In fact, it's such a nice spot that I'm considering using it for multiple builds and just typing it, basically just putting in the seed um, and, uh, you know, loading it back up and starting fresh for the next build because it's a beautiful spot. Let's see, I know I need to come across with these and these. I didn't really mean to. This one's going to be a perfect square, though. The interior of this one is going to be a perfect square. I did not mean to do that, but hopefully it comes out really cool either way. Personally, I kind of like usually more kind of organic feeling shapes, but this could be really cool. Let's get those coffered ceilings in. Coffered ceilings. I wonder who came up with that. Why do I just immediately think of a coffin when I say that? It just sounds awful, but I mean, hey. Coffered ceilings. I love the way they look, though, so. I'll, I'll, I'll give them that. Coffered, though? Like, that just, like... Ugh, what a gross word. You know what I mean? Like, I never thought about it. I could just do a little spin thing here. Boom and boom. That is sweet. Man, by the time I do the fourth Shire house, I'm going to know how to, I'm going to have all this stuff down. All right. That must be an impressive seed for you to use it more than one build it is really cool i'll have to show you guys at some point it is it's a beautiful unfortunately i had to take all the trees out right now for the lighting and for all the cinematic shots and stuff i had to take but it still looks incredible am i working on a server yes i do want to do that at some point i just i'm really waiting for the discord to grow a little bit more so we've got a couple more people that are going to be right away interested in it at the moment i'm not sure if it's worth it yet yo dean what's up dean how you doing yeah we're back part three of the shire build series that's okay 
no worries no worries you're here for part three and i mean technically speaking the replays are up if you've got like 15 hours to watch them all i've never heard of that coffered word before right yeah coffee but it also makes me think of like coughing and coffin it's like mm, coffee's great but like the rest of it i don't know <laughs> good to see you dean good to see you uh let's see if let's assume this is the only shape i'm gonna make perfect square you come in storage on the right dining room here access to the kitchen come through here and this would be living room kitchen i have no room for a bedroom in this place there's zero room for a bedroom there's absolutely zero room for a bedroom there also is probably going to be a fireplace over here oh man this is going to be tricky. I could probably go that way though. Realistically speaking, I wonder how far I could go this way. And I can go this way a little bit too. So I think it's time to break up the square rooms. The fully square layout. I don't think I can actually do that. That's okay though. That's okay. Uh oh i've got bushes falling through that means i've made it to the outside let me see where i'm at right here interesting so if i go any further back no nah, i really can't do it <laughs> i really can't do that actually um that's about as far as i could go that would get me how far let's see another two meters I can work with that there's two extra meters I can work with what about this way we're gonna end up with a really weird set of space that I can use and we'll have to chop that into some usable rooms but that's okay it'll be kind of cool essentially that's what you end up with any build so <laughs> you have to go sorry to stream live we're back oh that's no worry snow leaf appreciate you hanging out for a while good to see you let's see how is this going to work i really can't go any more that way but i can go this way so let's see what i can do all oh, this rock over here that's a scary cut too that's a scary cut i could lose a chunk that's so out front that i can't hide Ooh. where is that it's like right under here no i mean i could i could get some bushes up here and hide that side of the rock i might i might just go for it i definitely need more room to make this build happen so Dining room, kitchen, entryway, storage, living room, bedroom. I could also just like combine the living room and bedroom. That could be really cool. Backup world first. I know, right, Dean? I really should. I actually have made it through this entire Shire house without backing up for the first time ever making an underground house. But that's only because I'm cheating. <laughs> and I have a bunch of holes that are awful, but they're in the back and uh this shire house is facing the woods off the map basically away from the road so nobody will ever see it it doesn't matter for this one but for the rest of them i have to be a lot more careful and make a lot of backups Ooh, i don't know if i should back it up for this though this is the one thing though like if it if it does cut to the front it's in the last little corner it's like it's like right here right where i'm standing and if i take that chunk and it just takes the side off that'd be fine but if it takes like the front over here that would be not ideal <laughs> oh you know what i could do i got it i got it i got it i got it i could do what i did we did in the other one the the the, the second shire house i know you you haven't seen that one dean but some people here they actually helped me come up with it it's really cool a little lowered bedroom let me show you let me show you let me show you it's good to see you dean glad to see you 
in the chat check it out dean this is what we did in the second go around in the second shire uh build this one came out really nice i brought in the coffered ceilings i uh, did some more experimenting with like shire hallways and stuff and yeah just created a super cozy little area this is the dining room here uh lots of little things here and there this is the kitchen over here super cozy little kitchen then you got a little sitting area outside of the kitchen and then you've got the bedroom you got a closet over here on the left place to sit place to do some work on a desk cute little storage area with a little bookshelf and then you've got the bedroom this is what i'm thinking we could take this bed bedroom and bring it over to the new one see how it's kind of lowered except i could lower the ceiling too with the room that could be really cool i don't know hopefully this new shire house is going to look just like that in a little bit we will see show and tell time <laughs> oh this this is so like dry compared to that over there we need some details in here we need some details. Let me see how much I can go this way. Hmm. Can I do that? Can I make a whole room just go downwards? How's that like logistically going to work? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if the entire room... I could even, like, essentially, like, roof it. Not because it needs to be roofed, but just because... I need, like, angled wood, basically, for that. And then I could even keep the coffered design going somewhat by... Lining the wood. The problem is, is we will have these big lines from the roof panels, but... Let's see... Oh, how much lower can I go? Hold up. This might literally not even be possible. This is not even possible. What a buzzkill, man. I do kind of hate you can't go past a certain point, but I also understand, like, there has to be a limit. <laughs> can only spawn an additional rock on top. Yeah, I, I was thinking about doing that. Reverse loft type of thing. I think that's a great word for it. But the problem is, like, Valheim is not going to let me do that. Uh... Let's see. I could keep going. I just have to make this scary cut. Or I could just let it poke through the ceiling just a tiny bit. It's just a little bit. Let's see. Right, one of these, one of these. Wow, this is something else. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it'll be sticking through a decent amount. That's a bit of a problem. I think I'm going to have to get rid of it. Whatever, I'm going for it. Oof. It's kind of in the side. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Oh, it's totally fine. Look at this. You want all I gotta do is like raise a little bit of ground. You can't see that at all from the village. Let's go. I will have to uh, actually roof this part of it. I'll be actually roofing a lot of this. In fact, I'll probably just be filling in the holes with just like you know something like this. Just so that, um, just so that, oh, whoa, OBS has been recording the whole time too. Holy cow, OBS. Nice. OBS apparently just recorded 125 gigabyte video for the last four hours and 44 minutes. That's funny. I am so glad my PC didn't just shut down. So I just maxed the storage space out and it just stopped recording. Also, don't judge me for only having 100 gigabytes free right now on my system. I really need some 
<laughs> some more storage options. There we go. Nice. Can't even see it. And basically, this is just going to keep the wood fresh down there. Although, I'm always playing in ENV clear. So, there is no weather. Um, so, this shouldn't be a problem. But I do want to kind of weatherproof this just in case. Better to be safe than sorry. All right, that's all the holes that I really needed to do except for the main one. Okay. Yeah, and my disk space was full. <laughs> yeah. Um, secret attic? That could be cool, actually. There's plenty enough room up here. A hobbit with an attic. That could be cool. The lowest you can go. I live off 120 out of 200 free out of 5 terabytes. Oh, 100 to 200 gigabyte. Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's right around where I'm at too. I, I need like an extra 5 terabyte or something. You know what I mean? Oh, here comes the love chat. Holes for smoke to waft out of. Nice. <laughs> here comes the love chats. I just, I really don't get like... You'd think there'd be like a better way they could spend their resources on besides like making infinite YouTube accounts and then like just spamming channels and stuff until they get banned. But I don't know. I guess it's a, it's a profitable thing. I don't think they'd be doing it otherwise. All right, coffered ceilings are in. We've got a little bit of an extension over here to work with, an extension over there to work with, and I could probably extend that room back a little bit as well. So let's get back inside and see what we're working with. We've got a good amount of room here. I really don't know how this is going to work with this, these weird shapes. I might just have like the living room and bedroom all kind of the same thing. Just one big room. <clears throat> Feeling the love. <laughs> I just immediately think of Dr. Disrespects. Feeling the love. Just bots. Yeah. Somebody's got to like... Oh, uh, well, yeah, I guess the bot probably creates the pages, too, and everything, doesn't it? I didn't think about that. So it's really probably no harm to them, but... Yo, get out of here, dirt. Thank you. Oh, chill out, Ekthir. Stop event. All right. So, let's see... Okay, we got a little bit of an extension over here that can be used for something. Another one over here. Oh, I didn't realize I had to cut more of this back. I'm gonna have to check what this looks like up top. I mean, either way, I can fix it up top. It should be good to go. It should be fine. Oh, that is an entire tree. Okay. Okay, the tree is just slowly leaving. Okay. I guess that works. 
less for me to deal with. Cool. Oh, a little bit of rock in that corner. I mean, at this point, I've gotten rid of so much of the rock. I might as well just do it. I'm basically just using this rock for, like, the front. Um, have I killed any bosses on this world? No, I have not. This is a brand new world. The only thing on it is this Shire build. Only needs about seven meters to dissipate. That's kind of cool. I could make a bathroom, but it's just like, I don't know. I've never made a bathroom in Valheim. Should I make a bathroom? That's kind of like, I don't know. That's no fun. Come on, we could come up with something cool. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, bathroom, like... <laughs> oh, I really want this dirt to go, but... I think that's as much as the dirt as I can get. There's gonna be just a little bit sticking through. There's also a piece of rock right here. Hello, rock. Aha. Okay, so... The extension is in. I mean, this is a pretty large space at this point. You know, dining room here, storage and entryway, kitchen over here to hand food through to the dining room, and then bedroom and living room. I do think the bedroom and living room could just be like all one thing. Just like one big space here. That could be really cool. I do think I'm going to need... Yeah, the, the, the kitchen does need, um, definitely needs to be walled off with a nice fancy circular door. I think that'd be cool. I should be correct. Yes, it is. Okay. This is actually going to be a serious problem, I feel like. Now that I think about it, that's a pretty big mound. I'm not really sure how I'm going to work with that. I wonder... Yeah, I could cover it all up with something. What if I made it like... I have an idea. Basically cover it up and then do like these guys here. You know what I mean? Because those kind of look cool when they're raised up anyway. And that uses like a huge chunk of the kitchen up, but I can bring the kitchen back a little further, I'm pretty sure. And I can create some more space in here. Wow, this place is going to be absolutely massive, but it's going to be cool. Worth it. All right, Jerry, BRB, I see you, I see you. You don't need to dig up much to reach the water, but there's better, I guess. Yeah, if I dig if I dig too deep, I, I will reach... The thing is, is I don't even think I can dig any deeper anywhere in this place. It's all kind of almost maxed out. Why not a winery? They love their pints. Good idea. This could be like... I could make this like a kitchen winery area. Yo, spectacular idea. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I am doing it. So I'm definitely needing to open up this side back here in the back and it looks like ground is a little bit lower after that spot so i won't have to deal with that problem that problem is completely covered up by the fermenters which is nice i probably should deal with 
the wall before I lock this in though. Let me go ahead and build up this wall back here. It's just gonna be a plain wall since it's hidden anyway, so just put that up real quick get rid of those um, okay and then bring these back so that's the initial idea but definitely more can be done with how these are set up um, but that is the initial idea a master brewer that's a good point i could just turn the entire living room into like storage for like wine barrels and stuff and like that would be so cool i wonder how far i can go back here oh what if i just had like a room connected with like the rock roofs and it was completely sealed off and i just called it like a wine cellar like a root cellar or something where it's like a little colder that actually would like, you know, make sense. <laughs> um, just making sure all these holes are covered up. Okay. Damn it. Into a fireplace, the fire could shift quick through. What? Yeah. Alright, into a fire for that. Fire could shift click through. I'm not sure what you mean. Cellar is a good idea. I think so too. I think so too. Man, this lighting this lighting glitch is like moving now. It's like it's moved to over here now. This is so weird. Uh, okay. So... If I was gonna actually use the rock for like a cellar room... Let's set it up as if I am going to do that. See how it works out. I'm not gonna be able to get this here. I could do like an exposed coffered ceiling here. So it still has like the coffered vibe, but it has like rocks sticking through it. And then the problem is, is I really need some of this space for the kitchen though. Now that I think about it, wait, hold up. Because this took up half the kitchen and I have to do it for uh you know to cover up the ground that's coming through here so i definitely need to light this place up a little bit pre-place fireplace into the mound i think that is oh yeah the fireplace, I was thinking about doing that earlier, like into this dirt, but it's too high to do it. I, I managed to pull that off in another house, uh, the first house. The the dirt wasn't quite high enough where like I could I could get the fireplace into it and then like it, it looked fine, but this one it's really tall. Just got off work. What's up, Jeremiah? How you doing, man? How are you doing? Great to see you live. I am in fact live. Part three of the Shire build series. Let's see. I don't know if I can make this into a cellar. Let's bring the floor out. And see kind of what we're working with here. See, I could just extend the kitchen out this way. And that would be so nice to have that space. Man. Just this much more space in the kitchen. Oh, these floor panels. I got to redo all this. All this is wrong. Yep. Fix that. Work is good. Love it. Nice, Jeremiah. Nice. How you doing, Jeremiah? How's life other than work? Feeling good? 
<laughs> Let's bring in some floor pieces. Okay. So essentially, this would be what it would feel like. Let's see. I don't think... I mean, even this, it's not a lot of space, but that's a decent amount of extra space. Like, I can work with that. Is this rock? No, it's not rock. Okay. Oh, that means I need to take this rock out now. You gonna let me do it? Nice. Oh, big hole. Good thing I'm not anywhere else in the Shire build. <laughs> okay. Is this enough? Actually, I don't even need to do that. I can just bring in these guys. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much enough. There's like a little bit sticking through. It's kind of ugly, but... I mean, does it really matter? I'll just get rid of it. Might as well. Okay, so the general shape of the kitchen is in. And this is going to be a really cool, like, unique type of thing. Okay, I'm gonna move this lighting out of the way. All right, gotta get rid of this. Go ahead and add. Something to place the food on. And I'm thinking I guess it's time to move on to interior work because at this point the structure is made. I think it's time to start interior work, like the real stuff. So this is what I was thinking for the window. Is that weird? I feel like that'd be kind of cool with like the angled. That's why I just put in these single floor or wall pieces so I had something to snap onto. I think that's kind of cool for that wall. I like that. Um, time is it six? It is six o'clock. I'm gonna have to make some food here in a minute. Um, or just grab it. I already have it ready to go for the stream. Let's add this wall. I think this is gonna be plenty enough room at this point. Um, we will see, but I think this is going to be plenty enough room somewhere. I, st I still haven't decided. I'm probably going to put a fireplace somewhere, maybe like literally right here where I'm at right now. Um, none of these walls are permanent. I just want to put them up so we can get a nice picture of how it all feels. All right. Shire house number two. Let's check out the layout. What is... Oh, okay, I'm good. Nice. Come in. There's going to be a bunch of storage over here somehow, like, tucked into the wall. They're straight. You've got a nice little dining room. Love the ceilings, how those all turned out. Big room over here for a bedroom and living room. I guess I could put the bedroom back there and, like, the living room out here. And then a big space for a kitchen. This is sweet. I think this turned out really nice so far. Digging the Shire, enjoying the vibe here, nice. Nice, always try to keep the vibes chill on the live streams, for sure. Much appreciated. The Shire is a fun place to be. What did you make today? Oh, food? Let me grab it, actually. Food time.
I've got pork tenderloin and steamed vegetables. Yum. And love the oh sorry, and the love chat is back. What a surprise. Mmm. Cold food. Yum. <laughs> Man, I wish I could get rid of that one, but that one's like a super risky cut. So is that one. You wish you could build like that? You can, my friend, you can. Thank you, Jeremiah, for reporting the love bots. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Yeah, this is this one's gonna be a nice layout. I still haven't gotten like I want to have one of the Shire houses set up to where you come through the front door and there's like like a whole network. Like it's gonna take multiple rocks, but one of them I want to do multiple rocks and have like hallways connecting, like some really long hallways. I think that'd be so cool. Um, I need more space. Yeah, I was thinking that cherry. Add a little chandelier over one of these. The problem is, is like the ceiling's kind of low. There might be something I can do with it though. Let's do the dining room while I'm eating. Makes sense. Um. All right. So for this. What do we want to do? That could be cool. Do something with this table like this. Is that weird? That actually looks like a bench. That actually looks like a bench. Very open concept for sure. <laughs> Jeremiah, no. I do not have too much dressing. Also, I got rid of the bottle, or I finished the bottle that had the broken lid. So hopefully, I will never again have too much ranch dressing. That was awful. That was awful. Like, let me tell you. I have eaten a lot of salads over the last couple months with my new diet. But I have never once had one salad that I actually couldn't eat. Like, I just couldn't eat it. Salad's not that great in the first place, but like, I've never not been able to eat it. But man, that was a lot of ranch. Like, it was disgusting. And you can't even do like the paper towel trick on that because you can't paper towel some ranch off some lettuce. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not, it's not going to happen. Hope you're... That's so funny that somebody remembered that. <laughs> oh, Jeremiah, that's funny. All right, let's add some chairs. Kind of wanted to add like multiple little seating places in, in here. Mm, oh wait hold up hold up this is backwards if I set this up wait no because you have to be able to get to the window never mind <laughs> never mind don't listen to me I don't know what I'm doing apparently <laughs> put all this back that large table back I do want to try to use this I think this would be really cool right here And then kind of like a little mini seating area, I think would be really cool right here. Let's 
spawn anchored. Oh, it's time to start spawning like a million things. All right. Over here, I think would be like the serving table, right? This would be where everything was moved. And then right here, we could have like... Just like a cozy little pie sitting in the corner. Yo, caps lock. Get out of here. Did they change the tab thing? Why has this been happening to me lately? I think they changed like the tab thing in the directory, but who knows? Uh, six. Boom. And I ate it and then put my sword down. Great. Absolutely nailing it. Absolutely nailing it. All right. little pie in the window. Looking good for sure. I can't decide if I want to put seating all along this or like. I don't know how I want to do this room. Wonder when he's going to notice. Wait, what? What do you mean sticking out the walls like in here? Man, it is. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, let me try the other way then. You know what? You know what? I'm going to try the other way then. This is a sign. Get out of here, all this stuff. So the other way I was thinking, what if we did like a table on this side? Obviously, I need to check. Make sure it's not going through the wall. It is not. Perk of double layered walls. You can actually recess things into the wall. So, I'm thinking... You could have like a little bar. This is what I was hoping to do, but I just didn't think... You could still reach the window, so it's fine. And you could even put like... You know what I mean? Like, you could get away with putting these up there too. And you could put like a couple of chairs, little stools, like that. And then we could do the tables over here, no worries. Maybe like something here and here so that those spots aren't bare. Actually, you know it would be cool. I wonder if there was like a height that I could get these to set up where it would look like they were holding up the table. Actually, that looks fine right there. Cool. Um, might actually end up leaving that lighting there too. Oh, it doesn't even light. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, what's up, love chat? How you doing once again? What a surprise. Yeah, I try not to use the shield plate thing too much, though. Yeah, chess and Valheim would be kind of cool. Chase, space out three chairs. And all. I mean, it's, you know, item frames in the table. So many ideas. Oh, my gosh. Item frames in the table make it look like a chess table. Mind blown. Did it? I didn't even notice that. Maybe you could do that with item frames. That's not a bad idea. You wouldn't be able to put little pieces down, but... Put down a muck shake at the bar. That is an idea and a half. And I will do that. <clears throat> this definitely makes sense at the bar you know what i'm saying like you got a milkshake coming through you got a pie cooling off in the window even though there's no breeze here because this isn't an exterior window but that's okay we're not going to talk about that you 
gaming room. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. So I could do like a standard table on this side. I feel like that's just no fun though. What if I did like another one of these? Is that weird? And then I could do like the only real table I could put like over in this corner. Basically just make this like a bar. That's kind of cool. Little table over here in the corner, which gets some actual chairs. Whoops. That is too many chairs. Oh, I forgot to turn item drops back off. What is that code again? Uh, drops, drops, drops. Disable loot. Disable loot. Thank you, Infinity Hammer. Okay. And then over here, we could even do like a little thing where you just like stack up the chairs, you know, some extra chairs type of thing. Look at that. Some chairs stacked up. Is this getting weird? That is a lot of chairs stacked up. That's actually kind of a cool... I wonder if you could use that for something. You can actually make... Make it look like a wine rack. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to have a wine rack in the other room with the other things, with the stools, including adding the muck chairs on top. Maybe you can recreate a fridge. Or in between top of the chairs. Eh, really? I mean, glass and dragon tears, it's ice. Maybe he drinks cool. That's, you, you probably could, but I don't know. That's a, that's a lot. My thing is, like, I try to do, like, if you can do it without having to explain it, like, if I could walk in and look at it and you know what it is, then I'm down to put it in a build. You know what I mean? Like if there's a way to make it look. Look like what you want it to look like without explanation. That sounds a little complicated. That's all. A vending machine. That's cool. That's actually really cool. My thing is I don't want to spend a 5,000 years placing. You know. Vertical and horizontal item stands. To make all these like pretty little things. We got enough to do here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got enough work to do filling this place. <laughs> Vending machines, though. That's really cool. I've never even heard of that. Let's see. Got some chairs stored away. We do need some decorations on the walls. We do need... This is going to be, I've decided at this moment in time, is going to be a recessed um, bit of shelving. Boom, boom. I really need to get back there. Because I need to... Oh, nope, it let me. Nice. Okay. Little shelf into the wall here. I'm thinking about making it a double shelf, too. 
right? Like, that could be cool, but it needs to be a little further back. Oh, and I can't do that without... I could just do it like that, actually. Do the same thing for these. Yeah, this is already... That's what I'm saying, Mallory. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, I don't... I, I think that's a spectacular idea. Let me be clear. But <laughs> I just... I'm thinking about the time. This is already a 5 hour and 20 minute stream. And I've got quite a lot to do still. So that's the only thing I'm thinking about. <laughs> because you're nuts. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with, with making complicated builds. Nothing wrong with that at all. Let's see, what else do I want to do? I was thinking about even maybe vaulting this room, like trying to vault the ceiling a little bit, kind of something like this, maybe. I could do that for this room. Get a little cozy vibes, get that, that roof coming down a little bit on the sides. Add a little bit more shape to just kind of the whole feel. Definitely want to fill these with some food. Actually, maybe these shouldn't be food. These should be like, these should be like cups and stuff, right? Where did all that iron come from? Oh, those big giant tables. Bro, the love chat. Like, I'm gonna have to put. A, I'm gonna have to open a like a, a like a, a customer service thing with YouTube or something. Cause this is there's no way that the love chat is this bad, in like, everybody's stream. Like, right? That's crazy. Check my Valheim chat for picture of the vending machine. Oh, that's crazy with like the crystal in front. Yeah, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, it's like, man. It's just, that's it's going to take so long to set up. That's the only thing, you know what I'm saying? That is really cool, though. People have come up with some crazy stuff already. That's, that's one of the biggest reasons why I love this, this game. With the things that are in it right now, people are already coming up with insane stuff. Like, imagine when the game is, like, you know, like, fully out and everything, and they're adding stuff. Like, man, it's going to be so awesome. Tankard Odin 3. What? I thought I faced those the right way. I could have sworn it was this way. Whoops. Six, seven, eight. And you know what? We might as well do the little window over this, too. I mean, why not? Kind of looks the same, but kind of not, actually. No, that actually does not pan out. Nope. Putting it back. I mean, that would be fun. I wonder... Yeah. No, that I think that's fine. What do you guys think? Should I take those off? You know what? Here, I got you guys. I got you guys. The better solution would be, I think, just do like three layers like that. 
And I bet you, yeah, that is actually sticking out enough that I could... Ew, those are not lined up well. Gross. It looked way better when I did it. Or I thought it did. <laughs> I thought it did at least. <clears throat> Box start hurting their bottom line. Yeah, that's fair. You know what I mean? That's definitely fair. Only in wholesome chats like TFGs. <laughs> that's what it seems like, you know? Like, what are we doing here? We're not talking about some crazy stuff. But the love chat is... Oof, they are here, showing up constantly. A clutter mod? That'd be cool. Backspace, backspace. Yeah, I think the barrels look really good in here. That's awesome, Raymond. That sounds really cool. I need to do like a massive bridge build again at some point. Do not have anything in the works at the moment. Well, actually, the new project I'm working on is going to take a big bridge. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it quite yet. Maybe with those two? I really can't decide what to do for the top of this little window here into the wall, but I'll leave it just like that. Let's do... We definitely need some banners in here. For sure need some banners. Let's do like some yellow or something. This one needs to be just a little bit over, I think. Nice. And... You could do... Let's do orange over here. We do yellow over there. Do some orange over here. Um... sign here that says dinner is served i don't know but that works <laughs> something like that um i need some lighting in here at this point some like actual permanent lighting uh there's not really enough room to like hang any lighting well i could just shove some right there actually not really I could redo this table and put one in the back of it I think I want to take the chairs and just take them out because <laughs> I think we can do a little cubby here which would be cooler and then something else where those chairs were. This time I can actually get into the little thing. So it's a little bit easier. Ooh, <laughs> you could just cover it up like instantly. That's kind of crazy. Certainly trophies on tables. That could, I could do that. 12 hours, if not more, day on building. How much practice does one need? <laughs> when will I get pro? Also, THGs, you notice the red arrows on the green squares. The red arrows show you which way the item will stand up. The red arrows on the green squares. You just mean like... Yeah, well, yeah. Certainly, certainly, I'm not sure, like, I don't know. I don't know, what you, I'm not sure what you mean. The red arrows show you which way the item will stand out. I need, like, a situation where it matters. Because, like, right here, obviously, I know, like, the arrows are pointing towards me. I know it's going to be right there, though, so I'm not sure, like, how. I don't know. I did not know that, though. I didn't know there was some kind of intuitive thing involved with that. 
You got a few pictures of the bridge? Yeah, send them over to the Discord. That's not a bad idea, Zen. That is that would actually be pretty funny too. Let's see. Oh, those are so far back in there, but that could be cool. How many tankers is that? Seven. Oh, I spawned the wrong tankard. That's a shame. Get out of my inventory. Get out of here. Tankard regular seven. Oh, I should have changed the direction on a few of them, but too late. That's pretty cool. And then... Yeah, the Frostner effect is so useful, actually, in, like, decorating and stuff. Like, the item stands show which way the tankard will rotate. Yeah. I just, uh... Kind of forgot to change it <laughs> put yellow and green positions in there for lighting effects with the drinks oh, okay <laughs> you saw me move that yellow banner over like a centimeter uh, what else should I add to this that would be cool I do need more in both of these little shelves. I already know what I'm gonna do here though. Okay. And then Okay. Nice. So let me get some soup. Got some people actually eating. Tuck a little tankard right next to it. Okay. Something over on this table would be nice. My first thought would definitely... Yeah, I'll just do the thing real quick. Let's just do the old shield. Shield on the table trick. Oh, I must have gone by it. Shield, where are you? I could probably I could have typed it in probably at that point, but too late. Alright. <clears throat> and I ate one. Nice. Oh, 
couple little berries on a shield in the corner of the table. And a tankard. All right. Dining room coming together. Thinking about putting a rug on both of these tables under the stools don't know if I could get a rug to the right place anymore here actually that's fine I really should have put this rug here earlier <laughs> when I could actually choose the place, but I think it'll be okay sticking out a little bit. Oh my gosh, what is happening with that? That was horrible in my eyes. Oh, nice. There you go. I got you, Mallory. Got the rugs on the way. The problem is... I can't quite get this to where it should be. Maybe I can get in behind this. Nope, not gonna be able to do that. I could do it right here. But it's gonna stick through this way. There's no way to like square it up except for like right here where it's sticking out way too far, but let's just do that Okay Nice, this is a cozy little room though I see. Talking about mods, talking about mods. I do like, a, I like to have a few mods. I don't go overboard with the mods, but a few building mods here and there are really nice. Maybe some quality of life things. Maybe I should put like, there's gotta be like something right here. Hmm. There's not really much I could fit into this small space. Could I fit a little table here? Nah, it's probably fine. I mean, this is a pretty cute little dining room. I had two different long tables to sit at, like bar style. The food's coming through from the kitchen. You got mead that you could serve out of the kind of kegs. You got a little side table over here. I like this. Got some rugs. Really, lighting is the problem. I'm not really sure where to put lighting. I do like lighting like this. I could just do that. Ooh, that's a lot of light, but that's nice though, actually. That's like max lighting. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Oh, let's do a little inventory area. Oh, I know, Mallory, right? Like, I keep forgetting about the dang lights. It's been all day today. I've been just building in the dark. Yeah, super comfy little place to eat in here. Dinner is served. I like that. All right, so on to the next room. So we've got the hallway, which you really can't do much with. But at the entryway, I do want to have some kind of thing going on here. Let me see if I can get rid of this dirt. I can. All right. 
This is an interesting space to fill. Like over here in this space, there's not very many things that can fit here. Like an armor stand can, but it's probably, you know, probably what I'm going to put there. Oh, yo, I didn't even, I could make this the living room. I didn't even think about that. This could be the living room. Then this is the dining room. The kitchen's over here. And this would all be the bedroom then. So I could actually shrink this way down. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the space we've got at this point. But I didn't think about that. This could have just been the living room. Cubby on the wall to the right when you walk in for storage. That was the plan. Cubby over here on the right with this wall. Probably a longer one. Uh, have some storage down below and some hanging storage up top really was was kind of the idea but Yeah, and then I can make this the living room and this the bedroom. So yeah, let's stick with that. Let's stick with this being the storage So if it's gonna be the storage we definitely need some kind of Some kind of shelving at the bottom and then I'm thinking, dang, I really need a cubby right at eye height, but let's see. Like a smaller one, not like as tall as those maybe. Nah. Screw it. Go big or go home. looks like kind of a more like low profile shelf doesn't stick out quite as much i think that's nicer in a lot of circumstances but definitely depends on the situation and your preferences possibly some kind of things to hold the shelves kind of some hanging shelves I don't mind the shelves that stick out this far when they're up top because it's way out of the way but down low they stick out so far it's so like kind of messes with your line of sight almost I could also do a little kind of holder thing like on the edge of the cubby thing like right there that could be kind of cool I could even connect that up. That looks pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. All right, let's go ahead and seal up the cubby. I'm just going to do it like this for now. Yeah, this wall's got a lot of character. I I'm kind of liking this. I mean, got a lot we can work with here. If this is a storage area, you can tuck sh storage easily under here, which I'm going to do. Maybe like a little stool here in case you had some work you got to do. Probably some little guys here and here. Let's see, I might, I might back the cubby up. We'll do a little further back. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a full-size cubby instead of like a little half one. I do need to get back in here for just a second. Sorry, house. Just absolutely destroying you right now. Okay. And that one is done. Uh, 
Okay, looking good. Carry back that same height shelf. Okay. And we're back. Yeah, that's much better. And now I can actually fit, like, if I wanted to, I could actually fit, like, big storage in here. I could even do, like... Make this, like, the sealed-off storage. That could be cool. See if the mod is working today. Aha, it will let me do it today. The other day, it was not letting me place a chest on a chest, but you know, some sealed away storage right there. Up top, we could put some treasure. Is it gonna let me do it? I mean, that's pretty cool. A little mound of gold right there. And then, some gold over there. Gotta have that big storage, yo. Agreed. Agreed. Absolutely. I think this is kind of nice. Come in. You got a bunch of stuff to look at. Over here, you got a little storage wall. What else can I add? What else? got to be one or two more things that I could add to this. I'm always tempted to add the presents. They're such an easy, good decoration, but... I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's cheating. I feel like it's cheating to, like... Is it? Oh, that's funny. My homie from back in the day just texted me. He said he couldn't figure out how to send a super chat. So he sent me 20 bucks on Venmo. <laughs> that is funny. I don't know how to send a super chat either. I don't know how any of that works. Apparently it's kind of complicated. Shoot. Gotta have that big storage, yo have a tree and gifts under it that's what i'm saying like I, it's such a cute little thing you can add like the little gifts and like just i mean even just as regular things like you can place them here and there i just feel like debug mode like i don't know it's fair it's in the game but i never use them i don't know like maybe they are more for like a holiday type of thing you know so i guess that's why i don't use them but they would be a really like easy way to like add a few extra little things you know what? I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. Screw it. So let's take one of these.
couple of presents, you know? Adds a splash of color, that's what I'm saying. On computer, there's a little box with a dollar sign in it, and you can send a super sticker or super chat. Okay. Oh, I see it. Thank you. I see that. That makes sense. That's funny. Alright, so I'm leaving that. I'm leaving those coins. I'm leaving presents. I don't know. There's something about this wall I don't like. I'll be honest. I like it. I like it. There's potential here, but there's something I don't like. Actually, what if I just took these out? Boom. Ten times better, actually. Not even kidding. So those kind of get right to the perfect place. They look good. They really didn't need the other guys. Um... And then you know what? Why not add a little rug right here next to this stool? Or maybe even just add... Two rugs. Boom, there we go. That are, like, definitely not centered. Wait a second. Hold up. There we go. Two rugs. <laughs> put stuff in the present i think you can put stuff in the present oh you can i didn't know that that's cool i had no idea you could do that i'm happy with that wall i'm thinking Actually, I kind of want to do it. I don't want to do it the same on everything, so. Actually, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Some wards, and then. Dude, who knew that the presents are actually usable? What? I had no idea. I thought it was just kind of like a joke type of thing for whenever the holidays come around. You know what I mean? Something like this, and then I could just spawn like, uh, wait, hold up, spawn. Okay, let's just do what I kind of want to do, which is cape locks. Let's see how this works. I feel like it's going to hide the ward, but. It does kind of hide the ward, but not too much. Spawn cape. Uh, where's wolf? There's wolf. Yeah, let's do one of each of these. So you come in. You've got storage on the right. Dining room straight ahead. I just got the craziest lag spike. Oh, it's world save. And then you've got the coat racks on the left. Very cool. I almost feel like this needs like a rug in the center, but maybe. Problem is, is like, it doesn't face the right direction. Should I do this rug or should I do the two deer rugs under the corners? Or uh, something like that, so it like points both ways, kind of. Is that weird? Is that weird? That could be weird. I kind of like it though. Oh, you could even do it here in the entrance. Yo. Wait, let me do locks for the entrance. Yo, you come in. Nah, that's like you actually it's actually weird if you do it on the entrance. Maybe I could do it with the red one though. This weird? I don't know. It's fun to put them outside of your friend's house stuff. So. Like they get a package, that's cool, yeah. Love your build details. Appreciate it, Kenshu. Yeah, the new vid. I love how the new vid came out. I'm trying out a few new techniques in that one. I think I think it came out nice. 
You like the, the one big rug. The red rug there? Okay. Yes? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to do a runner. I don't know how to do any of that crap. That's for sure. <laughs> I think I think that's nice. And I probably don't even need the other direction. Just having the one rug here in the middle of the room just to break up that room, I think is really nice. And then here, I do want to do a rug, but it feels like it's almost like an afterthought. What if I, What about something like that? Just like throw a rug in there in the middle of it. Yeah, that could be cool. That could be cool. Kind of have it like sectioned. Something like that. Oh, that's so off. That was so obviously off that it like hurt my brain to look at it. That's kind of cool. I didn't double frame this door, so there's not two pieces on the floor, on the door frame, like all the rest of the doors. Darn. Missed the opportunity. Actually, I could still do that, right? No, the snapping point is lower. Um, I don't know. I like this, though. Obviously, this, <laughs> this door has to go, but... Uh, speaking of, let's get some lighting in here. Probably just put something in the corner. That'd be fine. Not really enough room to hang a chandelier. I wish there was, though. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I like this. Okay, on to the next. We've got a kitchen, a living room, and a bedroom still to make. So, I'm assuming we're going to be streaming for another, like, two hours, probably. We're at six hours right now. So, we're going to see. We are going to see. You want me to do the wolf rug as a welcome mat? Let's see. Ooh. I like that, Mallory. Good idea. I like that a lot. I'm leaving it. We place a coin, an idea. Oh my gosh. Cherry. <laughs> uh, that thought reminds me of my own brain like 24 7. <laughs> did we run out of music guys we ran out of music oh my gosh we uh, i forgot at six hours my playlist runs out that's all the safe the safe music though i've got like plenty more or i could just repeat the playlist i'm just gonna repeat the playlist i am so glad that Joe Rogan podcast didn't start playing and I didn't know, well I would have noticed instantly but I don't want to get like copyrighted by Joe Rogan <laughs> um, although he seems like a pretty nice guy he probably wouldn't add to Q add to Q go back to my Q alright there we go oh this always gets me a little pumped restarting the playlist too because this is like the start of the stream song. Da, 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 da. Bum, 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 bum. The song always does kind of get me pumped right at the start of the streams. Let's see. Kitchen time, I think, would be cool. Because then, like, this whole corner will be done. And we can move on to the living room and bedroom. Which I think I could even break out this back wall and go even further if I really wanted to. Um, let's see. What to do in the kitchen. So we know we've got these guys here. Um, if, we're, if we're making this kind of like a, a water... I mean, this is definitely the water-themed Shire house. So if that's what we're doing, the water and booze house, I don't know. What do you guys want to call it? The, you want me to make this like a wine cellar? <laughs> I could try that. You can add roofing to the stairs and still use the stairs. 
didn't have any white in there yeah the white actually is is a nice contrast all that like darker brown on the walls and the roof and everything another coffer in the center then add a light source just like the yellow mushroom i'm so curious how you're going to do the kitchen fireplace yeah so the kitchen fireplace is a no-go <laughs> that was gonna go right here i could put it in the back i mean actually yeah i could just put it back here in the back and then like this section of the kitchen will be like where you just serve the stuff and then like all the cooking is done back here i could do that why not i gotta bust out this wall then let's see oh obviously this is a good place for a fireplace <laughs> Well, I never noticed before how badly there's a hole. This this rock was absolutely destroyed. Like, it's been so nice, though. It saved me so much time on this one, not having to... Um... Oh, I'm scared to hit the rock with this sword, this cheat sword. There we go. It's been so nice not having to worry about all the holes in the rock, because you see, like, I literally just drop right here, and you can't see any of them. And the road is another, you know, five meters down, so... Oh, that's been so nice not having to worry about that. All right, uh, fireplace. I think we take it back one more if we're gonna do a fireplace. It would be perfect right here, but wait, let me see. Is it gonna let me do this? Okay, and this. Master Brewer Hobbit Hole. Yeah, I need to come up with some more there's not really enough room. Yeah, I could do some here. Uh, I could, yeah, I could fit more like the little racks with the stools in it. I'm gonna have to figure out how to fit a couple of those in here too. Uh, but I can do that in a minute. We can definitely still make this guy the master brewer. Absolutely. Looks like a banker's hole <laughs> on the right. All the coins over there and everything. Okay, grab this. Nice. So this is the size of width that I usually go with so that I can use the full size stone hearth. Just for example, you can see right here. Actually, I can just go ahead and place it in. No worries. I am going to get rid of this lower piece of rock because this is definitely no risk. Although... Really, like I said before, we're at no risk because of where this house is. Nobody will be able to see it. So exactly what I'm going to do next. There we go. Get out of here, wall. Get out of here, rock. Make way for the chimney. All right. I love the perfect thing about this too, about using the stone hearth, is how the stone wraps around perfectly. So then you can just alter and then brick layer it every time going all the way up. It's so easy um, just because the shape of that just nicely goes with it. All right, I'm just going to get rid of all the rock back here because none of this matters. this definitely get rid of this all right that should be enough get rid of some things from my inventory i love looking at these i love looking at these from the in, the inside of like the cave it's so cool that worked out really well too actually just double layering each of the different rooms too on the walls such a cool technique it's going to be super sweet doing the last couple of Shire houses, knowing exactly how to do them. It's going to be sad <laughs> not having to do that anymore. I'm going to have perfected it by then. Or perfected my method of doing it by then. Put the fire in the back and then do a one meter bench around and use that bench as cabinet spacing. I love using the gates as doors for cabinets. <clears throat> okay. I could do that. I could do that. There's definitely going to be some cabinets in here that I'm going to have to add. And uh, some wine racks that need to go somewhere. Possibly here. 
Um, it's going to be tight, but it's going to be sweet. It's going to be cool. So let's brick layer this whole thing real quick. And then we got to decide at which point am I going to... I really could go back another meter. Hmm. Should I do it? Definitely got like infinite room. I'm going to do it because I like to actually do another little thing, which I'll show you guys, which you can do. So... If we go back one, same same trick applies as before. Surrounding the stone hearth with uh, stone, which leads to a perfect design, so you can actually checker it. Let's see. Okay, now it's back a little bit, and then now we can actually use you know something in front of it, and then some kind of like mantelpiece here. Although it's not really going to be a mantelpiece because I'm just going to cover over it like this. So it's definitely not going to be a mantelpiece. But I still think this looks really nice. Um, and then, you know, we can even put like a gate here. Nah, not a full size gate. Maybe these. You really don't even need that though. I think this is nice just the way it is. Stone hearth is definitely the move for a fireplace. just feels like it fits the best I don't know and you have so much room to like set up cooking racks and things is that right yep Okay, we are outside, so I have to make it to a point, preferably, where you can see a cute little chimney sticking up, and maybe a little bit of smoke, too. Cabinets under the fermenters? Good idea. Grid with the double layers works out way better this time around. Absolutely, I think the grid with the double layers this time really saved me a lot of time. That and being able to just cut holes in this rock without having to worry about it this time. <clears throat> Let's see. So I'm thinking one more before getting to a smaller width. Although, can you already see? Yeah, you should. You can already kind of see it. I'm going to go up one more. Okay, and then actually since you can't see the back nice should I leave that tree there Pro that'll probably be fine all right continuing the brick laying pattern up a little bit higher. Yeah, I do unfortunately think this tree has to go. And then... we come back add some ventilation which doesn't actually vent anything but looks kind of cool
Chop out some corners that don't need to be there to add some detail. Let's do that with this layer too, actually. Yeah, you got a nice little chimney. Okay, not bad, not bad. And then honestly, what I'm going to do is I kind of want some smoke here. <clears throat> Gotta have a great sh Oh, you're out of here, Kenshu. Thanks for hanging out. Much appreciated, my friend. Have a nice evening, and, uh... Yeah, thanks. You don't have to watch it later, but thank you. GG, my friend. GG. <laughs> and it looks nice. Thanks, Jeremy. And why'd you say and? <laughs> and it looks nice. Did I miss something? I missed something, most likely. I think that is what I'm going to do for the chimney. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do something weird. Just a little experiment. I want to see what it looks like if I take... Fire and put it right here. That actually is really cool. Um, access to the fire in the back so I can fill it up quickly. It does need ventilation though. So actually I'm just going to open up the whole back of this chimney and see if that'll do it. Movie magic people, movie magic. Yeah, there we go. Some smoke coming up around it. Nice. Nobody has to know. It's just a fireplace on top of a chimney. A fireplace on top of a fireplace. Movie magic. Nice. Okay. Oh. If you place a 45 degree roof piece inside, it does vent out the smoke and you can still cover it with iron fence. Yeah, okay. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that, but that sounds like something I don't know about. That sounds really cool, but 45 degree. So essentially like smoke can just get through 45 degree roof pieces or what? What's the dealio with that? Uh, let's go ahead and add some cooking apparatuses in here. Apparati, apparati, you know, I, who knows what the plural is for that? Not me, so. <clears throat> little stone oven right there. I mean, it's a bit cramped, but it definitely would be cool to have a stone oven in here. I could also just scoot it back in there. That's actually really cool. I'm going to do that. That is actually really cool. Um, got a cooking pot to add. On both sides. Definitely want to hang some of these guys. This would be a cool spot right above the stone oven. Butcher's table, probably going to go right here. Pots and pans. I can also put the pots and pans over there. I'll probably move those in a minute, but I'm just placing it all for now. Um, funnels out the smoke so you don't get smoked out. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay. Grab a picture for your bacon bill. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it for the kitchen stuff. There's probably a couple more things I could fit in, but let's see. I do want to put something on top of here before I put the spice rack. What would be cool to have here in a kitchen? Is there anything else I didn't do? Nah. Put beehives here. 
<laughs> for honey. Actually, I kind of like that. And then I could put spice rack somewhere else. <laughs> Let's spawn some wood. Fill this up. Spawn wood nine. Fill this up. All right. Looks like the, I think the stone oven, because it's like clipped through the wall, is actually venting back there, which is funny. That is interesting. <clears throat> Let me drink some water. Oof. All right. A little bit of hydration. Hydration nation over here. No, I'm just kidding. I've drank like three sips of water this entire stream. Uh, What do we think? I kind of like this. It's almost like a seamless transition. Is that just me? It's like wood, 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 and then stone right into stone. And I really like that, how that kind of worked out. You know what? I could even mess around and do like stone floor for this part of the kitchen. Yeah, look at that. All right. We're gonna do that. I might actually do like a little wall here then. I hate how much that sticks out though. If I just did a wall like this. It's gonna be too much, but what I can do is I can do it from the other direction. Just do something like this. What if I can match it down below? That would be really cool if I could make that work. Let me put this stone floor here back. Did that work? That kind of works. Little like minimal kind of gate here. And then I can flip it around like that. So it's a little bit further over. It's not quite sticking out as far. Just kind of trying to scoot it over a hair and you can see i custom placed this so it's not all the way up here because i want a little wall separating this but i don't want it to actually like fully block the view um probably just gonna do some shelves i think it might have been raymond that said that earlier i'm not sure but i think shelves here is gonna be what this kitchen needs it does need a wine rack somewhere still though um, which I could do right here in this corner, all the way to the ceiling, which could be cool. I filled that spot now. Oh yeah, Mallory was right. We've got some space here. Oh, Mallory, I forgot the, uh, <laughs> it's got the dirt there. So I don't know if we can use it for cabinets. We can make it look like it could be used for cabinets. And, uh, put these here. But to actually do it would be... Kind of weird that does look better with that though and at least for this one i think i might i might be able to get yeah for this one i can do it so i wonder if like i could leave like one open you know and so like just this one shows and then the other two are closed for a little bit of asymmetry there i don't think that would be a bad that would be a problem oh i gotta close my blinds Sun is going down. <clears throat> okay. Put some pics in the Discord for your reference, TFG. Okie dokie. Let's see. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay, my bad. I see I I was just overthinking it. Okay. Nice. That's a cool trick. I'll have to try that out. I didn't realize you could use roof pieces to like kinda 
uh, kind of funnel the smoke. Let's see. Oh, I could even keep it a short shelf. Would that be weird? That's a little bit weird. That's like, yeah, that would be weird. Let's, let's be real here. That would be weird. What if I did like two layers of shelves? What would be the purpose for the lower shelf though? There has to be a purpose for that. Then I could do it. It could just be a seat. <laughs> I bet you I could actually even... Yo, I bet you I could actually even put the stools in there. Oh, you can't use it right now? You can sit on stools, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold up. So it just says too far. I guess you have to look at the the top of the stool and be really close. Wait, wait, actually. No, you don't. Wait. I did it. Yes. Is that cool or no? Like a little seat there? It seems a little out of place. Like just to have a seat in your kitchen. But I don't know why. I'm just kind of feeling like this is cool. Maybe this is just me. It's probably just me. And I could do like two little shields here for like like back braces. Is this dumb? Is this a really stupid idea? They are hobbits after all. They are lazy. Fair. Stools need to be above the wood. It works now. It's like I have to be like, I have to like be right next to it. I think I was too far away and then I can only look at the leg because I can't see the top, obviously. Manually, manually place wood. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I mean, that's kind of cute. A little like chair type of thing. I think I might leave it. I might leave it. You definitely need some storage in a Valheim kitchen. So, or in any kitchen, that's, you know. Oh my gosh, Chris, I have to approve your messages. You know that when you're with this language. <laughs> um, it is cute. I think it's cute too, Mallory. Yeah, they're like three feet tall. So, you know, a little short shelf. This is probably like at their shoulders or something. I don't know. Oh, cute little stool they can sit on. Uh, if there's going to be a rug in here, it's going to have to be over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Except I think it would have to be further back. And then I wonder if at that point it can't. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's under a, tr a table. Nice. Let's see what it looks like to add some of these on this. Is that weird? Probably not the middle one. Let's, let's be real here. I could just free place this and it would be a lot better. Yeah. Okay. This little window is so cool. I love how this turned out. Um, so this is on the kitchen side. On the other side, it says, I'm so foul. <laughs> Just lower the free floor piece. Yeah. Dinner is served on this side. And so on this side, dinner being served. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, 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 that was corny what i just thought of i'm not even gonna say it out loud omg tfg i just came up with a great idea for you a DD themed village where each build is for a different class that would be insane that could be so cool that, that could be really cool um eat up friends <laughs> that's the most awkward thing uh whatever i don't care that's what i'm putting 
<laughs> if anybody else comes up with a better thing to put on the kitchen side of the sign, please let me know. Food prep? Yeah, that's... Let's, let's just do that. That's, yeah. Um, okay. I can move because I had frozen time. I really need to unbind the time thing because I don't... I don't know what key I bound it to, though. But whatever. I need to do that later. So, I'm wondering if there is enough... I just completely forgot what all the tabs do in the building menu. That was hilarious. I don't know if anybody noticed me just, like, frantically clicking around. I think, like, a little shelf could, could, could work right here. Oh, that's... I mean, that's kind of nice, actually. Cute little kitchen. Well, the cooking area. Um... I never figured out where to put the spice rack, though. Kind of completely forgot about the spice rack. Not gonna lie. What if I just like... No. No. Immediately getting rid of that. What about something like... Hanging from the shelf? Oh, that could be so cool, because you could, like, pick them off here, like, while you're working on something, and then cut them up on a cutting board. Yeah, I'm definitely leaving it right there. And then, we need some more, there's, like, no storage in here, so I would like to add a little bit of storage tucked away. There's three chests for, but that's for all the mead stuff, and then there's only two chests for, like, all of your food. Three chests now, so I think that's better, but... I mean, nobody's going to be living here anyway, but I mean, I don't know. I like to think about it still kind of logically. Uh, what kind of trophy should go over the fireplace? Torfy? I just typed Torfy. What kind of Torfy should we put over the fireplace? Boar? I mean, I, I'm thinking boar. I don't know why, but... Boom. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Simple. It'd be cool if the chain could be used as a build piece. Yes, that would be incredible. I really wish they do that. Uh, window? What about window? Open shelving definitely works. Okay, leaving it. You can add one meter beams and rotate them two clicks under the floor. Cabinets. You can add two... Lower the free floor piece. Not sure what you mean by that. It'd be cool with the chain. Like a divider. Window, like a divider. Like this little window here. Into the dining room from the kitchen. They have the mock of Valheim Legends. You can be super classified. Oh, that's cool. Boar fills well there. Nice. I'm leaving it. I'm absolutely leaving that. Alright, so the house is coming together pretty good. As you come in. We got the cozy little area out here leading up to our Shire house. Then as you go in, you've got a Shire hallway, which makes you feel like you're in the Shire, kind of. You've got an entryway with some storage. Nice little dining room here uh, with some tucked in storage in the walls. Yeah, I mean, I think this is coming in nice. You've got a big open room here still to do. But the kitchen is looking pretty good. Kitchen is looking pretty good. Hmm. Let's see. I wonder if there's anything else I should put. Kind of. Uh. Put a butcher's knife up here, just because it kind of fits the theme a little bit. Got a little knife on the table. Um, that might be really it for the kitchen, though. I mean, I, I like this. We've got everything you need. Cauldrons, cooking racks, stone oven. Um, they've got all their improvements. So as far as, like, Valheiming goes, we're fully Valheimed <laughs> in the kitchen.
That's amazing. You want to live there? That's awesome. What's going on, Teddy Bear Jez V? Good to see you. Spice rack inside the fire, fire fireplace. I can't read right now. Spice rack inside the fireplace. I thought about that, but um, I'd have to add a little lip because there's no lips, and then yeah, you know, I just I think it's kind of cool right here. It's spice rack in the window like a divider but it looks great where it is ah i see yeah i don't want to put it in the window because you know it's got to be stuff's got to be served so you'd be like hitting the spices all the time we do those fine wood gate little ones in the window but would have to have them in the open position mm, yeah i think i'm just gonna leave it open not a bad idea though yeah i, th I think it's okay as it is I'm, I'm gonna leave it i think that's it for the kitchen i think that's it we've got enough going on here i really want to put some stuff on the yeah let me put just like a few okay let me just put a few tankards over here and i'll be happy it's like there's a few i mean i don't know it's pretty packed but like i just want i want to make sure there's enough little details in here yeah it should be good i could put i could put something on the wall up here I could put some other shields on the wall up here. Okay, and just put some shields on the wall just as some decorations. Could actually scoot this down. And then I could do Oh, that is a sword. Ooh, that last one needs to be scooted down a little bit. That could be cool. Couple of shields there on the wall. And then maybe even do like some kind of spawn sword black metal, spawn sword bronze, spawn sword iron i typed a backslash spawn sword silver okay we got a few different swords i gotta get to where i can actually see the second item frame for this though How do I get on top? There's a way to get on top of this thing still, right? I think. Yes. Okay, I think I can reach him through here. Nice, I can. Okay, got a sword on that one. Sword on this one. Sword on that one. And we're good. Nice. Patch the floor back up. Or the ceiling back up, I guess. Not the floor. Okay. Back around. How's that? Four little, like, little displays there. I like that. Four different shields. Four different swords. Gives you something to look at. I almost feel like the pots and pans feel out of place there, but I'm not really sure where else I would put them. I could put them above the stone oven and put the beehives where the little seats are, but I like the little seats. They're so cute. 
An ice cream. <laughs> Think spice rack and then we know I can I already read that. Noise. <laughs> um yeah, I think I like this. I think I like this how it is. Um coming together really nice. This place feels a little more spacious. Each each of the this is the third one now, the third Shire house, and this one feels like the most spacious now. I guess they're just gonna keep getting bigger. It's just too much fun. I'm it's fun to make them, so whatever. By the end they're gonna be absolutely massive, but it'll be cool. So now we've gotta build a living room and a bedroom in this space right here. So you know, there's a couple of ways we could do it. We could actually section off completely one area. I think this would be cool actually as the bedroom when it comes to like sectioning off an area. But I don't know if you would need to section it. Oh, you could perfectly do the Hobbit doorway here, actually. And have like a little bedroom there. And then this whole thing would be like the living room. That could be cool. And I could put some more storage on that back wall. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. All right. Call it done. It's a pretty full kitchen. I 100% agree. I want to keep like tweaking it, but it's just like there's a lot in there and I don't want to make it too cramped. It's pretty cramped already. So I don't want to do too much to it. Okay. How did this end up? Oh, that's not okay so that's right yeah there we go okay spot for a bedroom so i guess the easiest thing would be to do just do the bedroom really quick um well the easiest thing would definitely be to just fill it with beds <laughs> well we're not doing any of that we don't care about the easiest way. All right, I'm thinking like right there would be cool. And then definitely like a little bit of like a bedside table kind of thing going on here, I think would be cool. Let's just place this and see what height that would be at. That's too tall, I think. Does that mean it won't respawn or should it? Random quest. Does anyone know if I type kill all in the swamp, will it kill off resting abominations? I have no idea. That is a very good question. Put the red curtains up to close off the bedroom a little. That's kind of what I was thinking too. Like somehow I can kind of fit these curtains into this design. Then it'll look really nice. Um, I just got to figure out how to do it. Ever tried turning the armor stands for capes around more like coat hooks? Probably not a bad idea at all actually. What's going on, the basic builder? How you doing? Um, I'm thinking like this and like this, maybe. Let's see, they're probably not at the same height. Yeah, just something like that, just like a little bit would probably be nice. The problem is I can't really go too far out with it or it's going to be a problem for sure. Um, just got home from work. Nice. Time to boot up some Valheim. <laughs> I'm thinking like, can I do, actually I can't even do vaulted ceilings in here unless I did them this way. 
Which I could definitely do that. That's not the weirdest thing, but I don't know if I like that. Um, let's come up with an idea for how I can use the curtains. I think it'd be really cool to have the curtains like on some type of thing. Or I could even just use the full size curtains. some funny snapping points here all right let's see this yeah i mean even that is a nice little extra layer of privacy you got your next build you're working on what is it long day home now though home now i was thinking about giving a little sneak peek of my next uh build tour video too here on the stream at some point Still kind of in the beginnings, but uh, it's looking pretty cool. You hang two with the straight sides touching so that there's no gap with the pulled back ones. Yeah, I could do that. I've tried to like combine them before. The problem is, is like the textures. Like they're just so off. Like when you try to use them together, like this is like the red jute texture or whatever. So it's just like, you know, I don't know. It doesn't look like... I don't know. What else should I put in the bedroom? What do you guys think? We could put storage, of course. That's the easiest thing, but could also put a place to sit and read. We could put I do think we should do a bookshelf. A bookshelf would be cool and kind of run it even like over the bed. Yeah, let's see how that looks actually. Let's get a bookshelf going. Nice. Flip the jute around 180 degrees and have two next to each other. Oh! Never thought about that actually. Never thought about that. That's really cool. How, why have I not thought about that? A crib for the child. It is a nice space for something like that, but I mean, I don't know. Custom dresser with a half open drawer. I'm down. Custom dressers would be re really cool. This is an interesting idea right here though. And I'm definitely going to have to use that somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to use that here today, but I'm definitely going to have to use that somewhere. So let's do some custom shelving down here as well. Might as well while we're already doing it up top. So of course that would be the easiest thing. We could also go and match with this. Actually, I'm kind of down to do that. A little stand right there and right there. Just like some custom little supports. And the top, I'll probably do supports with these guys. Let's see how I want to do this. And then maybe put another one next to that one. Just a hair down. There we go. And then maybe another one over here. Okay, and then maybe just like one more right here would be enough. I 
All right, some little custom shelves here and there. View curtains are two layers very close together. Oh my gosh. That's insane. That's really trippy. It's like weird on my mind. You can see it at some angles, but in other angles, it becomes a little fuzzy. That's cool. Thanks, Chris. Chris always coming in with the, the cool stuff. Always, always coming in with the cool stuff. Let's see, we got a bookshelf up top, custom shelving it down on the bottom. Definitely gonna add a little seat here. Get some work done or something. Uh, possibly a little, mm, uh, a little bit of storage here on the left side. Maybe then a little bit of treasure on the, I, do, I love the lid of this treasure. I hate hiding it. You know what I mean? It's like, I love how it's open with the lid, but it's so hard to actually get it at an angle where you can show it all. Like I, I've run into this problem many times. Maybe if I put it over there, it'd be kind of cool. And then, oh, there's too many diagonal things right now. Ooh, 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 this isn't making sense. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Mm. Yeah, screw the lid. I'm putting it over there. I'm putting it over there. Computer enhance. <laughs> uh, let's see what else what else can I put on this desk oh definitely a little tankard working late like the basic builder putting in the hours working hard I'm gonna put a tankard here dedicated to the basic builders long work day today yeah, I never noticed that either, Basic Builder. That's that's a cool little detail there. I noticed it only yesterday. You usually just put on down and can see the lid. I saw your video the other day, Basic Builder. It was looking good. Yo, if you want to do uh, some kind of collab or something, hit me up on my Discord or something. We'll figure it out. I've been thinking about doing like a little... Thing lately like maybe we could get a few youtubers together and do a little like build comp like a live build competition i think that'd be really cool like everybody has like six hours to build something awesome i don't know something like that i've been thinking about doing something like that maybe make a little side text channel in the discord for for the youtubers and so we could plan the event i don't know you're gonna be afk for a bit that's okay cherry thanks for letting us know we're gonna be down one mod. You already know that means that the love chat bot is gonna show up immediately. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna hone in on it instantly. All right, we're gonna add some books to this bookshelf, and then that's really all that I'm gonna do for the shelf up top. I think. Add some books over there. Skip a couple of spaces. Add some books over here. The camera doesn't like this. The camera, the Valheim camera does not like hobbit holes. That's for sure. That is for sure. Not a YouTuber, but you'd be so interested. Yeah, that'd be fun too. Like a viewer build competition too. There's no reason it has to just be uh, with other YouTubers. Best tiny house build? Yeah, like a, like a four hour, like a two hour competition or something. Like who can build the best tiny house in two hours? Love shack chat. <laughs> Let's see what will be the next. I'll do another one over here. All right. And another one. And then I think over here would be cool to have like... Like a chest. And then go back to some books. 
I'm gonna make sure I'm getting them all at a similar height. Trying to use the wall instead of the floor to kind of place these. Yeah, there we go. That's looking nice. Then we'll get one of these guys in. And one of these guys in. Spawn trophy. Skeleton. Skeleton poison. I just think the skulls fit so well in this. Maybe that's just me, but... Okay. Then we're gonna take that and scoot that down a little bit. Maybe a little bit back. Nope, that's got to go down even further. Alright. And too far down. Get bored playing on your own. You get bored playing on your own? I, don't, I never get bored playing this game on my own. Although I do really like, I do really enjoy live streaming it though. Live streaming it is a lot of fun, like having people to talk to the whole time and everything. Yeah, I think she's just got somebody coming through. I think she's cool. She's cool. Goblin skulls. Oh, that's the that's a nice height. It's sticking through a little bit, but I mean, that is a nice height. Maybe just scoot it up a little bit. See if I can get rid of the fact that it sticks through right now. Oh my gosh, my camera just confused the heck out of me and I completely lost where my reference was. I think it was around there. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Okay, and try to copy that side a little bit. I just punched the bookshelf for no reason. Nice, okay. We've got a bookshelf in the bedroom. This is cool. Oh, ba base it off the wall. Don't forget to do that. All right. And then... Maybe just like a few coins over here would be kind of cool. Whoops. Basic Builder said BRB. Oh, what does my brother call me? They're like Goblin oh, Skulls. Mall is what my brother calls me. Oh, that's cool. All right, I'm liking this. You know what I'm seeing right here, though? I am seeing the need for a cubby. A small shelf into this wall would be really cool. So that is what I'm going to do. Hopefully I can get the walls. There we go. Nice. And then I can place a couple little things in here. Or I could just place the one thing. A couple of coins over here. And you know what? My lucky tankard is gonna go right here. That would be cool. <laughs> the lucky tankard, that's the spot for that. The truck is to use signs sideways. Oh, the trick, I see. Hold up, they got books in here? <laughs> yeah, there's books, but they're pretty, uh, you're right, they need some color or something. I wish there was some, nah, there's not really anything I could do for color there, but. Looking okay, looking okay. I almost want to take like one of these banners down if I'm being honest. It does add a little privacy for the bedroom, but it certainly makes it annoying to work on the bedroom. <laughs> uh, let's finish up this shelf. I forgot I was going to do a little like bedside table right here. I got completely sidetracked. Do to do. 
What would be the best way to do this? I really do think it'd be cool to have just one of these. Kind of right there. All right. Not a bad little bedroom, but it does need a rug under the bed. Sticking out a little bit more that way and put the bed back where it was. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Something on the wall could go right there and definitely something on the wall over here. Maybe just like... All right, this guy is a hunter. I just decided. And he keeps his best hunting trophies in his room. <laughs> in his bedroom. All right. Definitely need some lighting in here. See if I can sneak some in somewhere. Where would be a good spot? For, I mean, you could always do the old lighting in the bed, bed thing. I do think it's cool that you can slide in a torch right there on the bed, but it doesn't. Actually, that's really not bad for lighting in here. It's right in the middle, so it lights everything up really nicely. Yeah, I like that. Cozy little bedroom. Got the coffered ceilings, got a bookshelf, shelving down below, a little desk to do some work at, cubby in the wall, bedside table, things on the walls. I like that. You have like no deer trophies in this hobbit house? I know, I never use them. <laughs> I never use deer trophies. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I actually took them down. I actually don't have any in this one. No way. Oh, no. There's one at the front door. <laughs> They're just so handy. There's such a, those and tankards, man. If they, if we didn't have those in Valheim, I'd be so disappointed. Those are my go-tos. Those are my absolute go-tos. Let's get rid of that. Okay. On to the living room. We've done everything now. We've got the entry hallway into the entryway with like some storage and the dining room oh my gosh and the kitchen yeah this is cute this is really cute and the little bedroom all right what goes into a living room definitely need some major seating hmm i could do like a massive like couch around this like all facing this way I think there's probably going to end up being like a rug somewhere here or there somewhere. I don't know. Scoot this over just a little bit. Try to center it in the room. Okay. Love it. Nice. Not backing up like 15 times sure does make it the stream quicker. It does. I know. We're on to the last room and I'm at 7 hours on the stream. It took 10 hours for the last one. Um, so this is kind of nuts. But I do still have a couple things I want to do this stream outside. Uh, like fixing up the roads. I'm going to add a few more of these like retaining walls going around. So that the whole place starts getting a little cozier and not just the actual like hobbit homes themselves. Um, but yeah, this place is really coming together at three houses. Now I'm really feeling the project. Like, you know, it's, it's really, this is cool. And I love streaming it. This has been so much fun. I'm definitely going to keep, um, I'm going to always have a build project that I can stream like forever. I think that would be really cool. Oh, I need to close this door. The bridge, I think, worked out so nicely on this one. Man, when I got on today, I was like, 
I did not want to put a Shire house over here. But then I started looking at it and I noticed like the river and like how many like cool elements there would be in this one that aren't in any of the rest. Like being able to use the water and stuff and like it's backed up to the forest. So you've got all the trees right behind it. It actually turned out to be really nice. This is cool. Look at all this. Okay, so living room. The last thing that needs to be done. First things first, I think the coolest thing. We need a lot of seating in the living room. So we could fill these corners with two seats. And that immediately uses up those two spots. Uh, and it also gets to use uh, the chairs, which I really like. I could do stone, but I feel like wood fits a hobbit house more. So I'm going to stay with the wood. Big sectional couch. That's what I'm thinking too. What's going on, basic builder? Welcome back. Fits nicely. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see. Maybe. Yeah, I think a big couch would be really cool here. And you know what I noticed earlier? This would actually make a decent, like, looking couch. Or like a loft type of thing. It needs to be further back. Nah, not feeling that. Not feeling that at all. Let's take some benches. That'll probably be the main thing that it'll just probably be hidden. Um, let's see, I can fit two here. Something like this. That one's got a gap. Okay, I need to shift a couple of things. So this needs to move back a little bit. This needs to move over. This needs to move back a little bit. Just trying to get these first like little adjustments here so that it's kind of precise at the beginning. And then the rest of the woodwork I think will be a lot easier. Okay. <clears throat> you should make the living room have a mini step down to a stone floor and add rugs. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. You like the chimney cherry? Nice. Um. Dang. I hate how good that idea is. Because now I'm going to have to cut out the whole floor here and do it. <laughs> the rug, it's going to... I won't be able to do the rug though. But that's okay. I can, I can live without doing the rug. Let's see if I can even go lower here, though. Most of the cave wouldn't allow me to go lower. Oh, I think I can. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This is the, the new plan. Good idea, Jackson Galaxy. Good idea. Oh, it's definitely going to be a little more difficult to do, but I think it'll be worth it. I think it'll be worth it. At least I'll try for a minute, and if it looks bad, then we'll go back to what I was doing. Alright. So... Really should add those just to match. Problem is there's not as much room. 
We're gonna do a little bit of cheating with the staircases so I can save some room. But it's not gonna be... Okay. So that's where it wants me to put it, but I need to be back about a meter. And then up. Actually, I don't even think I can in this setting, because if I cheat... Oh, I know what to do. I got this. Boom. There we go. So we're only going to utilize the first two steps. Instead of utilizing all four, we're just going to utilize two, which gives it a very small drop down and leaves me with a larger amount of space to use where the actual like couch is going to go or whatever the area is going to be. Yeah, just barely down. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Just use kind of like half, just, just half the staircases and it'll be really nice. Now I wonder if funny thing would be so stone wants to be here if I could give that a snapping point a little lower I could stone this up but I could also just yeah I actually do need to lower this back down just a little bit I forgot that dirt is not going to be the floor um oh get out of here heck dear stop stop event what was that event there we go figured out how to type uh, so I could easily just free place a wood floor right here. I move back this dirt just a little bit more. This is pretty cool. I did not mean to start flying right there. This is really cool how it just kind of lowers and goes right back up. I actually really like that. I have the stone floor just like one step down. You want me to do it with stone? I can do it with stone. That's fine. That's fine. I can do the same thing with stone. Oops. Let's see if it'll let me hit this piece of dirt. Come on. Alright, let's try the hoe. Yeah, let's go. Alright, there you go. You like that? That's nice. I think that's nice. And so now it's like you've got dining room <clears throat> entryway hallway there's gonna be a kitchen bedroom and there'll be like a little lowered area here to like hang out and relax i wish there was a couch man if they added a couch i bet you everybody would use that thing unless you should do the whole floor no 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 you're back what's happened snow leaf snow leaf uh, I hate to say it, but the build is pretty much done. Uh, we're on to the last room. Um, so yeah. Shire housing. It's getting easier, let me be honest. That's what's happening. The next stream is probably going to be even shorter. Uh, I mean, it's been seven hours right now. I'll probably still be on for another hour or two, because I'm going to do other stuff after I finish this home, but... Man, they're flying through now. Uh, what to put here, though, is the question. I want to keep enough of the stone floor exposed where you can actually see it but i don't want to have nothing there 
So I need to find a nice balance. So let's go back to what I was doing originally, which would be something like, I think it would be cool if it was like, something like this. I think that could be really cool if we start adding some stuff. I mean, I could easily do just what I did in the kitchen and just add some shields as backs, you know? But I bet you we could come up with some good ideas. Anybody got any ideas for this, for the backs of the chairs? Add a fire? Uh, I don't have a way to vent the smoke, or I would. You could do a couch like you did on the last build. I could do a couch like the other build, but I didn't really like how those came out, to be honest. <laughs> like, there were some good ideas there, but I've never made couches, so I don't really know. What else could this space be used for? This could also be like, I could make this a trophy room right here and have like a bunch of trophies. I could make this an armory and have a bunch of art, like... Uh, weapons and shields on the wall Armory trophy room in fact We are gonna do a poll What should I put in the room Armory Trophy room. Lounge room like we've been doing. Um, um, what else could we do here? I'm trying to think. That's really probably the best three options. All right, what do you guys want to do? Dividers as back pieces, maybe for a couch. Yeah, nature would be fire though. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna, I don't really have it. I don't wanna, well, I mean, maybe I could do nature. I mean, nah, but I do think that's not a bad idea. Uh, because we are here on the ground I could add a little bit like I could bring in a plant or two Except it would be more like oh It'd be more like one of these and like the corners You know we could do like Something like that they're gonna sink in a second Do dividers as the back pieces Maybe for the couch. Nature would be fire, though. Frame out the couch using signs. Yeah, it's going to be more than just signs if I, if I have to do a couch. I really don't want to do a couch, but if I have to do a lounge area, I will. The banners make cool couch backs. Okay. Add a planter. Yeah, we got planters here. We could do that. This little idea with the planters, I think, is a great idea. Okay, so maybe let's just do... Let's just try it with some plants. And then just some like banners as I'm not sure how I could do banners as couch backs in this actually. I might have to remove the trees. I might have to remove the trees. Get bust out the signs. Where are the signs? Why can't I find the signs right now? I'm breaking. <laughs> My mind broke for a second. Where is... Okay, so this is the sign. Yeah, we could use just signs, but I think it'd be better... Let me get rid of those for now. Let's see what it would look like if we actually, like, framed this thing out and tried to make a couch. That's definitely going to be okay. And then just a little bit there. Okay. 
The banners for backs. I'm hoping I can do that, but... Like that? Am I doing this right? <laughs> uh, I mean, it kind of works. Lower the back so it's not so tall. That's pretty low, though. Try that a little bit lower. What you think? I don't know. I bet you there's a way to use them as bags. I'm just not doing it right. You know what I mean? Like, I like the red and white stripe banner only. Okay. Or blue and white. All right. Then we'll do blue and white and red and white alternating. Yeah, the blue and white and red and white are my favorite, actually. I think these look spectacular. Something more like that. gonna do that okay and then I'm thinking if we're gonna do that we gotta do Like a cubby on the back wall. There's got to be something do going on with that wall. You know what I mean? And then like... Maybe even more. See if I can get a wall right here. Nice. And then a wall over here. Nice. Some kind of like little thing back there that we can work with. Couch would be at least a thousand USD at IKEA. <laughs> this hobbit goes to IKEA. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking possibly even like really making this area kind of cozy and creating like a little bit of like a vaulted ceiling kind of feel. Possibly framing that out a little bit. Bringing in some details on the side walls for sure. I'm thinking right at that height, we could get away with some really nice tower shields, I bet. But we gotta match the same colors as the couch, I would think. Or at least something that's like, like works with it. Oh, that's perfect. There's red and white and there's blue and white, just like the couches, so. Could 
good. All these item stands are just slightly off. And I just punched a couch. All right, there we go. And seven and eight. I mean, this this little area has like a whole theme going. A whole blue and red theme. What's going on, sad sad? How you doing? The next trophies can look like pillows. Yeah, I've had people tell me that a few times, and I'm like, I don't know, man. Yeah, a bit creepy, you know? A bit creepy. But you're right, though. You are right, my friend. You are correct. Mut mana oh, how do you say your name? Mudok? Madokan girl? Madokan girl. Is that two words or one? You like it a lot, Mallory? Nice. I do like this little area. It actually came out really cozy. Um, Something really cool in this little like display case back here would be amazing. But I don't really know what to do. Maybe something like centered right in the center and then something on the sides. Three very important things. What should they be? Mudok and girl. Mudok and girl. Oh. Mudok and girl. <laughs> nice. Thank you for explaining. I posted in general on the Discord. Bose, he's a hunter. That's not a bad idea. I was going to ask you guys, what do you think? Like bows, weapons, we could do like a, like three different weapons. Whoa, that table is insane. Cherry, that table is insane. How many skulls is that? Oh, you posted it in general? Oh, cool. Look at that. I see what you did. What is that that you have on the couch, on the arm stand of the couch? What item is that? It looks like a little scroll. Oh, and you've got books too. You have, you have a mod. Oh, and paintings. I'm jealous. Oh, I'm so jealous. What mod allows you to do that? That's so cool. One Ekthir trophy and two deer trophies. That is super tempting. The Hobbit that killed Ekthir. Hey, man, apparently Hobbits killed Sauron, so... Spawn Ekthir... Oh, wait. Trophy... Ekthir... Spawn Trophy Deer 2... Seven, eight... And... Seven. Wow, that actually is really cool. But Ekthir is that statue is just huge. It's a mod. Oh, we managed to kill Ekthir. That's so funny. I wonder if I could fit glass over it. I do need some lighting in here, man. Can I fit any under there? No, that would have been cool though. I like that. I like that a lot. That's some pretty sweet lighting for that. Clutter, fuel, eternal, and plant everything. Okay. Hold up, hold up. Currently writing it down flutter fuel eternal really is that like the name of the person that made it or something fuel eternal yeah plant everything i've seen i can pretty much do that with in like a cheaty type of way with infinity hammer but plant everything is really nice though i've seen some of the stuff it does all right i've got a nice little area here and I really think I could still get away with a rug in this room. It would just be... 
Nah, I mean, that's so off. Like, that hurts my mind. Trying to, like, see how this is all sym symmetrical, and then with that. I could do it this way, though. Hold up. I'm dumb. I could just do it that way. Is that cool? I think that's kind of cool. I think I want to add a line right here. Just to separate that a little more. Yeah. Um. Cute little kitchen. Little sitting area. I mean, I think this is really nice. I mean, this is pretty much done. This format is so sweet. I'm going to be able to do this on the next Hobbit build so much quicker now. Like, this was the first time I really saved a lot of time because I knew how to do, like, all the, uh, the coffered ceilings and everything and, like, double layering each room so that each room is, uh, the coffered ceilings still match up, right? Fuel Eternal is autofill light sources. Oh, that's incredible. Okay. Highly recommend... Oh, so Clutter is a mod itself. Corners of the doors with sco sconces. I almost said scones. <laughs> um, corners of the doors with sconces. I'm not sure there's any door that could actually do that anymore. Maybe You mean these side ones? It's possible. It's possible. Let's see. If it's popsicle, it's possible. There we go. You really don't need any more lighting here, but I don't mind this. I think that's what you meant. I hope that's what you meant. Looks so cool. Do all torches in Valheim need to be refueled? Unfortunately, yes. Yes. But, uh, you know, like everybody's saying, there are mods that fill them for you. Or you could just not use a lot of lighting, you know? Um, but, you know, that has its drawbacks, obviously. Um, something, this kitchen is still, like, I wish, I do think I'm gonna close all of them up, and then, this kitchen needs, like, another rug or something, I don't know, you know, like, it needs some kind of, Mm, cause of the dirt, I can't do it. Uh, I can't do it. The giant mound of dirt under here that's hidden below the <laughs> the fermenters. Hide a lot of torches and pillars. Impossible to refill. Yeah, exactly. Barely know about this game. <laughs> I typed, oh, you typed it before I added them in the cubby, I see. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave them, actually. I think they look kind of good. I mean, I think they look fine. Cute little sitting area. I mean, I could put a rug here, but I think the stone looks really nice. What do you guys think? Rug or no rug? I'm definitely going to go locks rug if I do it, because there's... I think this is a rocks lug spot. I can't even say it. I can't even... A locks rug spot. There we go. Slow it down. The cherry on top is missing for the kitchen. I 100% agree. I'm not sold on the rug, but it's not bad smaller rug if anything i agree like it's too big there but i don't really like like none of the small ones are like symmetrical i guess i could do the the wolf rug yeah i'll just do the wolf rug then again i kind of like the lines of the stone screw it i'm just gonna leave it i like the stone the stone actually looks really good any ideas for the kitchen pole for the rug <laughs> i think this is this is nice you know what i mean the stone is nice i think I mean, <laughs> oh, I still have the other pole up. 64% lounge room. Well, that's what we did. Nice. 
That is definitely a lounge room. Uh, maybe add some colors for the kitchen. It's the only room without banners. Oh, okay. So let's add a little bit of color in here. I know that's the thing is like, I didn't really have room to detail the walls because all the walls are behind these dang fermenters. I think, yeah, the dirt. Yeah, I have to have all three fermenters because the dirt um, is like up to like right around here. But I wonder, oh, hold up, hold up. I got an idea. I never got to put in the wine rack. So I, what if I what if I fit it in? Why did I get rid of the one on the right? That was dumb. Hold the phone. TFG has come up with an idea. So on one side we'll have Right? And then, like, the wine in the middle? That'd be cool. Or should I put the wine on... No, I'm gonna put the wine in the middle. Uh... Where are we at? Okay, stools. Alright, is everybody ready to place 5,000 stools? I hope everybody's super pumped up, because this is gonna be insanely exhilarating for the next three minutes. Oh man, what a good time. <laughs> it's funny too because I know Zen, you were saying. <laughs> Why don't you add some colors? I think it's the only room without banners and I got all excited and I ran back to the kitchen and I immediately started doing something without banners. I apologize. I definitely have the mind of a squirrel. Uh, oh my gosh, my camera is flicking around in the coffered ceiling, I think. Oh gosh, the camera does not like the ceilings when you're this close. Okay, that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm talking about. And then in the middle, we'll have like a wine rack. That could be so cool. And then like the sides. It'd just be like, you could see these poles kind of going up and down. Just add these going all the way down. Okay, I think that's really cool. Best three minutes of the day. Let's go. Banners behind the fermenters. I th I, I was thinking that too. We could ask. We could still add a little bit of color back in there. We've got room for the wine rack, which I gotta add all the little meads and things in, which is gonna take forever, but that's okay. Chris is sleeping, waiting for everything to be finished. <laughs> this idea is awesome too. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, I do think I'm still gonna place banners. Let's see. There are probably red would be the best if there's only a little bit showing. Red kind of pops. I put it like all the way up here on the coffered ceiling. Let's try a double banner. Oh, what if I just ran banners like all the way down this wall? Just adds a little bit of red back in there. I kind of like that. The banner over here would be great too, but there's really not enough room. This room is already so cramped. Alright, time to spawn in some potions. Spawn. Mead. Actually. Poison. Mead poison resist. That's what it is, right? Mead poison resist three spawn mead 
Frost resist three. Spawn mead. Uh, health. Medium. Spawn mead. Stamina. Medium. Okay. Eventually we'll get them all spawn. Oh, there's also um. Spawn. What is it? Barley wine. Yeah. All right, potions on potions on potions. Yeah, I got the barley wine out too. Music. Yeah, this is all Harris Heller. Mhm. Mm He's got a lot. This is uh, this is actually two different playlists though. This is Chill Step and Lo-Fi. It's both of those uh, in the same queue. Let's see, let's add some of these potions in. I've actually never added the barley wine into a rack like this. But I think it's gonna work just fine. All right, oh, it is that time of day, my computer. Do you guys have like a, like a night, like my computer has like a night light setting where after a while it turns on, which I kind of like it because like if it's nighttime, like I get it, you're, you know, dim your screen, but like the whole game is like orange to me now. I don't think that shows up on your screen. Wait, hold up. That might actually, let's see. Yo, it does show up on the stream. It's a good thing I noticed it quick. Cause it like dims, it's like, it kind of makes it feel like there's like an orange filter over the game. Sorry for discord spam. <laughs> you're good. You're good. As long as you're in the right channel, you can say whatever you want in there. Well, I mean, as long as it's appropriate, please no crazy craziness stream. So calming. I feel that man. I feel that some music playing. Chilling out, playing some Valheim. If you're set all the time, oh, I couldn't do that. It like, it makes the game look different. You know what I mean? Like it makes it look like, I don't know. Windows setting. Yeah, no, I, I can turn it off. I don't mind it usually. Like if I'm not streaming or something, I don't mind it at all. But I mean, um, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Okay, so I need to make them facing this way. I always forget which way the frost resistance is. Okay, add this. Put this back. All right, another one down. Whoops, that was supposed to be barley wine, but that is okay. Oh, and I forgot to put that one on entirely. Nice. Oh, so we need fro Let's do another frost resist and another poison on the top row. And that is it for the wine rack. Alright, stool is back. One more. Boom.
All right, look at that. Looking cool. You know what I could even do? Man, I really don't want... Actually, it'll be really quick. It'll be really quick. You could totally make this feel here. Let's just get rid of this for fermenter for a minute. Man, this is cramped in here. Uh, I want to try something. Try to. I wonder if I could make this feel like a 360 kind of wine rack. Like I won't even have anything in the sides, but at least the sides, when you take a little peek at them, they'll look good. Right? Something like that. Oh, but I've got to tuck them back in further. This works out, because I didn't really want to end the stream early, so I can just keep doing this. Making little tweaks here and there inside. I've got a couple things I want to do to the roads. Not quite enough space. A little bit more. Alright. Nice. Let's see if we can get another one going. Yeah, this is going to be super sweet. Yeah, this is going to look so cool. Like a wraparound uh, winery type of thing. Wraparound wine rack, I guess. Oh, the last one's gonna give me trouble. That's so funny. I've placed like 56 of these things, and then you get to the last one, and it's like, yeah, I'm not really feeling it, dude. Not really feeling it. There we go. Just adjust these. That is really cool. That makes me want to, like, Take these fermenters and scoot them way back so that you can actually see this. Would that be weird though? No, that's cool. And then, oh, yo, hold the phone. Is this about to work? Does anybody else know what I'm about to do? No way is this about to work. Oh my gosh, who, that is the coolest idea ever. You can actually set up a tankard underneath the thing. Y'all set a cherry on top? I was thinking this was a cherry on top. Are you about to one-up me, Jackson, with something? He's about to one-up me, isn't he? Warms up the display. Blue light is bad for your eyes at night. It definitely is. I have heard that. Blue light glasses? Nice. I've heard about those. Filter on and texture from the beginning. More spots for tankards too. Yeah, I can put like... Also, a couple on the side. You know? And then I could put over here some of these barley wines, which, oh, nope, not in that direction. Or, okay, some barley wines. Yeah, this is cool. Actually, I think I want to use barley wines here. nice i like this a lot better this is kind of cool it's got like this weird like crazy wine rack going on 
Should I have done that? Like that. Hold up, hold up. One last little correction. One there and one there. Oh, this is a weird spot. I wonder if I'm even going to be able to do that on the other side. I'm like standing in the fireplace over here to do this. Okay, and then add these. Nice addition of depth, I agree. Barley right in front of the fermenters, yeah. This is the cherry on top, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm feeling. I think this is really cool. I've never seen like a 360 type of wine rack. Oh, I gotta get rid of this, I think. No, the last one again. <laughs> See if I can do it if I get on this chair. The chair! Thank you, chair. Okay. Put the fermenter back. This is awesome. A little bit of red detailing up on the top. A little bit of red in the back that you can see when you look through, which is a nice contrast to the colors up here in the front. This is super cool cherry on top let's go i could technically speaking add like a support right here too i wanted to kind of like make this part a little cozier right you got like a shelf thing over here you got a shelf thing over here separated by this pole the problem is <laughs> it totally doesn't line up Oh no, that was my... That's okay. What about if I do it like this? Is this weird? The knife definitely has to move. Who said put a knife next to the pie earlier? You win. I'm doing it. So you got something to serve the pie with. Yeah, I like this. You could even do like a... Oh, like right there, even. So this is like a cozy little spot to do like food prep and like store some things. You got a seating area here. Decorations on the walls. Yeah, I like this. It feels like a hobbit kitchen, you know? Lots of food everywhere. Lots of drinks. Lots of drinks. <laughs> like half the kitchen is dedicated to drinks. So definitely feels like a hobbit space. MVP award goes to the chair. You think it's great without the pool? For Jeremy, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like the pool. It kind of separates it a little bit. But yeah, we can take it out. We can take it out. Let's see. I don't know, I think it needs like some kind of separation. It feels like all this kind of runs together to me, but you know what I mean? Like that, it actually feels really nice to me. Back like we never left. What's going on, Jerry? What's going on? I mean, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Don't be mad. I'm doing it. It's been done. All right. That might be it for the interior. We might be on to some other work for the general Shire area. Pull looks better. I think so too. I think so too. I think it nicely separates the space. It's cramped in here, but it needed like like the sections needed to be clear and i think this clearly makes this section and then you've got this section and then this whole wall <laughs> but it's cool nice okay wow 
we have another hobbit house done this one took seven oh it took eight hours so it did take eight hours to do this one they do take about roughly eight hours but i mean we got a lot done in this eight hours though bridge outside the whole area set up out front with a little dock on the water cute little shire house little fireplace in the back looking good this might be the coziest one yet man show you bits because you missed it sure let's see so we got the dining room chilling looking good dinner is served coming over from the kitchen we got the storage area over here on the right right as you walk in you've also got some coat racks which could probably be turned around so the cape is actually facing the right way uh over here we've got the kitchen which can serve over to the dining room we've got the little kind of drink side over here which is pretty cool i think this is mainly what you missed is this i added this drink rack in here um yeah just a uh, few things here and there that we did we changed added a pole right here Ooh, actually this should probably go here now Ooh, i kind of i free placed that didn't i there we go that's what i needed okay uh also we finished the seating area very simple but does the job cute little seating area and the bedroom nice little desk over here bookshelf up top using signs uh and a bed pretty cute little build don't forget the coffered ceilings definitely gotta have those and some rocks sticking through that i can't break unfortunately and a stick right here waiting for me to trip on it but not today not today This is super sweet. I'm happy. I'm really happy with it. I don't know about you guys, but I am really happy with it. I will, at the end of the stream, do a tour of all three Shire houses once again. Um, that's, I like to end the stream with that, so anybody watching the replays can see kind of all the progress so far. So at the end, I will walk through the other two Shire houses also um but yeah i think it's time to do some miscellaneous work around the town definitely going to be adding in some benches here and there wow that looks dangerous like imagine if you were like riding in a horse and buggy and you just like came over this hill and just boom just face plant off your horse and buggy i mean that is a hazard There we go. Much better, much better. I do want to get some trees here and there too, but I don't want to get like... You got to get the right tree, you know? Like an oak would be sick. Like right here. Oh, that's so much shade though. So normally the time of day will actually be set to 0 0.5 anyway. Oh, what did I just do? Time of day 0 0.5. So either way, this is going to normally be mostly in the dark. Oh, I didn't do the lighting outside. I just had these like temporary lighting too. Um, I mean, I could actually just do that. I do need some lighting out here though, for sure. Go ahead and add one of these. Yeah, I like that. And then we've got lighting on the bridge, which is out, but that's okay. Or I could also 
Jeez, I just clicked like four times and on accident. My hand like spazzed. Uh, I could also just put some lighting on the front. And that would mean I could probably just take that out. Nah, I still need some kind of lighting over here. Put it back behind the bush though. There we go. Alright, so the oak. Am I gonna leave the oak? See how it looks when you come down the path. Brazier might be able to get it close enough to provide the fire in the lounge. Eh. I don't want to get too much smoke in there though. Popping some retaining walls, wood fences in random places. That's what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly that. I've got a couple different things going around. Uh, like I've got some wells, uh, you know, and some lamp posts and things, but I don't know. Might be able to get a close sense for a fire launch. Yeah. Fake windows. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it though, because the idea is there, you know what I mean? Like that's part of the house. That's what it's supposed to look like. So, I mean... I don't know. I mean, there's nothing in this one either, you know? <laughs> so, I don't really want to light up behind there and, like, make it really obvious that there's nothing there. I'll probably just leave it. Let's get, to, let's get some retaining walls in. I think that'd be sick. I'm going to keep a really simple design for the retaining walls. I don't want to do, like, anything super fancy. Actually, this whole road needs to be brought down. bring this whole thing down fix that up because that got really ugly really fast Now it's kind of more like in the ground a little bit. I kind of like that with the pathways. And then I can also line it much easier with some stone. Popping some retaining walls. So the shade doesn't cover the bridge, put the oak tree on the other side of the path. You like the way I think? I like the way you think. That's not a bad idea, actually. Let's see. Jeez, those branches. Yo, that's really cool. And you go under the tree on the path. Oh my good lord. We are on to something with that. That is insanely cool. And I think I can still get the thumbnail. I might have to remove it for the thumbnail at some point, but that is sick. And then at least like, oh my gosh, I get so sidetracked. Uh, let's see, maybe like a littler tree here, a little small tree here. Yeah. A little bush. Couple of bushes. Alright. Back to where I was. Good idea, good idea. Why is there a bench just sitting here? Did I do that a minute ago? I probably did. <laughs> Maybe up onto the hill so it's a little bit taller but still gives some shade. I don't know, I like that. It looks nice right there. You don't like it? Um, let's see, how can I do... Oh, I gotta get rid of all this interior stuff. Get out of my inventory. Uh, okay. Let's see, is 
this actually going to even follow this line? It kind of does. Let's lower this kind of front line a little bit. It goes right into the ground naturally right there. I think that's perfect. Oops, rocking the wrong way. I mean, it's coming together. Well, if the road wasn't so ugly, what do I keep doing to the road, man? It's like this chunk right here needs to be taken out. it go away it just like put itself away right there okay not bad not bad at all just a very simple wall which i did wrong oh my gosh oh that's gonna bother me Nah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fix it. <laughs> All right, there we go. You know what I need? You know what I need? I need that mod that you can, you can save blueprints. Have you guys seen that? And I could save this lamppost, I could just run around and just place it everywhere instantly. It'd be so nice. I feel like flattening the road so it looks nice is one of my hardest struggles. Yeah, I do feel that. Sometimes it's like unnecessarily difficult, but it seems to be cooperating now. It seems to be cooperating. Although, there's still a pretty nice sized lump right here. So, I'm gonna try to get rid of that. Okay, so a little retaining wall there. I, I don't know how many of these walls I want to do, but I feel like right here, for example, is another good place. Like it's a little low spot. It needs to be raised just a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know like what the criteria would be for one of these like little retaining walls. Build share mod. That's build share. Okay. Nice. Coming in clutch once again. I'm going to write that one down too because I need to look into all these. Build share, clutter, fuel eternal, and plan everything. All right. Ooh, none of these really match the angle, but I could just like go right here. Get out of here, bush. Kind of pick it up right where the other one leads off. That's kind of cool. That could be kind of cool. And I'm thinking about running this just right into this hill. Yeah, OK. 
Okay, now the roads are feeling fancy. You come out of the forest and you go right into some cool paths. The Shire. Yeah. It's cool how simple, like just a stone line, like how much that can actually do to a pathway. Very cool. Um... I'm thinking a few more of those stone pathways would probably be sweet. Or stone, uh, stone kind of guides. Maybe one over here? It'd be tricky on the hill, though. It'd be really tricky on the hill, but I could do, like, fancy landscaping in some spots. Would that be weird? It is the Shire. Oh my gosh, what did I just grab? I wonder if I could get away with doing like... Something like this on both sides. Or would that just look cheesy? Yeah, it feels kind of nice. Kind of like it's supposed to be there, I don't know. I could even keep going with it right here. Bunch of little bushes next to the road. I don't know. Kind of cute. Maybe. Because I don't want to do just stone walls going all the way around. So that'd be nice to have like some differences in side road things. Gardener Hobbit needs stuff to prune. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I'd like to think that's Sam. I'd like to think that's Sam Wise Gamgee, considering he was a gardener before they went on their adventure. Just giving Sam some work, that's all. Oh, there really is a thistle spawn right here. That's funny. I thought I spawned it in earlier when I came and picked that up. Um, okay, what else? Maybe a stone wall along... This would actually be kind of nice because it's pretty ugly. By pretty ugly, I mean really ugly. I never came back and fixed up this area. Something like that is kind of nice, I think. It almost kind of like naturally comes out of the stone there. And then it could just run into this stone. Retaining wall is perfect there. I think so too. Just a little wall there is going to really help that space. Coming along, you got a little wall. It feels like it's supposed to be there, you know? It feels like... And then I can actually bring this to the edge of it. And it looks like it's actually retaining something. <laughs> Road needs to be a little fixed up, though. Preferably don't want to have any grass sticking through. That'll actually be nice right there. Alright. Looking good. This little lump needs to go. This is pretty cool. I wonder if I should put a little fence around this guy's yard. You could make it a little higher, like two or three stone blocks high. I don't want to go too high, but maybe I could for this one at least. Because this one is actually like kind of functioning as somewhat of a an actual retaining wall.
just have like one spot with like a little wall here and then kind of exaggerate the hill and be like that's why that's there all right i wish you could just hold hold click to use the cultivator that'd be so cool if it would just keep cultivating that'd be really nice Ooh, it looks like this needs to be actually just brought up a tiny bit. I wonder if I could get away with doing that with this from here. Did that work? Ooh, not quite. Okay, what if I did it from over here? This is kind of risky, but... Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better, but now I'm going to have to... Oh, I hit shift. Dang it. Yeah, just bring this whole kind of intersection up to this height, basically. Nice. Nice. Okay. All right. I like it. I like it. Just too too high would be kind of cool. I think it's not it's not too high, basically. I feel like you need a fence or a wall leading up to the well to balance the right side off. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What can we do here then? What can we do here? I could just do another wall right over here, actually. What would be the lowest point I would start at? Probably like right here. Does this fit this angle? It does if I start a little bit back. Let's do some experimenting here. Let's use the path thing to get rid of the grass, but not to actually do anything. Yeah, let me actually... get rid of these bushes oh I was hoping it would like okay I got an idea far back with that that would have to be here though can work with that i can work with that just changing the angle a little bit kind of experimenting seeing which direction might look the nicest for this little area that is a little bit too tall how did that end up like that all right Something like this, I think, could be really cool. Bring that up over there a little bit if I could. That'd be great. Yep, nice. Alright, and then bring everything to this height. Bring everything up a little bit again, just like I did in the other area. Shift this to make sure the slope is nice. Okay. Yeah, I think this is looking much better now. This is crazy. This is actually going to feel like the Shire in the end. This is crazy. Like, I was dreaming that that would happen, that it would actually work. I was thinking, honestly, I was going to end up making one or two, and they were going to be kind of cool, but then... I don't know. The ideas just keep coming. This is so cool. I didn't I didn't know if this was even possible. And they really the best part about it is is the instances. They take like no instances. 
Like, it, they're actually really light on materials to build these. I'm assuming because there's no exterior facade. Dig a hole, place a forge core, then level the ground out so it looks like you have a little bucket next to the well. Ooh! Okay. Done. I'm doing it. Convinced. Uh... So how high up? Something like right, like halfway would be really cool. A little bucket next to the well. That's genius. Well done. Well done, Mallory. Well done. A lot of curves and path and build, and then then a lot of straight, so it could break up the straight with curved wall bits. I think I should curve the wall. I was kind of trying to keep them like kind of straight, but I could curve it. I could curve it. Okay, hold up. I also haven't finished this little area yet though. Um, I was gonna like leave this mound here. Uh, actually, what if I literally just scooted it over? Like just scooting that over actually helps a lot. I keep somehow the hoe keeps getting put away. I don't know what's going on with that. Let him curve it. I like what you have. No worries. Just a suggestion. I think it's a great suggestion, to be honest. I think it's a wonderful suggestion. I just, um, right here, I just wanted to finish it and see if you guys thought it was okay. But I could do like a little curved wall. This one has a curve in it, so why not? Oh, I could also do like. Like a little area around the well. No, the game doesn't want me to do that. <laughs> Let's see if that would be cool. Smooth this all out. Okay, smooth that. Some kind of little well area would be really cool here. What else can I add in a well area? Anybody got any ideas? I actually don't know what else I could add to here that would kind of like fit the theme as a well. Oh, I was hoping this would run nicely into the lantern and it does, no way. I will take it. like a little area for the well is that weird to have that like sectioned off like that it actually seems kind of weird now that i finished it i'm kind of like nah that's garbage i'm i will say i do want to get this out of here oh yeah i have remove every anything on i should be able to actually get rid of that don't i have that on hammer and fig remove what is it? Uh, disable loot, destroy anything? Oh, it's not, okay. That's okay, I have a cheat sword for that. Uh, okay. I think I'm just gonna go all out and make like a whole display right here next to the water well.
I'm thinking about putting a big tree back here. Which is why I'm building a giant mound. Come back here, do some shift clicking. So this is all nice and pretty. Okay. Definitely gonna get an oak tree. What about the hot tub? Yeah, I could do something with the hot tub. I could make like a spa area. What an oak tree right there. That could be kind of cool. some more grass back in here I really don't like this little section around the well oh you know what I could do though what if I actually whoops what if I did this and then I'd like a little dirt right here for like that's where like people use it most maybe. To kind of highlight that there's a bucket there that you can use. Curve the wall around the well. I could also disconnect it from this side. And just do like a little half wall over there. change this all back to dirt I'm not like that I like this a lot better than the whole wall around the well just like a little bit of a wall and then actually over here put some seating there's a lamp post Just put like a pile of wood here. <laughs> Not bad. It's done perfect because it all water drops, so the soil will be muddy. Right? That's what I'm saying. And like, you know, so there's like a little bit of mud over here by the bucket. At the stone path around with like the benches and the and the little frame. Got the oak tree behind. Maybe add like a little small tree. Is this part of the playlist? I don't remember this song. It's pretty chill though. Yeah, it's part of the playlist. Let's add one of these guys in here. Oh man, that's nice with that log right there actually. Why does that actually add to that so much? I don't know, that's nice. I need a stone somewhere around here too. Stone right here would make sense. I really want to just move this back if you're wondering what I'm doing. Just want to move that to like right there. Okay, now I'm happy. <clears throat> if you use the cultivator, it makes the dirt darker like wet mud. Not a bad idea. Infinity mod is so handy with copying the landscaping. I'm telling you, I totally agree. It's it's too handy. It's like it's like it should No, I want to say it should be part of dev commands, but it is kind of like a mod. It is kind of a cheating type of thing. But it's so cool. Put some more wood there. 
All right, as we go around, I could use something right here. I wonder if actually a maple would be something good right here. Oh, maple. I think I was trying to make these closer, but I didn't. I think I want to add a little fence around this guy's house. I wonder if I could just do it like with these. I've been trying to use these more. Smooth out this ground a little bit. They're actually on a similar height. Ooh, not the cultivator. That could have been bad. Yeah, there's like a little bit of a fence right here. That's kind of nice. This is insane. This is becoming quite the project. With three buildings, I think I'm gonna do two more Hobbit houses. And then, and then after that, there's already three Hobbit houses. Then another Hobbit house is gonna go right over here. Another Hobbit house is gonna go over here. And then there's going to be the house with the water wheel here, the bridge going across to the green dragon inn. So this is actually going to be a lot. What's cool about this too is that it's so long that over here, the first builds don't load. So I'm not going to be restricted uh, when it comes to that type of thing. Or I shouldn't be restricted when it comes to that type of thing in this build, which is going to be really nice. Because the green dragon inn is actually pretty large too. Um... There's like one bump right here. I am going to get rid of this though now. I'm going to bring these like little bushes that are lining the road. I'm going to bring that all the way up and around. See if that looks cool. I forgot the bushes will fall with the ground. Yeah, this is kind of nice. Maybe I could even, this might be overkill, but maybe I could even like... This could definitely be overkill. overkill yeah that would be a lot nah 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 the second I stood on the road I was like that's too much you like the different texture of the stone wall and the fences I agree I think that the fences are kind of nice because we'll have stone walls in some places we'll have um, some of the wooden fences in places there's gonna be bushes lining the road in some places uh, benches and some, trees and some, bridges, or retaining wall. 
Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty sweet. Yeah. I am liking this so far. It could really... There could be something right here for sure. Add a little bench, maybe. Except probably face it this way. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this road. It just like goes around through the forest and comes back, but it's really unnecessary. I could actually get rid of that road. Too tall? What's too tall? Oh, the bushes? Was it the bushes? <laughs> or where the bench was? <laughs> I am loving this. This is nice. I will be honest though, my hands are starting to kill me. So I'm probably going to end it here. Eight and a half hours straight on my hands is a little bit much at this point in time. A little bit much i did um the last stream i think i made it a little bit longer but i also wasn't feeling as bad you remove the tall bushes okay cool yeah um but that means it's time for the final tour for the stream so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take us back to the beginning of the shire and we're gonna go through all three houses and just talk about it all just real quick um if before i do this though remember uh after this i'm gonna end the stream so if you want to get involved though and you're here in the chat right now then definitely you want to go over into the discord join the discord and you can hang out with us and have some fun combos but let's go ahead and finish up the stream go have a long rest you deserve it thank you mallory Let's finish up the stream good. Let's get some good music. We need some good music. I could just restart the playlist. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my gosh, I really have to learn how to use Spotify. Add to your queue. My queue is absolutely empty right now. Take this album. Play. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's get it. It was fun. It was fun. It was a good little stream. Sorry I didn't see your stream up to the end. Thanks for the content though. No worries. What's going on, J Law? Good to see your name. Good to see you around. It was fun. I like that. Alright, so we got the beginning. This is the Shire. And you come out of the woods. And you've got some nice new retaining walls going along the paths. We're going to be updating the roads as the build project goes on, which is going to be super sweet. We're going to come up with new ideas and things. First house over here on the left is the first Hobbit house that was done. Got some outside features, outdoor eating area, a little outdoor garden. And I'll take you guys onto the inside. Little spot to sit, take off your boots and your coat. Little place to set your keys over here. This is the smallest of the Shire houses so far, but it's the only one with a spiral staircase. Also, this was my first attempt at a Shire hallway. Kind of looks terrible, but don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Uh, you can see here is the dining room. This was the first dining room I did for the Shire. Looking nice. Nice little double layered walls. Got some nice vaulted ceilings. Over here we've got the kitchen. This is the only Shire house that I decided to leave the roof exposed of the cave. So here in the kitchen, you've got kind of some really big cave vibes, I guess. A little living room area over here to sit. Stairs up to the uh, treasure, which I'm really going to get rid of one of those. Yeah, actually I'm going to get rid of both of those. You don't, need a, you don't need a ladder up to there. Oh, I shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're just going to do this. We're just going to act like that was there the whole time. 
nice looking much better got some hanging shelving there uh you can see we've got the triple layered doorways i was already doing the three layered walls here on the first one but this one obviously needs some work i might come back through and update this one um and then this is the bedroom over here really cozy bedroom <laughs> not much room to move around custom desk table uh whatever you want to call it little bed area bookshelf curving bookshelf which is kind of cool tucked away up top thank you cherry for teaching me how to do the bookshelves and yeah just some tools on the walls and that is hobbit house number one i think i'm gonna have to come back through and update it i still love it but there are some things that i could definitely add don't know much, that much about discord though i'm new to discord hey that's okay you don't need to know anything i mean we're just we're just talking you know it's not really you know there's just two there's two chat channels there's a general chat channel in valheim so if it's valheim related you want to put it in there in general anything else that's not valheim related put it in general and you're good to go there's also a little uh voice channels you can sit in and talk to people if you want sometimes i'm sitting in the chillin voice channel during the day so if anybody wants to stop in and say what's up they can uh but yeah let's continue the tour we've got more retaining walls we've got a little well little area to sit um as you go down the road we arrive at the second hobbit house which you can go either way to get into but we'll go kind of the main entrance this guy is supposed to be more of like a lumberjack kind of outdoorsy type of person so we've got a bunch of wood um you know big front yard and yeah little garden out front too with the little fence little custom fence i do love the front of this one too i really wanted to just copy this for the next one <laughs> to be honest but um gotta keep them unique gotta keep trying new things this is probably my favorite thing so far this feels like a hobbit house to me right here like a wooden staircase man that's cool so here in the second one uh this is when i started trying the coffered ceilings uh, and it created some problems, but you'll see that it, it still turned out pretty nice in the second one This is the dining room, which is absolutely packed with details recessed cubbies little like spots to place things uh, Extra food a little planter here. Thank you charity for the inspiration on this planter um, Yeah, just a little dining room decorated Nicely and then over here. We've got the kitchen uh, you know, just miscellaneous kitchen stuff here and there. A uh, little campfire type of thing vibes going over this side. And yeah, just nice little kitchen space. As you go through, you can see we've got some planters in the little like divider section here, which outside of it is a little sitting room, which is kind of cool because there wasn't really a lot of room here. So a little sitting room, I think, was nice. And it kind of makes sense in a Hobbit setting. Uh, here in the entryway, we've got coat racks and two places to sit. And you can also go over here to the final room, which we haven't looked at yet. This is the closet for the bedroom. This is like the main bedroom area where you can sit and do some work. A little inventory space here for the bedroom. Um, you know, you could get some little ideas here and there from, from this. This was a really cool little kind of weird shaped kind of little area. A little bookshelf tucked in up top. Um, nice little bedroom wall there with some extra detailing and then you can go down to the bedroom which has its own like private fireplace here with no stone below it yo what did happen in my world earlier that i bet you that happened earlier uh like an hour ago remember you guys remember that like a couple hours ago when everything broke i wonder if that was part of that that's crazy um but yeah, a little cute little bedroom kind of tucked away down here. A little bit lower than the rest of the bedroom. Kind of cool. That is it for Shire House number two. And now we head poss possibly to my new favorite one. I wonder if just every time I do a stream like this, <laughs> it's going to become my favorite one each time. Uh, here you can see we're experimenting with some bushes to line the roads here instead of stones. Like what in the world happened here? <laughs> didn't you guys i fixed that like 20 minutes ago i do need to stop streaming i'm like i'm tired or something i swear i fixed that i wonder if i actually like messed it up like that and didn't see it but yeah so final shire house shire house number three done today is right over here i'll give you guys the view across the river this guy would be the guy that like is more related to water than i guess the other hobbits you know a little spot down on the water to sit little personal bridge to cross and get to their house 
let's see if you go over here you can see it a little better in the sunlight looking nice and we can cross the bridge which i decorated with a bunch of vines to kind of get it looking real nice and then yeah when you come through you got a little seating area and some stairs the stairs lead you either down to the dock or you could go to the little garden right here or you could go into the house so let's go inside don't know much about this okay you fixed that okay nice i thought i fixed that too snow leaf i swear i that's what i'm saying i swear i fixed that um so as you walk in we've got a little rug here and we've got the next format this is probably my favorite one so far it's looking really good the coffered ceilings came out really nice uh we've got double thick doorways to really get those hobbit vibes straight ahead you've got the dining room looking nice all sorts of little details little places to sit banners on the walls access to the kitchen dinner is served uh here in the first room you got some nice ceilings some coat racks and some storage over here we've got all sorts of things to look at first i'll go right to the kitchen you can see that we've got some fermenters fermenters a little fancy wine rack kind of like 360 wine rack thing a little prep area food prep area before you send the food out to the dining room and yeah just a place to do some cooking and um yeah nice little kitchen some details on the walls here and there a little bench to take a seat which you can actually use if you want <laughs> because there's stools below it over here we've got a little seating area which you can just hang and relax in with some trophy deer uh trophies <laughs> and we've got some seating on this side which i could probably put like some rugs under or something i'll have to work on that and then we've got the bedroom which is the final room to show a little desk over here on the left bookshelves up top a little kind of recessed cabinet here in the wall bedside table and bed some trophies here and there and yeah loving how this came out really getting the shire vibes now really getting the vibes this is sweet all right so that is that this also this bridge for some reason is is just vibes every time i see it i don't know what it is your game your game is like i am tired please save me and let me have a rest for real i've been valheiming like crazy lately um all right yeah so that's pretty much it do you guys i can show you a sneak peek of the next world that's going to come out if you want to see that really quick just like a two minute sneak peek the one the thing that i'm working on for uh the next build tour video over the weekend um yeah let's go ahead i'll show you guys that good well done looks amazing thank you thank you love the build your attention to detail is awesome get some rest take care of yourself absolutely will do on that let me show you guys we're just gonna spend like two minutes here it's not all it's not anywhere close to done so it'll take like 30 seconds and then we'll hop off please yes yes oh it must be just catching up right now yeah let's go do it let's check it out Ooh, it took a while even to load the world right there okay ghost wind zero zero debug mode god fly env clear time of day 0 0.5 b all right everything is in i think it's 0 0.5 in this world no it's not it's 0 0.6 yes so this is going to be the next build so this this little location is so sick it's like if you check the map it's like the end of a little island but it like with trees oh my gosh imagine this covered in trees and all the trees over there i had to take them out for the lighting and everything for now but you fly through and like you can come through this canal and it's just like it's an incredible setting trees everywhere there's like little rivers going through it's going to be so sick so this is the plan uh the idea is to keep it like everything curvy like nothing straight lines it's kind of like the challenge on this build um this is where i discovered yesterday you could use vines to do just about anything and i started like layering them like crazy and stuff uh but yeah just like super curvy little like harbor right here um you said omg 
Uh, you know, we got these curvy buildings in the back. They're connected by a curvy walkway. Um, yeah, you know, it's just like the beginnings of the next build. I'm considering doing a wall all the way around, all the way past here. And right here, having like a big gate over the water. And basically that like lets ships in and lets them out to like offload cargo. And like uh, main building is going to be right here. Big giant building going to be here. Like way taller than these so pretty large building probably a bridge across the water and another building over here um the build definitely like it's way too big so i'm hoping the video will come out this weekend but the spot's just so good and i kept coming up with more ideas i was like ah whatever screw it those lines yeah the the curves in this are gonna be insane i'm gonna have uh that's that's one of the reasons why i don't want to do the wall because to the challenge is to do everything curvy so the wall is going to be a pain um but if i pull it off it'll be really cool this is going to be like a big farm area over here which is why i've already kind of flattened it out um so it'll be like a big giant farm there yeah i don't know so that's pretty much the next build in progress you can actually traverse these little docks pretty cool you can see back behind up to the stairs i love these these were great i didn't like how it looked with um with like the actual height i just thought it looked kind of bad and so i just did like these little custom ones it took a little longer but i think it was worth it i think they look kind of nice um yeah just a lot of little curves here and there so that's it already incredible thanks Tool before water plus me love it <laughs> so yeah that's the beginning we're gonna see what happens i don't even know what i'm gonna use these buildings for i was just kind of messing around and building and having fun so uh i don't have no idea what these are for but they're looking pretty cool so we shall see i think my favorite part of these is i decided to tuck some banners in right here which it turned out to be a really nice detail i just had to take the inside and line it with some stone so that I could uh the inside top layer so that I could cut this out and make like almost little mini crenellations and then I put a banner back in there to add a little detail I think that turned out really nice we have fraction done it's gorgeous thank you thank you thank you it's gonna be fun we're gonna see how the curving lines challenge works I'm also really curious to see how the main building works the easiest thing would be just be to do a giant circle, of course, but I kind of want to do something crazy and see, see what happens. Create like a really cool, funky building. But yeah, that is that for the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've got the banners are an awesome visual breakup. I agree. It was a lot of stone there. So it was like, if I add that little touch of color, it'll just break up from that stone and add a nice bit of variation very cool with a k nice uh so yeah that is that i hope you guys enjoyed the stream probably next stream will be what's today tuesday possible another stream this week most likely i'm going to do one stream a week at the beginning of the week and we're going to do that uh until we finish up the shire build and then we'll find another build and keep doing it actually most likely so um yeah uh, hopefully this will be out in the weekend we'll see though this project ended up turning into a massive build so i have absolutely no idea how this is going to work uh you know how i'm going to finish it by the weekend but we'll see we will see thank you guys very much for hanging out even if you just showed up thanks for hanging out um you know if you want to get more involved we got a tiktok reddit instagram twitter and a discord that you can get involved in i highly recommend the discord it's growing a lot right now we're getting some nice conversations in there i have like 15 messages i have to check you know it's just popping off so absolutely join the discord if you want to get involved more people that join the more incentive i have to start a server too which i'm hopefully doing soon so yeah come hang out in the discord great design thanks for the stream no problem anytime huge inspiration you're too kind you're too kind all right well that was that is it thank you guys so much for hanging out it was a lot of fun and uh i'll see you guys in the next one